Hey, everybody. Welcome. You know, it just occurred to me now that me playing this on the eve of my 35th birthday is perfect, considering Tingle is 35 years old. And... Uh, this is his first appearance. It just struck me as I clicked go live. So that's a fucking weird thing. Also, this game just hit a, um... Majora's Mask just hit its uh, 20th anniversary of its release in Japan a couple weeks ago. So, anyway, welcome to the stream. It is, uh, it's nice to be here. I have uh, a couple things I'd like to do tonight, which is one, play Majora's Mask Randomized, and two, collect some money for a charity. Um, it's direct relief for COVID-19. And I said, it is the 10th Vine Sauce anniversary. As I've mentioned plenty of times, I didn't have it in me to really celebrate these things or myself. So I wanted to do something good for others while I play Zelda. It's a really, really good cause. Um, there is some money that goes to Tiltify. It's a really easy system. Thank you so much to MC for helping me set this up. Uh, there is a transaction fee for Tiltify, but it's minor. And everything else goes directly to direct relief and not in anyone else's pockets. So, you know, you can look it up yourself, but it's it's a good cause. It's a good charity. I spoke with MC and I'm feeling very good about this. Um, New York got hit really hard. As you know, I don't want to sour the mood too much, but we're all going through a pretty fucked up time. Um, I've lost some people I know. Uh, extended family and friends. You know, friends, family, and a friend. And it's been just a really fucked up time, and I have been in, not in a great place, and that's why one of the reasons I wanted to do this was this, this is a good time to help out. And if I can use my platform for that, that's what I want to do today. And so I know times are tough. I know people don't have a lot of money. Please do not donate too much above what you can afford. You know what I mean? Like, I started us off. I just wanted to reach 10,000. We are already almost halfway to 10,000. So I don't know what the fuck what kind of money we're going to raise tonight. It's already... I've been live for, what, four minutes? This is a rare thing. I don't usually do charity on my own like this, but I, I just... I felt like I needed to. But please, please, please do not spend too much of your money if you don't have it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And thank you, everybody uh, who's been with us for 10 years or, you know, even a couple years or even a couple months. Um, it's been a wild fucking ride, but it really doesn't mean anything to me in so much as um, what's going on right now. And that's why I wanted to do charity, because otherwise it would feel very empty. So, okay. I'll tell you about the randomizer. <laughs> yeah. So soon I'll be able to play the video game. I'm looking forward to that. So already a technical issue. Control controller is not being... being good. I mean, the joke is it wouldn't be a Vine Saw stream without technical problems, but... Yeah. Don't you love when you click buttons and then nothing works? That's my favorite video game trope. So, on the 8-bit dough controller, are there supposed to be three lights on? Also, I think we hit 10k, which was my goal. Uh, yeah, we did. We literally just hit 10k. I haven't even started playing the fucking game yet. Holy shit. Uh, wow, that was quick. So... I set the goal kind of low on purpose because I don't want people spending their money if they don't have it. But... I am already, <laughs> like, kind of floored by that. Uh, like I said, New York... It, it's the reality of it hits you kind of hard when you live in a state that got hit as hard as New York did. So, trust me when I say I really appreciate you all for, um... for doing that. 10k is, is a lot of fucking money and it's gonna help out. And Direct Relief is a really, really good charity, and I, I really believe in what they're doing, so... Thank you. Um... Hey, we got a controller. The 8 bit do controller did not work. Okay. Well, we can get started. 
I didn't randomize music. I wanted to keep the music at least somewhat consistent. Um, I'll tell you about my settings. Because the, the randomizer has all kinds of crazy settings. I'm sticking with Link. No, I didn't get the results from my COVID test. I, they're slammed in New York. I, I'm feeling really good, though, so I, I'm assuming everything's fine. Um, so I'm, I went with Blue Link, and I went with uh, Blue Hearts. Majora's Mask, I've always been a little intimidated by this randomizer. We can call him Blink. Yeah, you can call him Blink if you want. Um, the reason I'm intimidated by this randomizer is Majora is, like, complex, and there's a lot of time stuff, and... I don't really fully understand, like, how this works, but for as little or as long as this takes. As you know, I'm not a speedrunner, um, though some would say I'm famous for my slow speedruns. Um, so there's a bunch of treasure chests that I can get in Clock Town. I do have a map. Yeah, Zelda 2. <laughs> yeah, speedrun, sure. Uh, I do have a map slash tracker to help me when I get stuck, and I will get stuck a lot. Chat, isn't there a map button? Is, is there a map button for this that I can get for Clock Town? Where it shows a little bit of the map? You need to buy it? Oh right, Tingle. Wow, you can already... You can already sense how bad this run's gonna go because I have no idea what I'm doing. Already. No, no randomized music this time. But, um, a lot of other shit's randomized. Mostly items. I wanted to keep the music consistent. Because I also kind of want this to be a bit of a nostalgia trip. Uh, for me and others. The last time I played Majora's Mask was the 3DS version. And while good, you know, the argument will always arise that it is imperfect and- and pooply, according to some. But, uh, I still thought it was pretty great. Not being able to see the map for Clock Town is gonna mess me up a little bit, but I would like to, uh... I'm gonna hit up the spots where I can get the treasure chests. So there's one up there. Vinny, check in inventory. Well, I only have the ocarina. There's a couple of improvements, like, the ocarina is always bound to the, um, D-pad. Vinny, is it just me, or do you sound higher pitched? <laughs> That's an interesting statement. So the town shooting gallery, I wonder if I can do this now. Nope, don't have the rupees. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out the fastest way to get items. Link to the Past and even Majora to some, um, ocarina to some extent. It's not too bad, but this I know I'm gonna struggle with. So, uh... I think the first item I could get is- is up there, but I think it's a red... I think it's a red rupee. Oh boy. I would like to apologize to any speedrunners that may be watching the stream right now. Yeah, that seems to be just a red rupee, but hey, that's one try in the game. Vinny, I do randomized runs of this and I'm loving it. So sorry. Alright, first item. Okay, I checked that off. Um, I'm gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna be referencing the map a little bit. So I need to go to... I think West Clock Town now. Yeah, I just gotta get Tingle down. And then if I can get Tingle down, I can get the map, or maybe an item. I don't think I actually have to find the bombers anymore. I think that's already done. Like, the intro is skipped. I don't know about the bombers, you can't tell anyone. Um, also I have fast text on. And I have fast cutscenes on, and a couple other things that are gonna help. Okay, it seems that there's an item down this way. Note, I don't start with, um, Deku Mask. Or the, as some may know it, the Iputat Mask. Okay, so there's that. So we raised 15k so far. Um, again, amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I'm shocked that... We raised 10k before I even fucking started playing the game. Vinny raised the goal. No, I, I think if people want to donate, they can. I don't want to, um... Like I said, I know times are tough. I know people have less money than usual right now because of all the craziness. Some people are out of work. A lot of people are out of work, so I don't want to, like, make it seem like it's a huge necessity. But I do, like, even five bucks is nice. And I think most people realize that even if the goal is met, they can still donate. So there's a... What is that? Chat, there's an item up there. I don't believe I can get it just yet. I think that might be a bottle. It's a bottle. Yeah, I can get it, because I'm- I'm Young Link. Forgot about that. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good, um, thing to have early. A bottle, right? I think it is, at least. Seems good. And now we see what we get from the fairy. 
So I'm going to click off a bottle here. Check the rupee bank girl. Uh, by depositing rupees there, you get you get a new purse. Okay, yep. Got any Zelda stories, Vin? Yeah, I... Oh shit, Great Fairy's Mask. Wait, that's exactly what you get here, right? <laughs> that's vanilla. Beautiful. Link, I can't believe he cut off someone's head. No, it's definitely randomized, because there's not supposed to be a red bottle up there, chat. You didn't shuffle fairy rewards. That's fine. Yeah, it's randomized, but it's not, like, too randomized, because, um, I don't want to have to... Let's say, put it this way. If there's an item I need to progress, and I have to get every last fairy, that could add another, like, two, three hours onto the playthrough for someone like me who doesn't know the game that well. Vinny, aren't you supposed to get magic from her first? Um, as a Deku, I believe you do. Vinny, are you planning on doing the entire run? If I don't finish this today, I will finish this. Wait a second. Oh. Wait, no. Yeah. Wait. Oh, jeez. Where's the bank? I think it's this way. God damn it. Tingle, why are you- I need Tingle's map! Reverse the Song of Time. Oh yeah, I could do that now. Um... So it's... No, that's the wrong one. It's, a. Uh... I'm using the thumbstick. So it's, um... For those who have never played Majora's Mask, uh, the world ends in a certain amount of time, and you have to keep rewinding by playing your ocarina. But I'm sure many of you knew that already. Let's um, deposit some rupees. I got quick deposit on, by the way. Okay, so I need to deposit 200 rupees. Alright, I think I'm gonna go explore a little bit. I have some more locations I can hit, so I'm gonna go... Um, I'm gonna go outside to Hyrule Field now. If I wanted to be optimal... This is optimal. I believe. This could be anything, chat. This could be... It, it is a map of Romani Ranch. Oh boy, I can't wait to get more maps. Alright, so that was, um... Swamp Path Pit Chest, I believe is the name of that one. So this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is the south of the map. Don't forget, forget the grass roots. What? Vinny, why do you sound slightly higher pitched? That's my favorite meme. Yeah, I've got some Majora stories to share. I definitely can talk a little bit about that, but for now I'm just gonna, like, settle in. Because I need to, like, not be confused, and I'm currently confused. Can you randomize your voice too? Yeah, I can. In Trials of Mana, they did the same thing. You've been jinxed. Oh, shit. Okay, there should be another treasure chest or some kind of item just around here. How long does this last for? I'm definitely gonna need help from the audience, too. Like, if, if anyone here knows this game inside and out, I may ask for a little bit of a tip every now and then. I haven't played this in a while. Well, I guess I just don't have a sword for the rest of the game. It's, it's totally fine. Talk to the mayor's wife. That's not my mayor. It says there's a treasure chest around here. Well, it doesn't say, it just shows a picture. East Pillar Bomb Chew Chest. I just have to climb the pillar. Well, that, that lad is fucking huge. Also, I have, um, a tattle on random colors, in case you haven't noticed. It's a pillar near the path to Ikana. Do I have to, like, learn this, chat? Or is this already learned? I don't remember. Dude. I see I learned it. Dude. Vinny, the backmost right pillar has the chest. Now, is it an ice area, or is it... Should be... God damn it. I need one of Tingle's maps. Stand in the place where you were, now back right. Front right pillar has a grotto with a chest. Oh, one of those pillars. Oh, I see. So those appear to be pillars... ...on the way to Ikana Village. At, the, at midnight, be at the northern part of the town to get the bomb mask. See, that's- that's another thing I was a little afraid of, of with the randomizer, was the, like, insane amount of time-related items. 
Um, at midnight. So yeah, we have to go to town at midnight. Vinny, you need the hookshot or beans for this. However, on the map here, it seems like there's a completely different thing. Maybe it's the... Oh man. Here, chat. I'm gonna show you. You can climb it like it was a vine. No shit. Also, it appears to be just red rupees. Oh yeah, you can. Thank God for the chat. Holy fuck. So it's... It's red rupees. One pillar has a grotto. Left closest to town pillar. Okay, we'll go up there too. There's a grotto in one of them. I don't even know if I've ever known that. I have a question. Why is there one red star in the sky? Is that Beetlejuice? There it is. Vinny, you need to deposit. Yeah, I do. I have, uh, full... I have full rupees now. Let's hope I don't get rupees from this, huh? Stuck. Check that off. That opens up a couple other locations. Please don't be money. Nice! Fire arrow! Wow, okay, that's- that's a really fucking weird first item to get. No complaints here. I mean, I don't have a bow yet, but... That's fine. Vinny, are those the bone noises from your dream? Yes. That's what my- my skull sounded like as I tried to speak in my dream. Vinny, after ten, go talk to the mayor's wife? Okay. Let's deposit this money first. So the mayor is in the middle of town helping, like, build stuff, right? That's him. That's the mayor. This game was so fucking weird when I first played it. I was like, what is this game? Okay. Another 101 rupees. Let me stamp you with my special ink. This ink can go back in time. So apparently, now I'm 35. Wow. Isn't that something? And at the exact moment of me being 35, I am looking at Tingle. Where is he? Chat, where did Tingle go? Chat, Tingle is gone. Alright, well... I'm Tingle now. <laughs> he's Tingle and he's ready to mingle. Uh, anyway, chat, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm- Like I said, I just haven't been in any mood to celebrate my birthday or anything like that. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. With a face like that, would he lie? There's a whole sub-quest with that dude. Um, it's- it's nine, so we're not quite ready yet. Let's say the secret code. A kite! What the fuck, town? I have to talk to Jim. Gem! Gem, that's the kite! Aren't you north of town? Where are you not... You're not Jim? Oh, right, you gotta pop the balloon. Except, I can't pop the balloon because I don't have Deku Scrub Link. Chat, I thought I was supposed to go to the mayor's office. 10 a.m. Oh. I thought you said 10 p.m. Okay, well, we, we need more money, um, to deposit. There's the East Clocktown chest. It says it's green. The East Clocktown chest is green, but I don't know how to get it. Maybe chat can help me. Jump over the shops. Okay. I'll try to do that. So, alright. Um, hey there. Are you Jimothy? Every bomber has a notebook. Alright, we, we, I think I learned this already. I don't know if I can make that jump. We're gonna try. No. Roll jump. Oh, right, you get a little bit more distance. Okay. Speedrunners hate him for how much he knows about Zelda. There we go. Here's a good item. It's... It, 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 it could be worse. So that's another one down. Okay, so... I think... Chat, in the lower portion, there's a green. I don't know if that would count it as the fairy, but apparently there's a green. Let's take a look and see what that is. Listen to Guru Guru. On night one or two. Okay. I thought Guru Guru was the frog. <laughs> Ocean title deed. What the fuck? Um, that's the last one, isn't it? Vinny, hurry to thief? So what you're saying is hurry to Seikon, the thief. Yep. The, the, the creepy dude who's got no strange, suspicious activities. I don't remember exactly how to do this. Oh, right, the toilet paper. So, so what do I do, chat? Remind me. Do I have to just wait here for him to start acting like a jerk? And then what do I do? Just hit him with a sword? Destroy him. I will destroy him. Again, it is really strange 
that um, I turned 35 playing Majora's Mask, considering I always used to make a joke about how I would be Tingle's age at some point and how weird that would be throughout any playthrough of a game where Tingle was present, and I didn't even think... I didn't even think about it. It's just, what the fuck, man? Hide or he won't steal the bomb bag. Does this count as hiding? Seikon does not give a shit? Oh, cool. Okay, there's the lady. There, there, there she is. Oh, and here he goes! I hear him. Tap, 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 tap. Stop this. Stop. Seikon, please. D did I screw this up? No, I didn't screw this up. That's what you get. You wanted me to kill him. Also, good guards they have here in Termina. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. You gotta be shitting me in the fucking face. Toilet hand? Can I do that now? Yeah? Alright, we'll do the toilet man. Toilet man! I just need to deposit two more rupees, I get a free gift. And also, with my saved up rupee, I can, um... Do some of the other stuff. You can't enter the inn. Alright, so then I'll get a couple more rupee, we'll do the deposit. And then I will go back to the inn when I can. And we will do the toilet hand! Take me by the... Man! Also, we're almost at 20k for, um, COVID relief. If you're just joining, I would like to let you know I'm also doing a little charity today. Um, I know, I've said it before, I feel guilty almost asking for money for charity because I know how fucking tough it is for everybody, but we're almost at 20k. So that doubles the goal that I had in mind. Also, I want to thank people. I know this is the 10th anniversary of of the stream, and it, like I said, it's not really something. It's just a nice number. I'm very lucky and very grateful to still be doing this, and I really appreciate you all. But like I said, without me doing something for other people, I don't know I would really be able to appreciate it right now. Um, any of the Vine Sauce streamers that are here currently, Imakuni, and... Um, Anyone else that continues to be a part of this community, um, the, the artists, you know, my moderators, I really, really, really appreciate that I get to do this. I've said it before. This is the worst speed run ever, by the way. Uh, but no, I really can't thank you enough for allowing me to do this as much as, as I do. I, I like streaming a lot, and I'm glad I can continue to do it. And I just got a red rupee for donating 200 rupees. The fun really never ends, does it? So, um, the bomb shop sells a thing for 50 rupees, so I will withdraw, not deposit. Did you randomize the shops? I believe I did. Let me- let me take a look at the shops, yeah. So, we hit 20k. That is officially double my goal of what I thought we would raise, because I was not expecting this much generosity. Wait, why does this cost 90 rupees? Shops are not randomized. It's upgraded because you helped the old lady. Oh, okay. Um, well, I may as well buy it. It's bombs. I mean, that's gonna open up a whole... Um, what's that? It's gonna be 50 rupees tomorrow? Why is that? Well, it's it's been upgraded, no? Just get it now, you'll have 30 bombs. Okay. Camaro's Mask, the Dancing Ghost outside, which is up after midnight. The Dancing Ghost, which is outside. Okay, thank you. Um, that's helpful. So I'm gonna go outside and find the ghost. The dancing man outside of town. Gotcha. Okay. Just get this real quick, and then we'll do that. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Bombs open up a couple things. Great. So it's near the Goron region. Um... So, wait, 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 wait. It's in the icy area? Oh, it, like, oh, over here? The stone mushrooms. Okay. Thank you, chat. You're my collective memory. Oh, I see the son of a bitch. I see him, I see him, I see him. This could be anything, by the way. This doesn't necessarily end up just being a song. What do I play? You need a song. You need me! I don't have the Song of Healing. Go inside Clock Tower. Uh, I don't think that dude has any songs for me. I've got Song of Time and New Wave Bossa Nova. <laughs> yeah, skipping the intro fucked up some stuff. Um... I guess Song of Healing is, is basically just random now. Okay, I, I guess I get it anywhere. Vinny, you have a flute, he should give you something. I, I think... I can check, but... The witch needs the red potion, so we're gonna go to the swamp next. 
it's protected against uh, soft locks. Soft locks. Try as I might, my flute makes no sound. Yeah, this dude don't give a fuck. He only cares that I get his mask back. P hat grotto near Deku area. Okay. There's a lot of areas I could be going to right now, but um the song that's that's actually on the wall here, I should be learning that, shouldn't I? Why why it no this isn't randomized, that's just random notes for rupees. Oh. Well let's let's do the rupees. Oh, that's why we don't do that for rupees, because it's three rupees. Vinny with bombs, go to ice area, bomb near mushroom. Enter Heil. And kill enemies to get another item. Sorry, what did you just type? Professionals in the biz would call this wasting time. I call this... Having... Um... Courage. Yeah, no, that was a huge waste of time. Gold dust. The fuck? Well, that counts as another bottle, I think. Yeah. Gilded sword, here I come. There's another thing here. Let me just check this on the list. Woods of Mystery Grotto. Clean that out. Vinny, it might not even be the sword, remember. Oh, there's no guarantee that it'll be the sword, that's right. I could give gold dust and get 50 rupees. And that's if we're lucky! Tingle's dad. That's- yeah, that's my dad now. Magic bean to Deku scrubs only. God damn it, I'll buy- I'll- Permanent, um, razor sword. True. There is a permanent razor sword, but the, there's a deal with that. If you go back in time, you lose it. So the razor sword doesn't get destroyed after 100 hits, but... So, these waters don't appear to be scummy right now, chat. Then he hit the owl statue. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I thought it would just automatically save the game. It's not this part of the swamp. Oh. Man, I wish I had a better memory sometimes. Go down the river for the potion quests. Uh, okay. Well, hang on. Someone said climb the tree in the previous area. Let's check that out. That's a 50 rupee. Yeah, so, uh, there's a bat stuck up there. <laughs> I have no projectiles. Well, we know there's 50 rupees up there, if we need it. Vinny, your birthday is one day after Demon Days' birthday. That's cool. I didn't know that. And Demon Days is probably one of my favorite albums, so... I also share a birthday with George Carlin. Wait. Is that true Etika and I shared a birthday? Yeah, I would have I would have loved to get to like hang out with him just once and just get to know him a little bit. We had a lot in common. Really that really uh, even though I didn't know him, that really fucking affected me for quite a while. I didn't like that. Rip Etika. It was one of those um it was just a bad day. It's a really bad day, learning that, and, like, it made me spend a long time thinking and, and kind of staying in my own head for a while, but... What a... what a... What a shame. So, anyway, I guess, um, I can do this quest right now, yeah? I can do the mushroom quest? Little, uh, monkey fella. Yeah, Jerry Stiller passed away today. Of just natural causes, but... Dude was a fucking... Um... Yeah, George is George Costanza's dad. Dude was a fucking comedy legend. Yo! That's a really fucking good... That's a really, really good find. Um, hang on, I'm gonna... Do a quick thing where I bind... The C buttons to a couple buttons here, because, uh, that'll make it a little easier on me. So if I do that, and then, ah, uh, okay, that's good. That's good, so then the Y button will be the, the hook shot. That's awesome. That's a really, really, really good find. 
I think I can pop Tingle's balloon now. Chat, no! It no, not like that, chat! No! Chat, no! No! Aflac. Aflac. Did you need me for something? Could you by chance be a boat cruise passenger? Home is missing. Let me look for her. What? Well, I think I fucked that up. Kome? It's Kome. It's not Kwom. But yeah, finding a hook shot that early is amazing. I'm still, I'm still buzzing about that. I guess I can give her the red potion. I like that the bottles in this game actually look like bottles a little bit. And the ones in Ocarina of Time are just, like, pointy. I also like the shield in this game a lot, and, and even the Kokiri sword looks a lot cooler. Even if it's just minorly extra cool. I still think the Razor Sword was such a missed opportunity. It was a really cool-looking weapon that was totally glossed over. Thank you again, everybody, for continuing to donate to the COVID-19 charity for direct relief. Um, Mud donated five bucks and said, thanks for doing this, Vin. Thanks for all the great content. Great, in quotation marks, but no, thank you. And yeah, I just, I don't want... Compliments are not easy. And, and uh, more so than that, especially considering I didn't really want to do anything for my birthday or, uh, you know, today. So just, just let me... Oh yeah, no, I know, the streams are great, definitely, bruh. My potions work very well, they do. So, did you take the boat cruise yet? So... Let me check the map. Uh, good time to do the boat cruise? Let me just click on the hook shot. Yeah, the hook shot opens up a million fucking... ...options for more items. You need a ranged weapon? Uh, the hook shot maybe isn't enough? You should get an item just for doing the cruise. Okay. You missed the chance to get an item from her. You need to rewind before rescuing Kume in order to get it. Vinny, I only just realized this is a game about masks, and you're streaming it to raise money to buy masks. I... Wait a minute. I had no idea there was that angle to it. That did not dawn on me. I don't think I can actually get the heart piece like that, so never mind. Dawn of the third day. Alright, um... Special deal, you can take the cruise for free. And we're giving out an I- WOW! And yeah, I can't use- I don't have anything... ...to shoot with. I can't use the hookshot. Vinny, get the sword as- Go get the sword as fast as possible. I- I have it, but... I need to upgrade it. What if they replace your sword plus gold dust with five rupees at the forge? That would be super cool. Vinny, in my game, the razor sword was permanent. Can you really choose to lose it at dawn? I guess we'll find out. But, um, I was... Randomizer has a thing to prevent downgrading. Oh yeah, that's true. I love the way this sword looks. I think it's, it's really cool. And it was, like, used in all the promo art, and then it just broke after 50 hits or 100 hits. But now... I can use as much as I want. All oh, right, I'm stuck. This is great music, by the way, but I'm I'm stuck. I can't do anything without the Deku mask. The moon's quite beautiful tonight. The black almond is sparkling in the sun. The moon is raw. The moon is raw. The moon is raw. But yeah, there was someone in chat that didn't lose their razor sword after. Uh, resetting. Like, in going back in time. So, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I was told it does happen, that you lose it. But... You, you keep the sword, I think. You shouldn't lose it. Well, this randomizer, it really... is wonderful, if that's the case. Because, again, I love this sword, and now I'm able to play through a good chunk of Majora using it. Awesome. Nari was getting mixed messages when looking it up. Listen, Nari has been a saint in terms of helping me on stream 
for quite a while. So every now and then, if he gets mixed messages from a message board or wherever, then he's allowed, okay? I should probably pop tingle. Weep, weep. Hey, Tingle. You and I are the same age now. Me, me neither, man. Uh. Wow. That was, uh, fortunate. I can get the giant's wallet, too. It's a good thing I know where 50 rupees are. And now I can do the dance. And we can step right up and take a shit. Vinny, it was 40 rupees? Wait, was it? Alright, well, no harm, no foul. Hell yeah. 500 rup- isn't that the, the best wallet? Let me see where this is on the trackers. Listen, after the shit luck, during the, um, Link to the Past randomizer. If I'm getting good luck here, I'm- I'm suspicious. Check the tingle in Clock Town now, too. Yeah, that's true. This is merely your reward for all the BS rupees early on. Well, not just that, but... Any of the, like, good chests I go to are gonna have rupees in them, so I may as well have a wallet to hold them all, right? Check this off. Swamp path pit chest. Is that the pit chest? Wait, I got the ch pit chest already, right? I need the stump. What stump? The pea hat grotto is in the tall grass covered by butterflies. Okay. Wait, is there another grotto that I missed around here, though, chat? A couple of them. Oh my god. There's one here by the grass. Okay, so there's grass over here. Um, there's a treasure chest over here that I got. Okay, there's one. Oh, this is the pea hat one. Okay. Gotta reuse those assets somehow. Pendant of Memories. You should probably take the pendant to Andrew anyway. Uh, okay, that's a really fucking obscure item. Alright, so that's the pea hat grotto. There's a Milk Road Tingle map. We gotta check that out. Southeast Termin of Field, chest in grass, chest on a stump, grotto near stump. There's a grotto near the stump. Alright. Vinny, I donated to reverse your controls. Please hold your controller upside down for one minute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 my friend. I'm holding it, alright, I'm holding it upside down currently. And you're just gonna have to take my word for it. That was one minute. Alright, back to normal. Okay, so there's a grotto somewhere around here. Near the stump in the grass that sticks out toward it. Stump in the grass that sticks out towards it. Like, here. Yep. Okay. Bomber's notebook. Okay, good. Well, for whatever you know, problems people have with the 3DS version of Majora's Mask, you, you can't deny that the Bomber's Notebook mechanic was handled way better. Alright, so let's... get Tingle. So, Red Rupee, I can buy for five rupees. I'm, I'm gonna buy it, chat. That is actually a very good deal. Thank you, Tingle. Stonks. Ah, uh, wait, is this infinite money? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, man. Oh, I got scammed. I got fucking super scammed. I am never going to financially recover from this. I popped the balloon. Uh, I can be a bomber. I'm ready. Oh, we gotta do this thing again. Uh. Easy. Is the guide you got randomized? Well, it's it's a tracker, it's not a guide. It just kind of shows you, you click on the item, 
and it reveals potential locations for uh, where you could go next. I want you to think about what this bomber was doing with that chicken. It was jostling. He was jostling the chicken. We don't know if the chicken wanted to be jostled like that. Probably not. Also, I missed the mayor's uh, wife. That was supposed to be at, what, 8 a.m., right? Is there another bomber in this area? Probably not, right? You can still go see the mayor's wife. Can I do that now? Even while I'm doing the, the bomber side quest? See, there's the mayor right here. here. This is the mayor. I don't know who this guy in the middle is, but definitely not the mayor. Is this the mayor's wife? Are the fins damp lately? Oh, cool. Yeah, that, that's her. Oh, wait, no. That's her. Yay! Then he give the sword to the blacksmith. What won't that um possibly turn the sword into five rupees? No downgrade. Oh, that's right. There's a no downgrade policy. All right, let me give the hand some toilet paper. How do I? Um, the hand is not here, chat. Only at midnight. You trade the gold dust for some random item to the blacksmith. I have friends that bought this game that never got past the, the Deku Scrub portion in the beginning and just gave up. And, and claimed that the game was bad. Let me clarify, they were friends. Yeah, in terms of Majora's Mask memories, I mean, the main one was before this game came out, I had a dream about it. And... I, I couldn't- I was like so fucking hyped for this game, I couldn't stand it. But... It delivered. When friends would come over, I would show the moon crashing into the, uh, the planet, into Termina, and they would be like, This game is awesome! This is the bomber's notebook. I know- okay, thanks. I still have my cartridge, too. I have the, the fucking lenticular gold cartridge, which was probably the coolest N64 cartridge. I would say that that was the best one. Captain's hat, hell yeah. I think this is the South Clocktown lower chest. I know they completed uh, the tower, and right? Open on the final day, Carnival Tower chest, so that's later. Vinny, you just got one of the hardest items to get in the game. It's fantastic. People are saying no. Everyone's like, no? I'm just checking the map for something real quick. The inn has a lot of items. Um, they're conditional, most of them. Room reservation mix-up, day one? From 1.45 p.m. to 4 p.m., in employee room chest is the final night. Like, there are some I can do now, but... Most of it I can't really do right now. Not now, but, you know, like, some I could do by after, uh, I go back in time. I'm not reading the spoiler log. I'm reading... Let me show you. I don't know where stuff is. But I also, this is, even with this, this is still going to be way slower than a speed run. So this is the emo tracker, right? And say I want to look over here, or over here, right? See this, this, uh, orange one? When I click it, which for some reason you cannot see, uh, that's weird. So, when I click this, you can see, you know, based on the items that I have, as I get them, I click them. You can see which ones are grayed out. Like, if it's red, I can't get it. If it's white, I can get it. Um, so this is the bomber's hidden treasure. I'm gonna go to that. So say if I got the bow, right? Notice when I click, a bunch of locations appear. So the green ones are what I can do right now. So Milk Road Tingle. I click that when I'm done. Uh, Moon Tear. Uh, chest on Icona Pillar. I think I got this one already, right? Postman. 200 rupee deposit. We did that one, but I still need to do a thousand. Vinny, no, you didn't. Wh which one? It's gone now forever, chat. Both of the ladies give rewards. Oh. Please remind me of that one, because it's gone now. You talked to Kotake after finding Kume. <sighs> Poop. Is that- I wonder if that's Bomber's secret tunnel. Yep. Chat confirmation that is, in fact, Bomber's secret tunnel. Vinny, where are your hearts? Uh, yeah, they're blue. Hey, 
Hey, baby! I'm a styling scarecrow, wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. Let's... That was just good timing. And that was a complete coincidence. Now, yeah, we did that. We went to the moon, now we do the other things. There he is. This, this place and that dude always seemed more important than it was. How do I get that? Lunar rocks? Oh, okay, you don't get that one. So the moon cried a heart piece. There are more things you can get by looking through the telescope. Oh, right, that the Deku scrub. Ah, oh. do I just have to watch the dude? The, the, and then that's it. I don't remember. Oh, there he goes. Okay, now I go into his little grotto. It's still amazing what the development team was able to do with this game. Granted, they reused a ton of assets from Ocarina, but in such a short time. The fact that they were able to put something together that actually kind of resonated even a little bit more than Ocarina, in some ways. 18 months. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I didn't realize you had that. Ah, oh, fuck. Speedrunners are like, why? Why would he do that? And why would he land in the wall? What's your name, guy? This is the bomber's notebook. <laughs> Thanks. D didn't we go through this already, kid? Don't forget the song of double time and the song of half time. We are currently in half time. It's the bottom of the ninth. Oh, that's a good sport. Ah, Joey, pick him up. Jim makes a good field touchdown. Quarter goal! The dancer on the shroom. No, I still need to use the mask on those two dancing la uh, ladies. It's business. It's business, scrub. I'll sell you a red rupee. 150 rupees for one red rupee. I like how he just left his entire, like, thing. Someone said there was a 2.5k donation. Oh my god. It was, no, it was actually 2.5k and 69 cents. Gridline. Gridline XYZ. Thanks for the years of entertainment. Here's to 10 more. Jesus Christ. Thank you so fucking much. Wow. You know, I'm seriously lucky to have all of you in my life, even if it is weirdly parasocial and sometimes too weird. Um, and other times, you know, I've made some really good friendships and you've helped pick, pick me up during some rough times, so... It goes, trust me, it goes both ways. But, again, we're doing something, these donations aren't for me, and I'm, I'm glad about that. I'm glad this is for a good cause that we all need to focus on right now. That moon is getting awful, awfully close. Oh my god! Okay, so, there's apparently a bombable cavern here. So there's a North Grotto. I'm gonna do that, and then it's late now, so we get to go to the Dancing Ladies. And then I can get that item. You can finally afford the Bloopy from the Shrub? Wait, maybe I don't want to buy a Rupee from the Shrub. It was a it was a red Rupee, not even a Bloopy. At least if it was blue, it would be funny, because I could say Bloopy, but no, it's, it's just a red Rupee. A Rupee. It's like pronouncing Chocobo as Chocobo. Like, um... The first time I heard... The word chocobo said out loud was my friend who said chocobo. I've told the story a million times. That and he pronounced Gil as Jill. So I said Jill for years, like a Jill sandwich. How am I feeling? I'm feeling better. But like I said, I'm still waiting on the results of the, the test. I, I think I'm fine. I think it was just, you know, me being fucking extra careful. 
stress and um, just allergies. I don't know. Just me worrying too much. Chat, there's a, there's a Dodongo thing I have to bomb around here, right? But where is it? Uh, did I miss it? Under the stone mushrooms. Oh, it's a grotto. Okay, so it's just a hole. So that's- that was- that wasn't great. We'll come back to that. Yeah, I didn't use my shield. We'll come back to that. It's, um, it's midnight, so I want to go get the, the- I don't even know how to get into the inn. I guess I have to hook shot up, maybe? Try to do that. Because this is gonna be closed. Then you go to the dancing girls. I- I will, but I guess I need- maybe, maybe I need a chicken? To get to the stonk pot inn? You can hook shot. Okay, well, let me not miss the dancing girls. <laughs> so fucking weird. And they're not in any way disconcerted by the fact that I have a little head growing out of my face. He is. This dude's like, I, I'm done. Moon falling down. Weird kid dancing with a fucking face head. Nope, I'm out. That's weird. That's the actual reward for that, too. Okay. It's time to talk with the hand. So, the lads that were saying I could hookshot, Vinny, you need a cuckoo. Hookshot the door. There's no way to get there without Deku or glitches. Oh. Bomb hover. Yeah. Unless you want to wait there from the time they close. No, it's just giving a hand toilet paper. I think I'm okay. I can wait. Can I give the necklace to, um, Anju now? That's day three. She's in the inn. Okay, I'm just looking around on the map for other stuff I can do right now. Um, Milk Road. We got Dodongos and Milk Road. Sword training? That one's not coming up, though. Okay, next time I'm in Clock Town, I'll take a look. We haven't even gone back in time yet, too, so... That's upon us, but I'm gonna try to get as much day three shit done as possible. Yay! God damn it, I missed the rupee! Damn it. Chateau Romani. Third bottle. Infinite magic that you don't have. Yeah, pretty much. Vinny, I'd really love to know how you got the D-pad mod to work. Um, it's part of the randomizer. You can randomize the code into the game on your N64 game console, TM by Nintendo. I just don't know why my, my fucking controller didn't work today. My 8-bit though. That's the second time in a couple days where I plugged the thing in and it didn't work. It didn't register. No need to even fucking buy the red rupee. Buy the red rupee? Okay. Feels good, man. This is where I can, uh... Never mind, I need the horse for this. The horse, as if it does- if- <laughs> as if it wasn't Epona. Doggy racetrack is open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Double time it to day three? Yeah. Uh, so wait. Doggy racetrack. That's the Gorman track. So where the fuck is the doggy racetrack? Oh, it's in the ranch. Okay. Boulder in the ranch. Okay. Took him two days to open the way. Two full days of breaking those boulders. So, this is where we find, um... It, oh. Did, um... Uh-oh. Is she all messed up already? I, I don't remember. Yeah, she's all messed up. Huh? You... Who- you, who are you again? Yeah, Romani was abducted by the aliens. Oh, for, uh, anyone who never played this game... ...on the third day, since the moon is about to crash into the planet... ...you know, that starts happening. I don't think there's anything specifically over here at the Cuckoo Track. I have to earn 150 rupees from racing, though. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. So there's a very specific mask I need for this, and then I can lead a little chicken parade. It's one of the best things in the game. And you will enjoy it, chat, I promise. Oh, there's the doggy racetrack, okay. What do you want on a day like this? This is Mamu... Sorry, Mamamu Yan Doggy's racetrack. 
Fetch the doggy that you think will run the fastest. Oh, right, you can't, right? You need a specific, um... Mask for this, I think, right? Or you can pick the gold dog for a high chance to win. How many rupees will I bet? Oh, I'm gonna bet 50. You need 150 to win, so I'm going 50. It's a marble stream now. The, uh, the cream puppers are in first, but, uh oh the gray pupper, and now the gold pupper is going a little bit further. Gold pupper has a high chance. Gold pupper in first place. Gold pupper possibly gonna take the lead. Gray pupper is slightly behind, but, oh, what is this? Oh, the gold pupper takes all the marbles! 150 rupees. And I get the bonus prize of the hero's bow! Well, that opens up so much more. Many, many things. Wow, that, that's an amazing find. Plus, I have fire arrows, so now... Oh, man, there is one thing that sucks. It, it, I selected an option to be able to change... ...arrows with uh, the D-pad. It doesn't look like it's working. Oh, I don't have any magic. Uh, this was always one of my favorite places to watch the moon fall. Just Romani Ranch in general, because it's just far enough away where you can see the moon's ill intent. Specifically right about here. Yeah, we're about to hit $30,000 for COVID-19 relief. So we are... We're triple my original goal of 10k. Again, as I've said several times, this is beyond expectations. I just wanted this to be a little minor event. Okay, so arrows open up more of the game. Swamp Shooting Gallery. Honey and Darling. Town Shooting Gallery. Carnival Tower Chest is open. We can also go up the mountain, too, to the blacksmith. I think we can go to the blacksmith now, I'm not sure. Oh. This music. The most- maybe the most unsettling music in the game. Okay, a lot of heart pieces today. Hey, dude, don't knock me off. Wait a minute, the chest is only- what, what's open? On... Hang on a minute. I think I clicked off of it by accident. Clock tower balcony. Oh, that was the one. No, that was- that was the one. God, this was so much easier with the, um, the gyro controls on the 3DS. Shit, no perfect score here. That's so... ...touchy, the N64... Uh, I mean, the, the controller, I'm <laughs> Alright, not bad. God damn it. <sighs> um, it looks like the perfect score for this is a heart piece. But I guess that means that it, it could be, it could be anything. Is that the dude from Flight of the Concords? Oh shit, it's Jermaine! He is prison. I got hurt feelings, I've got... Feelings. I feel like a prized asshole. No one even compliments the casserole. Vinny, not worth it. What if it's like the fierce deity mask chat? I'm gonna probably end up spoiler mapping this, to be honest. Because I'll be stuck here forever. This is a, a fucking. Without the gyro controls, I am. A, I have like a 4% chance of doing this. See what I mean? I mean, I was three away. I could eventually maybe do it. I think I could possibly do it. Uh, will I? Or willn't I? Hmm? That's the question. And my answer chat, and I'll let you know what my answer is going to be of will I or willn't I in just a moment. Just thinking about it. I'm just I'm, I'm here in thought, you know what I mean? Like, I'm in thought. Just thinking about some stuff. And the answer is no, I will not be doing it. Um, <clears throat> what was it? Do you, want, you really want to know what it was? Five bomb chews. Bomb chews are needed. You need all three days for the big prize for this one. Oh, okay, so this is a waste of time. So I have to do this three days each consecutive. Okay, all right. Well, I'm here now, so I may as well get some target practice in. It's fine, they don't mind if you shoot them. They're- they're so in love, that it doesn't really even matter if you shoot them. 
I'm sure there's an 80s, like, a cheesy 80s, like, uh, cock rock power ballad about how, um, love shields and deflects from all pain. You can get kicked out if you shoot them too much. Oh. Midnight item from Andrew. I must have a couple masks. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I should be doing on third day? Sword training. Might as well do sword training while I'm here, then. I did, uh... I already talked to the mayor's wife. Notice I corrected that sentence. 500 rupees for the item third day. Which item? Oh, don't, like, donating? Vin, money. What do you mean, money? Don't forget to deposit your rupees. I won't forget. There's a 500 rupee item in the curiosity shop on the third night. Cut down 10 logs using the highly difficult techniques. You'll need jump slash for all 10 logs. Well, it's, I fucking beansed it now. Oh, wait, no, I got it. Uh, no soil. I got 10. I got 17. All right. God, I need the perfect score of 30. So one thing I keep doing is holding down the L button to lock on, and you don't hold up. You don't have to. You just press it once. This is what you have to look forward to, Chad, at 35. Ah! All right. Ah, Central Park. Milk bottle. So many fucking bottles. Damn. Bottles. So the curiosity shop sells a 500 rupee item on this day. Check the regular shop too. I don't think the shops are randomized. I, I could have randomized them, but you can sell the gold dust. Uh, why would I want to sell gold dust? I don't take it back with me when on when I go back in time, do I? It'll disappear. Okay, so that's why chat. You need to remind me where I got the fucking gold dust from. Swamp entrance area. Okay, good memory. Chat, I'm gonna go to the blacksmith now. I'm not banking it yet. We've got time. Vinny, you can't. It's too late. Oh. You need magic to melt it. Oh, fuck. I don't have magic. And it takes a day to forge the sword. Quote-unquote sword. You mean five rupees. Alright, so I'll collect some rup- rup- for the curiosity shop. And I will also, um, do the swamp shooting gallery. I kind of want to do a save state and just show people the moon crashing into the planet. Vinny, you don't need magic, just arrow. No, for Snowhead? I thought you needed fire arrows to melt that ice. Just arrow. Oh. Well, we can check out Swamp Gallery, and then, um, I'll sell the gold dust. You get the fire arrows in Snowhead. Oh, I forgot about that. That poor slime had no idea. It was in one place, and then... Without even realizing, it opened its eyes and was in a completely different place. <laughs> I might want to play! God damn it. So fucking touchy. I hear the wolf in my right ear, and then the wolf comes from the left, and I'm like, what? I think there is some degree of beans. Definitely beans that- Oh, that's our year. 2020. No way you almost at it, mate. Just this once, here you go. Wait, I get to go again? Damn it. Wait, is, do you have to be perfect? Pretty much. Oh, cool. The gyro aiming made this so much more doable. Holy fuck. It sucks. How did I do this as a kid? How did I 100% this game? It's just time and patience, I suppose. I did even worse this time? I did exactly the same? Top left on the rock? I didn't see that lad. I didn't see that lad. Can't wait for the moon to show up and help me with this shooting minigame. The moon's got some great AoE. Fucking hell, man. I think by missing that one wolf, yeah, that was, that was probably, um, yeah, that was probably the end of it. I want my reward of 20 rupees, goddammit. If only there was a mouse attachment, like the Super Scope I was playing yesterday, where I could just use the mouse, that was good. Vinny, no time? No, there's time. Vinny, deposit. I got 12 hours, son! Perfect. I was that close every time, dear god. Ugh. Fine, I guess. 
Do it again for the second reward? What do you mean, second reward? I have to do it again? I'm getting real close to opening that notepad again. All right, let's, let's do one more time. Ah! Wait, what? You needed to do it faster? Didn't count, had to do it faster. All right. I'm gonna let you know right now if I need to do this fast. It's, it's another piece of heart, chat. If I need another piece of heart, I know where to go. I'm keeping the spoiler log closed, except for extreme cases of emergency, frustration, or bullshit. Remember, this is not a speed run. <laughs> Vinny deposit. Okay, I will. Um, I want to check out the curiosity shop too, but I also would like to... How do you sell the gold dust? Vinny, that was not bullshit. Well, how... What time do you have to beat it in to get that extra reward? 20 minutes. Okay. Boot! 20 minute. Boot! 20, 20 minute. You got the last 100 points literally a second after the time ran out. I mean, he did say perfect. How do I learn Song of Soaring? I want to soar. Actually, there's an option on the randomizer that says... In the main settings area, it says... Excludes Song of Soaring from the item pool. So that... Oh. Down here. Um... It's normally in front of the Swamp Palace. Then it will probably still be there. You need Deku Mask to get it. Okay, so that's the problem then. Vinny, go to Stockpot in Staff Room for a chest. At this time, at this hour, with this moon, you can get a lot of rupees by killing the bird. I want to kill the bird. Chat, we've got time. This is going to be fine. The moon ain't. There's, the moon's not real. This bird looks like the one scientist from Half-Life. If he were a bird. Am I going to run out of arrows before this happens? I was gonna say, am I gonna run out of time before I grab the fucking rupee? That's good shit. It is now time to deposit. Now we get rid of the fucking rupees. Though I'm wondering what the item in the curiosity shop would be. Go see swordsman after 12. Uh, once again, is this confirmed I can actually go into the stockpot inn? Because... Okay, we'll do that now. Vinny, you forgot to deposit. I know, I'm going to the stock room. The, the, <laughs> the, the staff room. Chat, we're gonna be fine. That was scary. Bean! Alright, see, I got beans. So that was it, right? Now we check the curiosity shop. We deposit. We see if it's worth it. I save state. You take a look at the moon crashing into the planet. And then we, we do it all again. We do the time warp. But here's the thing. Uh, it's about an hour away from me finishing my stream tonight. And we haven't even touched a dungeon yet. So this is going to be an ongoing thing. Chat, remember, shops are not randomized. So what could this... What is it usually? What's, what's the item usually? All night mask. Worth it? It lets you... Get two items from Granny with it. This item gives you two more items. Wait, if I deposit first, that adds up to the total, and then... Wait, should I deposit... That's some pretty big thunk. Oh look, I got the thing. Wait, I don't think I need a thousand now. Or do I? One thousand, so... Oh, okay, I still need a thousand. Alright. This is Twitch Plays Majora's Mask Randomizer with Vinny as its host. Like, parasitic hosts. My. God. I couldn't buy it because the rupees were still teleporting into my pocket. You can dupe items with that delay. Vinny, the randomizer did away with the 1,000 rupee reward. Um, let me- let me just take a quick look. It says here, 200 rupee deposit, 1,000 rupee deposit. Vinny, sell milk? Is it- is it worth selling them? I don't take the milk with me either. I- I did change it. So the- oh, the rewards are 200, 500, 
a thousand instead of two hundred, a thousand, five thousand. So I still need the thousand. Um, milk goes back to the udder. No ammo, no trade items, no bottle contents. All right, thank you for reminding me. How do you like this? Yeah, sure. How do you like this? How do you like this? Absolutely no terpenes. Best I can do is 20. You can also sell the unborn Zora eggs to this guy for a couple of rupees. Jesus. You can do the toilet hand now. Good. Midnight, not 10. All right. Chat, how do I get the, um, the time back to normal? Just play the reverse again. Vinny, have you actually tried Crystal Head Vodka? Yeah, I have it. It tastes like rubbing alcohol, as do most vodkas to me. But it's, it's a very pure rubbing alcohol, and it mixes well with citrus. Uh... My brain was just not making it happen for some reason. I kept wanting to play the Song of Time, and thus I did. Bart is nervous. Might be too if I saw that. I I don't I don't I don't think the moon is falling. I don't believe the moon is falling. This fell down here, I'll give it to you. Wow! Wow, once I get magic, I will be set. Who, who the fuck dropped that down there? Someone ate it. That's my only explanation. Someone, you know what? Someone thought that that would be good to cool their drink. And I guess just fucking ate it. Vinny the Pendant. I can't give the Pendant now, can I? Let's go see the Swordmaster. I'll be on vacation for a short while. Please don't look for me. You know, I've never seen that. <laughs> he didn't believe it. But, well, he's on vacation. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's off someplace. Good for him. He, he earned it. You know, dude worked real hard. Wait, go back. I'm scared. I can't take it. I don't want to die. It, it went from funny to really fucking sad. There's kids in this town still, by the way. There's the mayor. Cowards, all of you! Now one of you stayed, my apprentice will be disgusted with all of you. Hm. I'll have a fine carnival without you. You're gonna fall and fall already! My mayor. I- I vote he be the mayor. Of- of Termina. So, anything else I should be doing? Chat? I mean, going back in time. Mm. No, I'm good. Postman? No, I'm just waiting for the carnival. Postman is at the milk bar. Oh, is he? I mean, you know, this is what's really important. At the end of it, it's it's not about family. <laughs> this is the real shit right here. Stonks. Can't wait for that carnival. Any minute now. Oh no. Bar's closed. I'm gonna hang out with my mayor. crispy audio we got here. Yeah, canonically, Link forgot the song in that moment.
I like how tastefully this game handles Link's death. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? How, how did you say that, friend? And I have nothing. I would say that was a really productive first day. Wait a minute. What? What the fuck was that? Uh, that was a randomizer exclusive chat. Just for you. Anyway, yeah, all this stuff is gone. I mean, I managed to keep the items, I just don't have the, um, the ammo and stuff. But yeah, we're back on day one. I still have the sword, by the way. So that was a really great early find. Vinny, get the dust and start the forge. Okay. And as soon as I find out where that dust is, I'll, I'll go get it. Swamp Path Grotto. Thank you. Okay. Uh, once again, I'd like to mention that we currently have a charity fundraiser going on for direct relief, COVID-19 relief. We've raised $31,000. $777 on top of that, and um, it's been pretty amazing so far. Everyone, everyone's been very generous, even if they've only donated a couple bucks, five bucks is good. Phantom something or other donated 20 bucks and said, Hey Vinny, I really appreciate the things you do. Keep up the amazing content. Stay safe. Thank you. Sierra donated $2. It's not much, but it's all I can afford. Been a viewer for nine years. You pulled me out of my darkest days with your streams. Just being who you are, I'll always support you. Happy birthday and much love. Thank you. Truth is, again, if it wasn't me, you know, they're, they're my... I, I can't accept the compliments. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. I'll just shut up. Okay. Um, Anonymous donated $20 and wrote, Star Trek Picard ad before stream. Oof. I'm so sorry. And I'll read one more. Funky Kong. Hey, dude. I know the waves of life have been mondo rough lately, but... You gotta keep riding them out, you know? You only got one balloon life in this Kongi Kong world, so treasure it like it's the last banana in your hoard. Stay safe out there, bro yacht, fellow chatty Kongs. Your main monkey, Funky. That's a $10 donation. Thank you, real Funky Kong. I can't believe Funky Kong showed up here on the stream for real. No, but seriously, thank you once again. I'm going to undercut the silliness with um, me being serious for a second and saying that this community does a lot of generous, altruistic shit. We gamers get a bad name, but we, we have no problem coming together and donating to charity when it's a good cause, when it's good people, and when it's something we believe in. Um, we gamers. I can't believe I just said that, but yes, it's, it's true. And it's not just for Vine Sauce stuff, it's across the board, but... You know, you guys are extra generous, and, and it's always been a really appreciated to see the uh, charity stream become a success year after year. And this isn't even that, and yet we've still raised a fuckload of money on short notice, with no real preparation, no giant event, and people are still able to help out and do something good for others. And again, this was inspired primarily, like, my desire to do this has been through tough times, um, but also just... That's the pendant of memories. Um, just because New York has been a fucking mess. And, um, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really tough here in New York right now for a lot of people. And I've been relatively lucky that I haven't had to go through too much shit. You know, I don't work in the healthcare industry. I haven't had to deal with that level of stuff. So I'm still a very lucky person overall, but it, it's worth you know, putting yourself in some other people's shoes. Anyway, um, I think the gold dust might be in here. God damn it. There we go. Okay, we'll go to the woods first so we can do the, the thing and get the other item. What is that emote? It's, it's Mike's emote. It's, um... 
Shrek and Shadow embracing. All right. I have to have a stern talking to. Vinny, they aren't just embracing. I know, that was my attempt at minimizing it a little bit. Uh, I was gonna say, chat, a lot of people locally, a lot of my friends didn't... They wanted to do something, too, for, you know, all the shit that's going on. And I, I have, um, my friend Joe, who does, uh, the mixes for Redbox, plays bass. He's a, a good lad, and he organized a big thing for, uh, a lot of local Staten Island musicians to cover Race for the Prize by the Flaming Lips, which is a pretty appropriate song. And I was a part of it very, very minimally, but, um, it was like, I guess like 20 people or so. And it was really, really good. I think they did a fantastic job with the mixing, the editing, the whole thing was really great. Um, I'll play a little bit of it. And this is all done remotely, like people at home. Lots of my friends are in this, like Staten Island musicians, people I've jammed with. My friend Bill is in there playing keyboard. I just did some vocals. I was too lazy to pick up a guitar for this. music. Yeah, it's cool. I'm in there somewhere. I'm in the mix. Very, very, very briefly. And it's, um, Race for the Prize by the Flaming Lips, who probably now own this video. I'm sorry, Latin Autor now owns this video because of that cover. Where? Uh, Rip Bod. Yeah, we got some use out of the Rip Bod. You need to talk to Kume in the woods again, then come back and tell... Okay, I got it. Thank you. I mean, I still don't have any of the main masks, even though I've got some arrows and a hook shot and all that stuff. That's all real great, but... Vinny, are you actually mad at Mike for that emote? No. <laughs> Come on. Wait, I don't have a potion for her. Oh, oh, that's the point, is to go back and get another potion. And it won't be a potion, it'll be a random item. Oh, okay. It took me a minute to figure out what the fuck the point of all this was. Vinny, what's your most shameful paranormal belief? I... I believe that maybe aliens have made contact with the government, maybe. I do, but I don't know if I believe it. That's the thing. I say... I say belief, but I don't know. That was something that if you asked me ten years ago, I would have been like... Oh yeah. Yeah, there was contact. But now... I don't know. Um, I'd say that, that I'm leaning more towards maybe a yes on that. But, uh... I don't fucking know. The more you research UFOs, it's very frustrating, because the more you research UFOs, the more bullshit there is, and the less I end up fucking believing. There's like a- it's like a bell curve, you know? The, the less you know, the more you believe, if you just watch a couple things. And then the more you look into it, the bell curve goes up into the bullshit realm, and you're just like, oh, I give up. And then you go back down eventually if you if you are fucking galaxy brained about it i guess and then you i, I don't know I, maybe bell curve wasn't the best way to describe it but that's yes that is a shameful belief perhaps what about ball lightning well that's real too i also don't think every ufo is aliens i think you know if there are aliens maybe that's only like 1% of sightings but I think that swamp gas being used as an excuse is, like, kind of absurd. Oh no, you didn't see a UFO land and, you know, 
have lights go round and round. You you saw swamp gas. So there's there's a lot of weird denial stories that I I kind of shake my head at. But I I don't know for sure. I just I think it's a it's a fun thing to think about. Listen, I only believe Tom DeLonge from Blink-182 when it comes to UFOs. I've said this before, I'll say it again. But there's some, like, big cases, like the Rendlesham Forest incident, which is kind of weird. There's, like, nuclear silos that have had UFO sightings where the nukes get shut down. Um, there's all kinds of bizarre stories that are fun to look into. The Tether incident. There's, uh, you know, obviously Area 51, Roswell, all that stuff. It's- it's an interesting topic, and that's my most shameful belief, is that I really do believe that aliens have probably been here. You went to Dulce Air Force Base? You talking about the, um... The underground battle between reptilians, tall greys, and marines? <laughs> I mean, now that I'm live, no, that's bullshit. That was just Half-Life. Thoughts on Skinwalker Ranch? Okay, I used this joke before, I'm gonna use it again, because it's a good one. I don't know anything about Skinwalker Ranch. But I know Skywalker Ranch is pretty cool. I want to go there one day. And there's also aliens at Skywalker Ranch. Now, there's a last podcast on the left about Skinwalker Ranch, and it's... It's interesting. I didn't, like, listen to the whole podcast, and I also didn't pay it. Sometimes it's weird when Marcus delivers his information. Like, I think he's really interesting, but when listening to a long multi-part series about aliens, or paranormal stuff, or like, exorcisms, or whatever the fuck, when I listened to la last podcast, there will be chunks of the podcast where I just tune out. And I don't mean to, I just totally just tune out. Until Ben says something, like, weird, or Henry makes a strange voice, um, and like, talks about his penis, and farts, and assholes, and then I tune back in, and then Marcus goes on, and I really like Marcus. I'm listening to his other podcast about um, music, as I've mentioned, and I'm on part three of his series about the Stooges and Iggy Pop. But sometimes with paranormal stuff, my brain goes stupid, and I'm just like, I can't do this. That's why when I listen to last podcast, it's I'll listen to it, I'll get into it for a while, and then I'll stop for like two months, three months, and then come back to it. It's because Ghost aren't real, Vin. Wait, just one ghost? Well, I'll tell you what, my friend. Please send the proof. I want- I want all the evidence you have that you've done that ghost isn't real. Send that to me right away so that way I can know for sure. Someone said, wait, that's not how that works. Tried to trick you. Brew. Scared you. What about plot ghosts? Those are real. Vinny, how much do you believe in Wyoming? I said this about South Dakota. I've never been to South Dakota. I've never seen it. I'm not even sure that's a real state. I, th I think there's just one Dakota. These are a lot of my, my greatest hits, by the way. Um, so, you know, I'll be here all week and always have been. By the way, I didn't mention this, but with this randomizer, you can use the Fierce Deity Mask wherever the fuck you want. But, um, so yeah, I don't know if I believe in paranormal. I find it interesting, and I, I, I've had some weird experiences that I've told on stream. Minorly weird. I've had family members that have had weird experiences. You know, I, I just don't know, but I, I can ask the question. Chat, have you ever had a ghost-gasm? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh! Shut up! Oh, just wanna- just having a good dream! I'm Zabora, the owner. Pleased to meet you. So, it, essentially, I need to shoot a fire arrow at this, or use uh, hot water. Can't shoot fire arrows because I don't have magic, as as you know. Need song of healing for the water. Well, that's gonna be tricky. Well, essentially, there's um, I don't know if the seed's gonna play nice, but essentially, there's a spot around here that I can access. It's the, um, Twin Islands Ramps Secret Grotto, and then there's the Lens Cave. So, Twin Islands Ramps Secret Grotto. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna try to find- I think I- actually, I think I do know what that is. The grotto needs fire to open. Only the Goron form can get the hot water. Um, maybe Great Fairy will give you magic in Clock Town. Well, she didn't when I was there last. Yeah, it's weird, chat, because this is- I don't have the Goron mask, uh, checked. And yet, 
it still says in green, Twin Island Ramps Secret Grotto. Bomb the tree near the ramps. That's what it says. You have fire arrows checked. I do. But then again, I also have ice arrows checked, and that adds nothing. I don't have magic checked. So I have them checked, but no magic. Hookshot and Scarecrow. You can summon a Scarecrow and Hookshot to the grotto. How do I get the Scarecrow? The tracker does take into consideration the lack of magic. I don't remember how to do Scarecrow, so Scarecrow song, but... Scarecrow in the shop. Oh, man. The only other spots that are available to me right now that I'm aware of are, um... Woodfall Great Fairy Fountain, which I can't get to. Honey and Darling, all three days. There's room reservation mix up 1.45 p.m. to 4 p.m. Oh shit, we can do that now. Okay, I'm gonna go do that real quick. Bomb tree near ramp. Wait, really? Okay, well we have to do this very quickly because we have to get over to the inn before it closes. Or before that, we're locked out of that. We might not be able to get over there. Minnie, you literally said that earlier. Yeah, but I thought people knew where it was. I thought people were giving me good advice and they were like, Vin, you need to... That's not where it is. It's someplace else. People seem convinced. Chat, there's fuck all here. On the way to Goron Village. I don't think I can get to Goron Village right now, though. The map would certainly help, wouldn't it? Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get to the inn. Also, Tingle's not showing up on my tracker, so I'm not sure what the hell's going on there. Tingle should most certainly be... Like, he's here, but he's not on the tracker, so I'm wondering what did I miss? You've already got maps from him here? I promise you I didn't buy his maps here. Why- why is it the giant wallet again? There's this- oh, they're the same as the other ones. Oh, fuck you, Tingle. Eat. Fresh. Dick. Lens of Truth Cave is the only thing you can do right now. No, I can- I can still do a couple other things, but we- Progress has been- even with the hookshot, without magic, my progress has been very slow. But yeah, this is one of the reasons I've been kind of afraid to do Majora and Wind Waker randomized, because... You have to have a pretty good knowledge of the game. Luckily, the tracker helps, but... And the chat helps, but, uh, yeah, this is not Link to the Past that can be completed in one day. There are three items in this cave, two invisible chests. Okay, we need to get those invisible ones. Oh god, camera, please. Alright. This could be a very important cave. So far, not really, but... Could be. Good luck going back without the lens of truth. Oh, oh yeah. Couple's mask. It's filled with their love. It looks like the chests aren't invisible. One is invisible. Okay, so I just have to find it by... I don't know. Here it is. Mountain title deed. Ugh. Yeah, fancy toilet paper acquired. Alright, so that is another cave done. Still gonna try to get the Twin Islands ramp secret grotto. Uh, but I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get back. Vinny, you song of time. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could have spent some time hookshotting around and trying to find my way through it, but I, I just gave up. I, I love this, this edit. This is a good edit. No more gold dust. Tr uh, yeah, that's true. Room mix-up, grandma story, and mayor for four items total. Couple's mask in front of mayor. Okay, so that's an item. Okay, we'll do these real quick. East clock town. Right, right. So then there was also the granny. Visit the grandma first in stockpot. Okay. Granny cream, hot butter ice cream. You take the hot butter, you put it in the ice cream, you mix it all around, and then you go scream! Granny cream's hot butter ice cream. All right, I need this mask. Okay, so we'll talk to Grandma. So I have to do both of these, yeah? I should probably do the four giants and then the carnival of time. Two hour first, okay. Oh shit! Yo! Yo! That's a good thing to get. 
Can't believe she had that. That opens up a, a, a lot more of the game. I don't know what she was doing with that. I mean, that, that is a fucking sacred relic, basically. Say, I don't know for this one. Oh, shit. It's not even a relic, it's the face of a dead guitarist Zora guy. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess, well, we made it to day three. That was a great story I heard, again. You listen so hard, so mother is happy, I'll give you a prize. Garrow's mask. Wandering ninja spirits. Wow, she had some good masks. Well, one great mask and one, you know, decent, if I remember correctly. Correct, right? I wonder if I can calm down the mayor now. Or if it's still too late. It's still too early, so we need... 10. Great Bay Temple is open. The mayor's meeting is over by the third day. There's a couple things on the overworld that are now open. Yeah, the overworld has been open. Um, a couple areas are open, and then of course there's Great Bay. But we- well, I'm not gonna do those now, I'm gonna... ...save the tracker, and then open it next time. Yeah, I'm not crazy about Twitch's layout rollout either. I don't really like some of the change. I don't like most of what they did with the layout, to be honest. I get what they were going for, and it's not, like, terrible, but... ...it's just web developers trying to keep their job, not anything useful to anyone. <laughs> Fair enough. So we're gonna talk to Granny for two hours, and then we'll, we'll talk to the mayor. Do another four hours to get the in key? Oh, that's true. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, ah, ah. A couple's mask, what a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? We're all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But Mr. Mayor, this will do whether you're stubborn and will stay or guard your family. If you'd prefer to run far away and seek shelter, this is for, your peop for people to decide on their own. Well, problem solved. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are also stubborn. It is shameful. <sighs> that seems like a reasonable gift if a kid wandered in. Here you go, Sonny. Buy some ice cream. Before I forget, I may as well do this. Yeah, there's still the grotto by the bay that I can do now, but I, I can't because I have to go to bed. And then there's, yeah, there's Honey and Darling as well. Um, where do I go for this one, chat? <laughs> I just talk to you? Say yes or no, or... I do have a reservation. I have you down for an afternoon arrival, Mr. Link. That's me. In the knife chamber. Well, it was a heart piece. Just as, um, a little aside for next time. Dude, look at me! Oh my god, bro! I like the noises that, um, his footsteps make. <laughs> the name is Linkoro! Mr. Linkoro, I don't have a reservation under that name. There's one close to that, but... Really, Goro? Oh, it's nice weather, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. <laughs> Ruined. Alright, oh, man, I'm gonna have to do- I'm gonna have to fucking click all the green spots again on the tracker. There's no way to save Emo Tracker. That seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Alright, thank you for watching Majora's Mask Randomized. That was... That was a lot of fun. Um, there's more to come, obviously. Minus the uh, the, <laughs> the donation component. DONATION COMPONENT! Um... Yeah. Surprise! We're doing Majora again. I don't know, I had such a good time playing this yesterday, I, I just kind of wanted to play it again. It, it, weirdly enough, it brings me <laughs> some level of peace and joy. Weirdly enough, I don't know how, but it does. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this playthrough a lot, and I was like, what do I want to play tonight? I think I want to play Majora. It's nice to be back in Termina, and to go through all the, the stuff. I have a couple quick announcements. First announcement is...
part one of Majora's Mask Randomized uh, was taken down from YouTube. I'll probably have to make this announcement a couple times um, for no no reason that I was given. It was like it was taken down because of a terms of use violation, terms of service violation. I think it has something to do with the COVID-19 in the title, but without any real explanation, you know, that's a problem. It's because you mentioned COVID. I've mentioned COVID in my streams several times over the past uh, couple months, and there was no automatic takedown. Yeah, the money still went to charity. Like I said, we raised um, actually over $35,000 as of today for charity, which is amazing. But as I said, some people donated last minute. But anyway, like I said, anyone joining, uh, welcome. I want to do Majora because it's just been a very positive feeling thing but thank you everybody for the birthday wishes i don't i don't really i don't know whatever it's birthday it's fine um and and thank you i was here like i said i was here earlier for animal crossing and that was fun the villagers threw me a party and then i hung out after that with some friends in vr chat for a little bit we went to termina in vr chat and it was very crusty but it was kind of cool and, okay, now I have to just figure out where to go next. So there's the, uh, grotto, West Termina Field Grotto. Are you enjoying VR chat? Yeah, somewhat. I mean, I like being in it in VR with friends and just chilling. It's, it's been, um, it's been fun to explore and find, like, weird avatar worlds. Sadly, we were taken to a big titty anime girl world, and it was, that was a problem, honestly. It was, it was just too much. And the avatars were just absolutely ho horrifying yeah like the you know the nintendo switch dog yeah but we found some cool worlds there's like rips for final fantasy 7 remake already in vr chat which is kind of nuts there's um hyrule I f we found silent hill 2 which is like it's a rip but it's insanely like you know large you can go all over silent hill so the bunny hood would would be great i bet speedrunners actively hope and wish for the bunny hood or Goron mask as soon as possible. Are you excited for Tony Hawk? Yes. I talked about it earlier during Animal Crossing and it looks really good. Honestly, it looks it looks like they're going to do this one right. I mean, they made the Crash remakes. Those were really good. It's on Epic Game Store. Excuse me, it's what? It's not on anything else? It's on PS4 and Xbox. If it's good, I'll get it on PS4. They got their hands on the original source code and are building from that. Well, that's smart. That's actually really good to hear. Someone said, um... I talked about it earlier during Animal Crossing. Uh, yeah, nobody watches that shit, said a chat member. I- that is good bait, chat member. Animal Crossing has been probably the highest viewed game I've streamed in the past year. My- my, uh, my fine feathered friend, weirdly enough. Listen, even if that was obvious bait, I just thought it would be fun to respond to it. Yeah, hook, line, and sinker. Animal Crossing is second only to games and demos. Okay, the person said, dang, he got me. I gotcha. Brew. Scared ya. No RimWorld today, just Majora. Like I said, I enjoyed this so much yesterday that I felt... compelled to stream it again. And, uh, RimWorld and all the rest will be soon, but this is... I thought about it, I was like, I, you know, I kind of want to stream Mana and RimWorld tonight, but, you know, fuck it. It's another bottle. Wow. It's just the empty one. Holy shit. Wow, we just got... How many bottles do we have now? All but one? I don't know what to do with all these goddamn bottles now, chat. I'll be honest, this is, this is maybe too many bottles. There's an underwater chest around here, so we're gonna go to that one next. Um, what was the thing from yesterday that people were telling me to do? Get magic, then sword. Right, magic is important right now. Oh, right, get gold dust again. Actually, no, I'm not gonna get gold dust because I can't do anything with that yet. I know where it is, and then when I get magic, I can, you know, use it. Okay, so that's a heart piece. Okay, so that's checked off. Twin Island Ramps Secret Grotto. So I might need the Scarecrow for that. There's, um, Swamp Tourist Center... ...photos. There's Southern Swamp Grotto. Did I not do Southern Swamp Grotto? There's Honey and Darling, which if magic is at Honey and Darling, I'm gonna be... ...pissed. 
I can't even go to Great Bay yet. There's a hole in the grass near the swamp area. Now, here's the thing. Did I did not do that. Do I, did I need bomb blast yourself into Great Bay? Um, no, no, the logic... Okay, I, I could. The logic of all this is that I don't need to do any glitches. If the fairies aren't randomized, you can get magic by talking to the Clock Town Fairy as a Zora. Sweat? Someone said, have you visited the milk bar as a Zora? I don't have a membership. Clock Town Fairy gives two items, one for Link, one for any transformation. Oh, I might have, uh... Accidentally removed that one. I guess we'll find out. I guess I have to find the missing fairy again. If this gives me magic, then very much of the game opens up. Milk Bar is open to adult transformations. Oh, because Link is now adult. If Link is adult, then I'm adult. Also in VR, that was a bad thing to say. It was stupid. Um, I <laughs> in VR chat, the Majora's Mask, um, Clock Town, and all of Termina, really, aside from like the you know extremities, all that stuff was remade or ripped from Majora's Mask 3D. And boy, did they do a good job with that shit. I know people have their complaints about Majora's Mask 3D for various reasons, but. You know, playing this, and then looking at what they did for the 3D version, and looking around, I was like... God damn, this looks awesome. Grezzo did a great job. It's just a shame, you know, I, I, I know what Neryl's video is all about. I didn't really notice a lot of that stuff, because I hadn't played the original in so long. I will say that I'm very grateful that, um, Grezzo was so faithful. Shit looked beautiful. No, 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 I'm not talking about gameplay, chat. I know it's not faithful. I know the swimming mechanics are fucked. I know that the jumping mechanics in the Deku are fucked. I know the bosses are fucked. I know. I know the argument. You're right. It looks nice. Yes! Ah. Oh. I still can't switch magic with um, the D-pad as I, I thought I could. I set that. Someone said, I just don't get the point of playing an atmospheric game like this on a small screen. Beneath the R button? Oh, it is the R button. Thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of games that are uh, ported over to, but, like, that's not a, a great, I don't think that's a great argument. I mean, a lot of people have no problem playing handheld. But, uh... That was, you know, the point was to make a portable Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. I thought they did a great job. Put it closer to your face. Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. Um, oh, right. I have to get the, uh... Check. Gold Dust. Remind me one more time. Where was that shit? That was in the field somewhere, wasn't it? That was in the swamp? Swamp Grotto. I can't wait to get Song of Soaring so we don't have to run across Hyrule Field. For as much really great stuff we got early on, we slow as fuck. Boy, it feels really good to get these arrows early. That means dungeons are going to be easier, too, because the dungeons require the arrows for a lot of puzzles. So, and we're going to sequence break the fuck out of dungeons. Yeah, we can go up the mountain a little bit easier now, and I'm going to... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get that upgrade. Did you get the bunny hood yet? God, I wish. Vinny, I want to apologize for last night. I often make mistake with the bank. That's all right. I don't even remember what you're talking about. You could have got away with that. Uh, but I do appreciate it. It's fine. It's all good. Item at the top of the tree. I know I got that last night. It's just 50 rupees. In fact, I don't even know, like... I don't even know if that's still there. Might be. I don't know if rupees respawn or what. It's there. I'm going to get it. Because we still need to deposit a thousand rupee total. Um, someone said there's a 5,000 rupee reward, uh, bank reward. Not anymore. The randomizer has options to speed things up a bit, and I turn that off. So it's just, it's a thousand, and that's the limit. Vinny, would you want an OOT remaster or Majora's remaster? What would you see, like to see from them? Um, maybe some updated... I mean, we already got it on the 3DS, so they could port the 3DS versions over, but the Majora version... You know, the the stuff that annoys most people, I would like to see that changed. You know, nice visuals. I mean, they could do a reimagining like Final Fantasy VII Remake if they wanted to go that route. I don't know if that's the best idea, but it's... You know, I would just rather get a new Zelda game at that point. Um, I wouldn't mind Faithful, but just the same way they took the visuals and... 
just kind of upscaled them for the 3DS. They could do that for the Switch. I'd be fine with that. Maybe some enhanced play control. Um, a couple more quality of life things. Gyro aiming again. That would be fine for me. I'd buy a double pack, except they'd sell each one for 60 bucks and we'd buy it like fucking dogs that we are. Because, well not all of us, but I know how- <laughs> I know me with Zelda, man. Isn't Final Fantasy VII Remake a sequel? It's- it's uh, th that's- that's more theory. Maximilian Dude talks about how it's both a sequel and a reimagining. And it's interesting. I like Max's theories, honestly. He made me like the game even more. But I don't- that's not confirmed. I mean, it's just speculation. Regardless, though, I, I enjoyed the fuck out of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Aside from some filler and some dumb moments and some clunky handling of meta shit, uh... I had such a great time streaming that game. Again, doesn't replace the original in my mind, but it's- it's, um... It was- it was good. It's a good time, man. Boy, this one kind of blows, doesn't it? Well, that was, um... That was- that was anus. How much did you end up raising last night? We raised, um... $35,000 total, but that was also some residuals some people donated the day after. It was, um... Again, all for COVID-19 relief. I wonder if YouTube's gonna take this video down now, but, um... Uh, essentially, uh, if you missed it, if you came in a little late, YouTube took down the video, the full sauce video, for last night's Majora's Mask stream, uh, for unknown reasons, because probably we put COVID-19 in the title, um, you know, because it was for a charity, and some bot probably got it, and they were like, we're doing, we're helping, we are helping. What a terrible minigame this is. Are you gonna fight it? I mean, how do you fight it? There's no legal recourse for something like this. You just have to hope that they enable it. Um, we sent them a tweet, Team YouTube. That's like kind of the best thing you can do. You can appeal. You might not hear back for a while. Um, I'm wondering if it's just because COVID-19 was in the title or because it detected me saying something. Also, people have been getting recommendations for stand in the place where you are because I say the lyrics or the name of certain songs, the recommended videos for some of my videos will also be the songs I reference. I made a little joke about Champagne Supernova. I said, slowly walking down the hall faster than a cannonball, where were you while we were getting high, right? So the lyrics to Champagne Supernova. And someone told me that they got a YouTube recommended video for fucking Champagne Supernova on that video. This is the worst minigame, chat. This is- this minigame is just so ungood. I missed one? <sighs> um, also, my RimWorld videos apparently get Miku recommendations, because I say the name Miku, 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 Miku over and over and over again. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, fuck off. Alright, so that's the first one, alright? If you do all three, you get an item. So I have to do... I have to come back on day two and day three. Vinny, you've been on YouTube for how many years and you don't understand basic search algorithms? Probably because people look up those songs you mentioned for context. You alright, chat member? Do you need someone to talk to? Jeez. Well, there's also... there's vocal recognition, too. That's a thing that's been going on with ads for, like, Facebook and shit. And so that's where I thought it was going. You know what I mean? I figured, okay, because I recited the lyrics to Champagne Supernova, it detected that, because the fucking detection algorithm they have on YouTube now is very... scarily impressive. Which is how so much of my stuff gets claimed. Um, and I figured maybe that was how they- they were like, oh well, you know, let's just link the person to related stuff. However, I will say, chat member, that I didn't really consider that maybe a lot of other people were looking up a video and then it recommended it to others. That's interesting. That's possible. Vinny, I turned on Google's live captioning for one of your streams and it got the words you meant to say. What do you mean? I, uh, that's weird, chat member. I, I don't know what that means entirely, but... 
like I said, uh, I, you mispronounced it, but the caption got it right. Okay, now that is the dystopian future that we're <laughs> that we're all headed headed for. Vinny, you missed shaking a tree. There's no furniture in these trees. I want my money back. I want a wasp. No wasps either. Yeah, I didn't realize, like, I was, again, a little bit afraid to do the randomized version of Majora's Mask because I knew how long it could take. But I didn't realize how much I'd end up enjoying it and how much this game actually fucking meant to me. Like, the nostalgia is blinding when it comes to Majora's Mask. And it's a... It's one of the Zelda games that I played several times, but not nearly as much as Zelda 2, Link to the Past, Ocarina. So there's still a lot that I don't remember, and then when I see it, I'm like, oh, that's right, that was awesome. Gabora, huh? Oh, you done it. Hearth can finally go to work for me. Yeah, you like my nipples? Yeah. Fetch our customers some coffee, quick. Now then, let me take a look at that offer. Hmm, hot deal. Cost you 100 rupees, it'll be ready at sunrise. Let's do it. Now, does this give me two items? Or is this gonna be gold dust and then just the one? Because I still have the gold dust. Upgrade, then gold dust. So, so two items. Um, so this is gonna be a waste of a day. May as well do Goron's mask. Well, this is- I don't know where it is, Goron's mask. Here's- here's the thing, though. I'm- I'm looking for... I said this last time, I've been looking for... Twin Island Ramps Secret Grotto. Twin Island Hot Springs Water Grotto. Mountain Smithy, so there's two there. So there's the Twin Island Ramp Secret Grotto. I still gotta get that one. And then I have to melt something where the Goron is. Let's see, where's that Goron? Whoa. Very hungry. Do I just... People said shoot him with an arrow. There you go. Oh. He needs rock roast? Okay, so then we're not gonna be able to get that for a little while. I still ha no chat, I still have not gotten my COVID test results, because I'm- I'm assuming- it said three days, like, to a week. And it's really annoying that, um, that I have to wait this long and- and not even, like, hear anything, but... I just assume it's because New York is so clusterfucked. I'm probably fine, but I- I think it's worth making double, triple sure, that's all. Go melt the Elder Gobon, he's stuck in a... Wait, why doesn't this work here? Oh, God damn it! Melt the Elder Gobon. Return to the spot with the Lens of Truth. What about, um... So, it's Twin Islands Hot Spring. Is that up there? Am I in the right spot for the hot spring? No. <sighs> Alright. That's where the bridges are. Okay, so then we'll go- we'll go there. Has there been a Zoron ever in- in the Zelda games? Like a crossbreed. How would it work? I don't know. I don't know. Either... Mad Scientist or... We're, yeah, we're gonna go with Mad Scientist. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with that. Ho-ho. Is the name of the Mad Scientist, in this case. I know people were talking about having to get the Scarecrow... ...to get to a certain place. But I figured maybe that tree right there was the one? Use the Scarecrow right here. Okay, so I don't have the Scarecrow song, still. I am very inefficient. So what I need to do is go back to town, get the Scarecrow song, and then come back here. But then again, I still have to wait for the, the sword upgrade, so I may as well just do all that anyway, but... We'll come here first. I'll go back to, um, Clock Town. Use Fire Arrow on the ice on the second island. Oh, right. Yeah, this. This is the hot spring. There's gonna be something here. Okay. Mark that off. Alright, so then there's still the, um... Again, it's green. So I guess that just means get the Scarecrow song. Is this where the Elder Goron is? Is he in one of these? Oh, that's a turtle. There he- there he is! I think that 
Tektite just glitched the fuck out of <laughs> What was I doing? Oh, I must hurry. That's normal? Okay. I'll get there eventually. Then you have to keep talking to him. Gotta be Goron to learn song. Uh, here's a song I like to call Street Fighter Man, okay? Uh, this one's called Give Me Satisfaction, alright? Because I never got satisfaction when I was in the Rolling Stones, alright? That's, yeah, that's him. We have special guests on the stream sometime, uh, sometimes, and, and you know, that was shitty Mick Jagger. Elder Goron does nothing in Rando, even with Goron, his whole minigame is skipped. Oh. Yeah, so I guess the next thing for me to do is, um, it's still, I mean, it's still just the smithy. Honey and Darling, smithy. Those are the main items that I need right now, otherwise I'm still gonna have a hard time without glitches. Moving into the next realm. Ikana is open with Garrow. There's, on my map, there's really not any locations I need to hit. Yeah, the crust is actually, um, the game. Majora kind of has some difficulty with, um, being emulated. And, and if you remember, the re-release on the Wii Virtual Console, I think that one had some issues too. Oh, and then on the GameCube disc that came with Wind Waker, for the, the Zelda collection, I think it even had some crust. I'm just speaking hypothetically. Of course, I'm, this I'm playing on an N64 gaming console. Vinny, how's the new album doing? Um, as I've been saying for a while, we're not really risking the studio right now. So, sadly, it's at a, like, a standstill. Joe's doing a little bit of mixing. So it's just, um, you know, we're, we're so close to being finished, but we don't want to rush it still. So there's, there's no real news. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit here and there, some mixes. Oh, fuck, what was the code again? It was 31542. You can actually mark the code in the tracker. Vinny's never going to backflip over this kid. Is that a thing you can do to get past the kid without the code? Are you enjoying this more than the Ocarina of Time randomized playthrough? I think at the moment I am because I have a tracker. And I can actually fucking, like, see where I'm going. It's, it's been very helpful. Alright, so this will be my Scarecrow song. You ready? Vinny, turn on crowd control. I have three dollars. Only if you send me a new sword. Alright, how about this? How about... You can draw dicks on the screen again. I mean Texas. I mean aliens. I can't believe it. Chat was able to draw Texas, but they had a problem drawing an alien face. Also, I will be ending the stream a little early tonight because there's like four pages of art. So, like three on the dot, almost. Five pages now? Yeah, three on the dot. I'm going to end the stream. There, there's no way I'm letting that slip into like 4.30 a.m. 4.30 yam. That's not early. For me, it's early. <laughs> yeah, when Yam hits. Exactly. Am I sleeping well? I'm sleeping well. I mean, I don't... ...align with the sun and the stars the way most people would want me to. Including the sun and the stars, but I definitely get enough sleep. Bomb skip ball. Can I take this onto, uh, what, what show was it that had invention? Shark Tank? Well, that was easy. Compared to fucking bomb chew targets. Okay, sadly, we, we have a little bit of a boring uh, adventure ahead of us. I have to go back up the mountain. Demolt them! We have to go back up the mountain, then back down the mountain, and then back up the mountain again. And it, this would be, like, easy as fuck if I had the proper maskage, but I don't. Have you seen Wellington Paranormal? No, isn't that, um... I don't know if Jermaine has anything to do with that show, but that's a spin-off of what we do in the shadows. They, it's the Wellington Department of Paranormal Investigation. I don't know what it is entirely, but um, I've been meaning to watch that. Dave and I were talking about checking that one out. He's one of the creators, so, okay, so he doesn't, like, actively direct it, like what we do in the shadows, okay. The Zora mask makes you tall enough to sequence break a few spots. Um, apparently you can backflip over the kid, which... That's like when Carl Pilkington said he could kick his height, and Ricky was like, Carl, what the fuck do you mean, kick your height? And Steven, like, Carl, I don't know what you mean, kick your height, mate, please! Yeah, when I was young, uh, could kick me height. Like, he's still holding on to that as one of his, like, um, accomplishments, <laughs> like, in life. And I, I was like, what does he mean, kick his height? I don't know what that, I, I don't understand, kick your height, kick his height! And then, it, it made perfect sense. 
Carl is the genius. It just means he could, he was able to kick how tall he was. Jermaine directed half the episodes and wrote as well. Wow, Jermaine is busy lately. I was able to kick me height. I was able to jump far when I was a kid. I was an athletic little son of a bitch. I, I jumped and kicked and... And then I just stopped. Because I found drugs. And that drug was programming. I learned Visual Basic. And then I stayed in my house forever and played Half-Life and Warcraft 3. That's true, by the way. I did- yeah, I, I learned Visual Basic. I, I made AOL progs, or tried to. I failed miserably, but I tried. It was a cool thing to do, because one of my friends got me into it. But I- I, I learned a little bit. I realize now that not everyone knows what I'm talking about when I say progs. So that's- never mind. Here, I got a better one for you. With progs, you could punt people off the internet. My prog career ended when AOL 3.0 was phased out for 4.0, which had better security, and, uh... At that point, I just- I realized that I was making something for something that was outdated, and I just gave up. So instead of going back down the mountain now, I'm gonna go and do the thing I missed. Then I will go to the third day, get the item, go back down, do the shooting gallery, get the item, and then we start a brand new day. Which is a good Sting song, and also a chat member. I told you, Sting has a couple good songs. I kinda got into, um, his lame album with Fields of Gold on it. Kinda got into that one a little bit. There's a song on there called Seven Days that I really like. Good chords. Sting wrote very good chord, um, structures. Like, I, I like a lot of his melodies and chords. lamest possible version of that song that could have happened. Oh, right, I can't do that, because I need, uh, Goron. I can, however, bomb the tree. Or I need Big Bomb for that. I- I really can't wait to stumble upon the Fierce Deity Mask. I know it's gonna happen in one of these grottos, or... ...some dumb item for doing the most menial of tasks. Please be it. Wow. Well, that was fucking... ...highly convenient. I can't use it yet, though. I need to be Goron. But, I have it. I checked it off on the tracker, so... Also, Hootie, that... emo tracker... You know, we need to cheer it up a little bit. But it's a really good... Really, really good tool. Things have come such a fucking long way for randomizers. Like, the randomizers themselves are so much better. The trackers are so much better. It's fantastic. You could make an entire streaming career on randomizers. I- I would. I mean... If someone was like, all right, you can choose to your 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 nipples turn into spaghetti. Or you can stream randomizers for the rest of your streaming career and that's it. I'd be like, "Oh, I'll I'll stream randomizers. That's fine." Can you put the tracker on the screen? Uh it it's Uh no. I mean, I could probably get the items on there, but you can already see what items I have. Um, this is sadly not a professional stream, but I can show you generally what it looks like for a second. So it, you know, shows you the areas and the items, and it's- it's good. But, um, I'd probably have to, like, actually figure that out and make it look nice. Uh, also, bless you, Link. Uh, yeah, so, you know, maybe in the future, just the items is fine. Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> If I do another randomizer that uses emo tracker, maybe. Fucking bomb shoes. So that unlocks uh, nothing. There's there's nothing on the world that is now opened up as a result of bomb chew, as far as I can tell. In fact, not just as far as I can tell, but definitely not. Vinny, you will never have gilded sword. You're probably right, and I think I'm okay with that. I think the razor sword is one of the best looking Zelda weapons, and I've always wanted to be able to use the Razor Sword in Majora's Mask without it breaking. So the fact that it doesn't break and I get to use it for this much of a playthrough has been just glorious. Also, here's a... Here's a weird thing. I think the Gilded Sword looks like shit. One of the coolest swords in Zelda history, coupled with one of the ugliest. And the Great Fairy Sword also looks like shit. However, Fierce Deity Link's sword looks amazing. 
So it's just kind of a weird mix of good and bad swords in this game. I mean, in the 3DS remake, the swords do look a little bit cooler, especially uh, the Great Fairy Sword. I remember it thinking like, ah, I get it now. What about the Master Sword? It's too plain. It's at this point, the the Master Sword is iconic in spite of itself. I don't think it's the best looking sword in the world. It's just iconic. I like the the poster for um, Link to the Past. There's a poster that has the Master Sword on it, and I, I like that poster a lot. It looks really cool in that poster. Um, every other time, it's just okay. Gilded and Razor Sword have the same attack power. I think Nari mentioned something about Gilded being slightly upgraded in the randomizer. Gilded is longer. Does it have better reach? Gilded has more reach. Okay, well that's, you know, one reason to get it in the randomizer at least. Well, Narold is now saying that the, the Gilded Sword has three times attack power as opposed to two times. Wow, really? Nah, I was just joshing. Oh yeah, the aiming is ten times better in the 3DS. Ugh. Oh, the adult wallet? I already have the giant wallet. Oh. The only other thing I can think of right now is the 1,000 rupee donation. And there's the Southern Swamp Grotto. So I'm gonna go kill that bird and then donate those rupees and see what happens. Did you forget to turn on progressive items when you set up the randomizer? Uh, I didn't see that option, or maybe I didn't know what it meant. Isn't Icona open? Yeah, but nothing's showing up on the map. Like, I, I... Let me make sure I got the Garrow. Yeah, Garrow and Hookshot, and yet there's no extra... He needs Epona to get into... Okay, I need Epona to get into Icona Valley. Va Valley? So I need to just check off my last couple of options before I can progress. Someone said I'm calling it now, the bank has Epona. Is- that's not possible, is it? Oh, the song? You just need the song. Yeah, it's funnier though if the bank actually has Epona. What was it? I don't remember what was in here. Well, I'll get it anyway. Never mind. I, yeah, I did the Dance Master. That's done. Uh... I think we're close to a thousand rupees, but I'm not sure. Did you see that they discovered a frog in real life that looks like Kermit? Yeah, and on Kermit's 65th birthday, kind of. Or, or near it, right? Treasure maze in town? Oh, the Dodongos in the ice area have rupees. Um, I'm not sure how many rupees I need, but I'll take a look. I need Goron for treasure maze. Oh. The treasure maze in town gives you a heart piece if you play as a Zora. That's not even listed here. I don't have that at all. Here he is! It's a nice frog. Yeah, I approve of that frog. With the bank, is it cumulative? Or does it have to be over a thousand total? Total. Okay, so we'll see how many we need. 921 rupees. Okay, so I'm gonna go bomb some Dodongos real quick. What songs do you have so far? Not very many. Alright, they explode. Ah! Okay. I don't remember the reward for this, but let's get it anyway. Why not? Let me guess, a singular heart. Oh no, it's Chateau Romani. This is- this is a good thing. It's not a good thing now, but it's- basically, it's infinite magic for an entire cycle, right? It sells for 200 rupees as well. Cool. Yeah, that's gonna be something... For, for cycles where I go for dungeons, I'm very likely going to get that. I guess I can deposit. I don't know if I can deposit all of this, but, um, here, I have a hundred. Yep. This is all I can give you. It is letter to cafe. Wow. Um useless? It's it's isn't it too late for that? Don't worry, you can get it next cycle too. You have to mail that from the first day to get rewards from it. God damn it. You'll have to withdraw and deposit next cycle. That gets you more items. Okay, well hang on a minute. Um yeah, it just opened up a green... There's three items, in fact, that it opens up. So that's good. I don't know if there's anything else I can do on third day right now, so I'm just gonna go back in time. Vinny, leave it at one... Uh, nine, just withdraw to have 999 rupees in the bank. <laughs> Ooh, 
I we're back. Thanks for waving at us, Link. Yeah, no, the the way the, the waving is part of the randomizer. It's just japes. It's for fun. If any help, I bought RimWorld today and I've played for eight hours already. I've heard that from many a folk. That's how it goes. She says she remembers Link. But it's only the stamp on his hand that uh that's doing the work here. Okay, so chat, um, I may need a little bit of help with this because I don't remember exactly the order that this goes in, but, um, this letter goes to... I don't know, chat. I don't... It, it, she? I'm not sure. Chat was saying yesterday, they were like, it's the bank lady. Just put it in a post box? Okay. He's literally right here, by the way. So, now what? Wait until the afternoon? Double time until washing basin. Day two at 3 p.m. you can talk to Cafe. Okay. Wait for the postman to deliver it and then sneak into Cafe's room. There's- there's my mayor. Somewhere. Never mind, I don't see him anymore. So now, uh, I guess I wait until 2 p.m.? 3 p.m. Well, there's a couple things I could be doing. I could do the swamp thing. Which is a movie. Sw uh, Southern Swamp Grotto. That's still a thing I can do. Um, I could talk to Granny. Someone said I can actually skip to 6 p.m. and still do the thing. Go into Cafe's house anytime after the letter is delivered. Alright, so then we'll- we'll skip ahead a little bit. Did someone try to post an emoticon by linking to an emoticon? Yes, they did. Why is there money in here? Mate, that's some good money. 60 rupees. Green hat, green clothes. Andrew wrote about you in her letter. Seems you're looking for cafe. You keep a secret. Andrew trusted you. I shall also trust you. I've never even met Andrew, but sure. So, um, he's a child. There, there was like a curse. Strange imp wearing a mask turned him into a child. He was supposed to get married, but now he's Bab. God damn it. Okay, so that's item number one. Curiosity shop. Final day, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. There's two items. Give the pendant to Andrew now. Is- yeah? Is there still an item involved for that? There is, right? Or no point? Why no point? It doesn't accomplish anything. Yeah. The pendant is only useful if you can do the entire quest, which I cannot. Yeah, this is the, the best quest in maybe, like, almost any Zelda game, I think. It's a really... It's a really good one. It's well written. It's fucked up. It's sad. It's, um... Yeah, by the time you get to the end of it, it's, it's pretty emotionally heavy. There's one- OH SHIT! Alright, first dungeon, here we come. Oh, shit! Mental. Well, that was, like, incredibly fortunate. Then there's the Deku Playground, you have to do all three days. So that's- that's here. Toilet hand we did. Midnight item from Anju, night one. Did we do that? Midnight item from Anju? You can't get into the dungeon yet since you need the song, but you can get- go to the palace. Yeah, there's a, a million things that opened up because of this. Is this, uh, Song of Healing is supposed to be... Hmm. I think that's randomized too. Should I even bother depositing these fucking rupees? Can't- yeah, can't deposit anymore. A thousand's the limit. Deku Snot. Okay. Um... Looking around here, again, there's- there's also three days of Deku Playground, which I'm probably gonna do. Oh, fuck off! Get the song in the Swamp Palace. Yeah, we have to do a lot of stuff at the Swamp. That's our next destination. There's a whole fuckload of spots that we can do there. First, I'm gonna attempt the Deku Playground. Then again, maybe I'm not gonna do that. I don't know if I should do that now. Song of Soaring will let you jump around. I would very much like Song of Soaring. You need money for the Deku Playground. Alright, fuck the Deku Playground. Get out of here, Deku Playground. Peace off. 
Also, nice D-pad quality of life there. Deku's spin is fast transportation. Well, it's faster. Yeah, I have a, I have a thousand rupees in the bank, but I'm just lazy. It was an excuse not to do Deku Playground, so I'm gonna go with that. Every time Deku Link spins, it makes a noise that sounds like the word spin. If you squint your ears, you can hear it. I stole that line from Murray, by the way, from uh, Fly the Concords. So, not an original line. Actually, I want to get to that swamp um, gro uh, grotto first. I don't know if this will take me to it, but... In fact, I don't know where the fuck this is going to take me, period. Okay, now, palace. Uh, I still need that fucking grotto. South Swamp Grotto, I don't know where that is. It's further along the river. Okay. It's near the spider house. I live in the spider house, chat. Is that it? Yep. Alright, that was bean-like. God damn it. I was just checking it off on the map. No spider house yet. I don't have the proper song. Oh shit. Use fire arrow. You don't need a song? Use fire arrow to burn the web. Song of soaring engraving. Where I need that. Chat. That's vital. Is that near um the, the Woodfall Temple? Hi, uh, yes. I am I am a Deku scrub. Hello, yes. What can I do for you? Take a picture with the king. I don't- I don't have a camera. The courtyard of the king! Oops. That was another very satisfying game mechanic that was removed in, uh, oh, oh, teeth. Uh, uh, sorry, in Majora's Mask 3D. They fucked with the physics of the Deku Scrub, and it- it, it was kind of shite. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna talk about it, chat. Again, I didn't notice it. I've just been told to be angry about it. So that's- that's what I'm doing. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh! Uh, I don't have bean. Do I- I need bean for this, right? Oh my god, this randomizer is gonna take as long as the actual game to complete. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember which treasure chest I got the bean from last time. But you don't, um, you don't take the bean with you. Bean cave is here in the palace, too. Well, there's an item in the bean cave. It's like, insanely Metal Gear Solid, down to the camera angle. Yep, need bean for everything. God damn it. Well, bean man can give me an item, at least. The Mask of Truth. That opens up a couple things. It's useful- yeah, it's not really useful right the second. Um, there's also a heart piece up here, if I'm not mistaken, right? You can actually buy beans from him? Wait, really? I wonder if he will have the bean. Oh yeah, well that makes life a lot easier. Vinny, where did you get this randomizer? Someone on the streets of Manhattan, like, gave it to me on a CD. And then they charged me ten dollars for it as I walked away. Alright. This is the bean cave. Complete. Vinny, get monkey song. I, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where the monkey, uh, I don't know where the monkey song is. It's, it's where I came in from. Go around the back and plant the bean. Okay. Well, well, hang on, let me get the heart piece up here. At least I think it's a heart piece. If it's rupees, I'm leaving, but if it's a heart piece, I'll get it. Ah! You need to get to the upper level using the bean. Oh. There is a heart. Go get it. Okay. We'll do. That was fun. Yeah, it would have been faster to just get caught. It's true. This guy is not speedrun. Try again. Oh! Okay. Then if you could choose any game to speedrun, what would it be? Uh... I'd, I'd probably speedrun... Zelda 2 for real. Or I'd try to, at least. As frustrating as that game can be, I think that would be the one I would- I would go for. This guy. This fucking guy. Chrono Trigger? No, I wouldn't be able to do that. Chrono Trigger is- like, RPGs in general are a nightmare to speedrun for a lot of people. 
Ask Summoning Salt, he'll tell you. It's just hours and hours and hours of speed running. Half-Life would be fun. I wouldn't probably ever get good at it, but it would be- I think it would be fun. Son of a- <sighs> Just shoot bubbles at them. Well, I thought maybe that would be good enough. Son of a submariner. A lot of the Deku Scrub stuff was, was improved nicely in Ocarina of Time 3D. The aiming, the shooting, the um, finding out where you're gonna land. Or rather, where you're gonna like drop a... a nut. They made this part easier by making the platform stationary until you land on them. Oh, I don't even remember that. It's better to be safe in a case like this. Yep, it is confirmed heart piece. Uh, if I get that heart piece, do I have to do this whole thing all over again? Get it on the way out. Okay, not getting it now. Getting it now. Fuck all- That is- Oh, good! Oh, no! How dare they make this part easier? How dare they? So there's- there's no, uh, there- this is... I I'm sure there's a speedrunner that has figured out a way to shoot nut and then also fall in the right spot. I don't know. Switch back to Link and shoot arrow. I- I've been. It just takes fucking forever. This whole section takes fucking forever. Just fly past them. Just fly past them. Forehead. Oh, you can just fly past them. That one felt a little risky. I was gonna say the heart would have been my consolation prize again if I had fucked that up. Oh my god. Little uh, monkey fella here. Sonata of Awakening. Why'd I get kicked out? Oh, that was vanilla. All oh, right, the songs are vanilla. Can I do the spider house now? I can do Woodfall Temple. I can do Gossip Stone Puzzle Grottos. That's four items. Get the Song of Soaring first. I don't know where that is. Again, not having tingle maps is, is also kind of screwing with me a little bit. Get Heart Piece? I'm not gonna bother. Is this, um, is this Woodfall? If I go this way? Excellent. Okay. So the songs are confirmed in the same place, which is- that- that speeds the- everything up. Vinny is a bit quiet tonight. I am- I- I was debating on whether or not I wanted to mention it to stream and bring people down, but... Um, I- I was... I'm a little worried about- I'm a little worried about one of my family members that- I'm a- Jesus. Uh, that may have the thing. And it's been- Kind of fucking with me. It's like it, it's a never-ending ride of of uh, just anxiety. Pictograph. <laughs> Another good uh, good arrow. Cutscene arrow. Song of healing is important. Where is it if it isn't random? That's a really good question, and I I really don't know. Go to Mask, uh, Salesman as Deku Link. Yeah, we tried that. Songs are randomized with each other. Soaring was set to not be random. Awakening just happened to be vanilla. Oh. You get an item for the photo of the Deku King or Tingle. Okay, so, or, and Tingle. Alright. See, I don't remember what the song is. It's, um... There is a chest behind me, but let me do this first. Uh, that's done. Now I can get that treasure chest. Also, thank you, Jerma. Also, thank you for the birthday wishes, Jerma. Okay. 
Gotta check that off too. So what does that count as? Deku Palace Heart Piece. Monkey Teaching Sonata of Awakening. So got that. Got that. Swamp Spider House is soon enough. Song of Soaring Engraving, that's done. Woodfall Temple. Woodfall Chests, we got those three, right? Okay, it's easy enough at least to get back over there. Use the Song of Soaring. I think in the time it would take me to learn the Song of Soaring and then play the Song of Soaring, it would be faster for me to just do this. Alright. Well, shit. Um, the fairy rewards are are exactly the same, chat. So I'm, I'm, for the sake of time, not going to get all the fairies. I mean, I do have... Yeah, except that one. I'll get this one. Um, I do have this. You know, just... I could just go through the entire dungeon like this. Not that hard. There are only 15 per temple. If I stumble upon them, I might get them, but I'm gonna probably just... ...not stress it if I- if I don't get them. I'm still waiting for the random chest that has the Fierce Deity Mask in it. Oh. You shuffled moon items? I- I don't know if I did. Actually. Is that not a default? I don't think that's default. So you're telling me that I can't find Fierce Deity just randomly then? Well, that kills some of the fun. If you did, some items may be on the moon. Oh god. Isn't it useless until the last boss battle? Nope. And from what I understand in the randomizer, you can just use it. You just use it wherever. Oh, it's super game-breaking. That's half the fun. Yeah, I remember I lost my shit when I saw a link to a somersault like that. Couldn't believe it. It's like, how is this dude... ...so good two months after the end of Ocarina of Time? He was used to, like, a crusty adult body. And then he went back, and he was like, yo, I can do... I know Kung Fu. Hmm. I wonder if I can hookshot over there, let's see. Yep. Just barely, that was the fucking limit of the hookshot. Boy, I love doing dungeons completely out of order. I, I, I don't remember how to defeat these li oh, I do know how to defeat these lads. You predicted Breath of the Wild during Majora's Mask. Now predict the sequel. Oh, I don't have the energy for that. I've already given my best predictions, but uh, I don't remember if I did that. Did, what, it was So I was playing Majora's Mask 3D, and people were like, what do you think the next Zelda game would be? And I voice cracked, and then I said, here's what I think the next Zelda game's gonna be. I'm sure there's a, a video of it somewhere. You said open world with multiple weapons. Honestly, that was just wishful thinking. And when we learned that that was what it was gonna be, I remember- I remember being very, very English. I remember being very happy. And then the game actually ended up delivering, and I was pretty happy about that too, but... I- I can make no specific predictions that I haven't already made aside from, I think, you know, there's gonna be dungeons and some more traditional Zelda elements like items. That seems pretty obvious. That- that feels... Like, we're gonna have the freedom of Breath of the Wild, but with a little bit more restriction. Link will be in it. Um, you'll have to fight... Fernando's crusty human form. Maybe the hookshot will return. There's gonna be a minigame where you cook Koroks... ...and eat them. That's insider information, though, chat. Remember, I have the Razor Sword. Ah. Uh... Vinny, remember to use light arrows. Oh yeah. One hit? Yes, very good. Okay. All right, we gotta do a little bit of work here. This is what happens when you grow a turtle. And this is what happens when you... ...when you lose all your magic. And fucking suck at aiming. Yeah, I figured the game would just do the work for me. 
I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't have to do any of this. The, the game will aim and it will be perfect. It, it, it's a good idea to wait him, uh, wait him out. Let him stand still for a minute. I wasn't doing any of that. Chat, it turned out to be a regular old frog. Thank you, you're upside for me. So, someone in chat said that, uh, temples in the randomizer are set up in such a way that there's only one random item per temple. I can't- I can't speak to this frog. Don Garo mask? Okay. Stone Tower has two items. So, what- what do I need to actually- I don't remember, like, what's the thing I- I need- So, I do need to beat all the temples for the randomizer, right? There's no, like, cheesy way around that. Four temples and oath to order. Okay. Yeah, that, that's exactly... That's exactly correct. No way around that. I guess part of me was hoping I would get Fierce Deity, find a way to, like, glitch to the moon, and then just fucking teach him what for. But there was no... there's no way around all the other stuff. Okay. It's a long-ass randomizer. I remember when I saw, um, I, I googled Majora's Mask randomizer. I looked on YouTube, and one of the playthroughs was one hour, and I'm like, oh, I could do that. There was one that was three hours. I was like, alright, so this'll take three hours, and then I thought about it for a minute. I'm like, the fuck it won't. Uh, boy, this would be a little easier if I had some MP. Let me get that MP right now, let me see. I can get some MP. It's fucking Animal Crossing all over again. Alright, no MP, so we'll- we'll do this the old-fashioned way. Do you have the Chateau Romani? No, I don't. I did... for a short time. Fuck you! No, that's not the random item yet. Didn't you get a big rupee from the mini-boss? I- I don't know if the rupee was supposed to be the item. God, I hope not. I hope it wasn't just rupee. It was. Oh no! What about the boss item? Is that still a guaranteed heart? Full heart? It was one roop? No, there's no way one roop. No. I really should be getting that Chateau Romani every single time. I was sure I was gonna be able to do a temple, but yeah, now that I, I know how fast I run out of magic, especially if I'm using those light arrows, we're going full Chateau. I'm getting Link drunk. I watched a good Zeltic video about how um, it's high- it's- uh, It's very possible that- I should just not be lazy and kill those. Um, it's very possible that the forest temple in Ocarina of Time was originally meant to be a wind temple. And there's some evidence in the game, like, uh, when you get to Ganon's tower, the forest area is more wind than, uh, than forest-themed. And also, there's a- I think a song? I think it's Wind Waker that references the song yeah, there's the- the medallion looks like wind. The forest medallion is referred to as the wind medallion. So I wonder, like, maybe they- they figured during development, like, it would be better the first dungeon be themed something more general like forest and not fuck around with wind. I mean, wind kind of works, you know, in a similar way to, like, any kind of nature-themed temple. It feels like, um, feels about right. Also, the fact that the Kokiri is the spirit for the Wind Temple in Wind Waker. Same case with the Water Temple being ice-themed. Yeah, the Water Temple is, uh, is pretty big fucking beans, but I'll tell you what. My memories... Like, I thought there was an ice temple in Ocarina of Time. But it was just an ice cave. It still felt like a mini temple, but it was just a cave. So I'm pretty much... ...right there. I just don't know... Where, where's the, the boss room? Hang on a minute. I have... I have failed. Boss room should be there, right? Door with bars. There's a torch you need to shoot? Where's... where that torch at? Light torch from center of wheel. Or I can just use fire arrows, but, um, I don't know where the torch is. Oh. So, wait a minute. Oh, I got all the chests in here, yeah? Because I have the compass, it would show the, the rest of the chests. You got the randomized chest, which was the bow chest, so yeah, you can finish the dungeon. That's- that's really all I wanted to know, thank you. Apparently, Nintendo was making a Tingle horror game. That was in, um, Did You Know? 
yeah, they talked about the Tingle Horror game and how it got canceled. They were they were considering making a Western themed Tingle Horror game, basically. Not Western like cowboys, but like oh, for us uh, for us Bacas, because we we have a very different reception to Tingle than Japan does. Which is to say that, uh, it turns out many of us here in the West, if you're in the West watching, I don't know, but, um, that many, many of us, uh, hate Tingle and are, like, afraid of him on some level. I don't hate or fear Tingle. I think he's just, you know, misunderstood and weird. N and now for the creepy noises that this dude makes. Odwalla! Yeah, that's him, Mount Odwalla. How you doing? The noises he makes are still really fucking weird. What is this man saying? Chat thinks he's saying thanks, Obama. Oh, j no, he's saying Odanga. Mother of- 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 of dick ass. Alright, well that- that happened. Uh, I thought that was gonna take a little longer without the light arrows, but that just fucking melted through him. Song. Allergy of Emptiness. That was the item. The song was the item, no? No. Item was 20 rupees? His body dropped something. He dropped a red rupee. Oh, okay, no wonder I didn't notice it. I, I didn't- I, my brain tunes out red rupees. Uh, alright, well, at least I didn't miss anything important. Woodfall Temple has been cleared. I'll, I'll knock that off the map. We still got the Swamp Spider House. We've got Swamp Tourist Center, which is Tingle and the King. Vinny, go back. Oh, yeah. Considering I'm not, like, following the story... Oh, right, you need to be in a... I forgot, this was one of those... Those weird moments. Just another one of Majora's Mask's very strange moments. Oh, um, you want to see the Elegy of Emptiness? Yeah, we can do that. No? Where's- where's Ben? Oh, he's- he drowned. You can only do the statues in Ikana. Ah, oh, damn it. Save state- save state and sell the princess bottle. What, what do you mean you can sell the princess? What, you can sell it to the oddity dude? I never fucking knew that. You can't? Oh, that's japes. Error! Race the Deku Butler? I don't remember that. On the left side behind the Deku Palace. Okay. I'll do that. A little monkey fall. I, I assume that would, you know, that would do the trick. He, oh, he had a cock leaf. Chad is telling me there. I didn't even see that. King is just protecting his Deku nuts. Oh. Chat, where's the goddamn butler? Oh, he's outside. Oh, chat just wanted me to look at his leaf. Behind the squid, you almost died. Excuse me. That was like an involuntary Deku belch. I hate doing that. I hate belching on stream, and I, I don't ever really have to. And I can usually mute, but that one just... It was like words. That was like a word. Sorry about that. Sorry you had to hear... That disgusting noise that, you know, comes from the stomach, right? Goes through the esophagus, through the windpipe. 
Some would say it's unnatural. Stampy race. Please follow me, Link. Here's some fire that you have to fucking run through. Good luck. No! I'll just, yeah, the, the mask needs to go at that point. Deku spin fast, though. Ah! Uh. Bitch. <laughs> Vinny, stop trying to go fast. Wait, I don't have to go fast? No, he rubber bands. Okay, well, I'll just... Doors closed behind you, so kinda. Can't wait for my 20 rupees prize from this. I-I cringed. Chat, I actually cringed. And not in the way that, you know, you would say that one cringed. Like, I had a real cringe. Not a meme cringe. Yeah, gotta be real careful, man. Gotta be real careful over there. It's gonna walk good when I get over there. Fucking boulders now, too? I don't remember this. I don't remember this being this difficult, actually. I hope I went the right way. Okay, I think I did. God, this is- this is dampy on crack. And yet again, sometimes I just have to ask myself, how did I 100% this game- Well, you know, I was like 15 when this game came out, so... I mean, it wasn't rupees. Too much effort for a heart piece. Do boat archery now? No, I'm just gonna take a picture of Tingle and bring it to the dude. I'm gonna do boat archery next time. We're getting close to, excuse me, my cutoff. After tonight, I'm definitely gonna take a day or two away from this. Gonna do some Rim World and um, Trials of Mana, and then come back to this in a day or two. You know, maybe we'll do more of that paper ball game, uh, Mario Maker, that kind of shit. Use the Song of Soaring. Well, I do need to you. Yes. If any, it's too late for the picture. Does that mean I'm gonna have to take another picture of the king? It's the king or Tingle. But I have to be on day one for that? Why, why is it too late? Oh, the king was- it was too late for the king. You have to do it before the boss. Alright, so that's been soiled. Alright. We sure it's the king or? Because I think it's- it's- it seemed- show a photo of Tingle or Deku King. Post Woodfall Temple archery game. Okay, so I, I kind of do have to do the archery game. Alright, we can use the Song of Soaring. Let me find out how to play the Song of Soaring. Down, left, up. Oh, nice. They cut that animation out. Excellent. See, here's the thing. I think I understand now. Um, with the king, you have to take a picture of him while he's still ripe. And after you beat Woodfall, he over-ripens. Tingle is always ripe. He, he's- he's been ripened for quite a while. That's literally the name of his game. Ripened Tingle Rupee Land. Rosie R Ringle Toop- Toopy Tingle is the name of the game. The Ringles- yeah, they had a- a, a deal with Pringles for promotion purposes. Oh, I don't have a deed at the moment, right? Which deed do I need to give to this dirty deeds? The contest is ended. Day one only. What about this? For the boat ride with the arrows. Gotta save the hag. Oh my god. Oh my god. Majora, please, I love you, but why do you do this? It's second day, so I can't save the hag. Okay, hang on a minute. So I have to save the hag, defeat Woodfall, and then ride the boat and shoot. You can save her now. Okay, I'm gonna save the hag now then. Alright, just, just making... Just making sure. This randomizer is all about smart routing. I mean, again, thank God for the map, thank God for the chat, because otherwise this would have been a fucking disaster. I also need the red potion to save. Yeah. Wait, chat said get the potion. Oh, 
shit, Murph. I think I made a mistake, Murph. The witch gives you potion. Oh, man. Oh. This is the worst speedrun I've ever seen. It's like the dude's not even trying. Fuck. I had, uh, ice cream today, chat. Isn't that cool? I had an ice cream cone. With the- the chocolate stuff at the bottom of the cone. I think someone already proposed the idea. I'm pretty sure I saw a Photoshop of this. But did, um... Did anyone else see... The mock-up cereal, where it's just, oops, all cone bottoms? That's how you make millions. The bottom of the drumstick. Let's see, what's faster, soaring back or walking back? Let's find out. Thank you, chat member. And the answer would have been soaring back had I not lingered on this menu for an extended period of time. Luxury! In my day, we had to walk 20,000 miles without soaring around with wings. Man, the four Yorkshire, uh, sorry, Yorkshire gentlemen really come up a lot on stream lately. It's just a really good, useful reference, honestly. Vinny, are you watching the Summer Games Fest tomorrow morning? No, I, I mentioned the Exterminator was gonna come, uh, today, and, and that, that got delayed till tomorrow. It, oh, oh no, I wanna, I wanna puke at how awkward these controls are. But, uh, yeah, so there's- there's- there will not be... I have to fight bugs, not watch video games, but I will be, um, doing my best to catch up on the news of it afterwards. This isn't the E3 replacement that Jeff is trying to do, right, Jeff Keighley? Like, cause this seems like a pretty small amount of... I don't know if the reveals are gonna be small or what. It is? I mean, I don't think... that many... Are that many people participating? I mean, Nintendo's not participating. Nintendo has nothing lined up for this year so far. They're just gonna hope that people can coast by on the villager dialogue... ...for the next eight months. That's a cool baby romper you're wearing... ...game player. Uh, no, I- I don't know. I mean, Xenoblade's coming out soon. But that's a game that some people have played, like, seven times already. Is there another item for this? Or was that it? No, I know. I mean, listen, I, I don't expect all the games that we want to be out to be on time. It's just Nintendo was relatively light for this year. Anyway, going into this year, we only knew about a couple games. Voice is cracking all over the place. So, we might not even get a June Direct because of the virus, and I get it. Like, I'm just happy that we have a lot of stuff to play at the moment, and, you know, there's been some really good releases to keep us busy. But... Uh, it would be nice to find out what Nintendo's doing. Mario Maker update was- was really nice. That's gonna keep me busy for a while. But as for every other game company... Like, they're gearing up for, you know, new consoles. And... We got a couple releases on the horizon. But I'm hoping tomorrow maybe we'll get a couple other things. Could really use... Uh, I don't know. I mean, Terraria is coming out with a big update, so that's gonna be a good chunk of my time. Um, I don't know what else is going on. Cyberpunk, later on. New Elder Scrolls. No, that's- they said that's gonna be a couple of years after Starfield, and then... The dude from Bethesda went on Twitter and was like, You fucking people make me sick. I quote, You fucking people make me- he didn't say that. He said, Enjoy your disappointment. Nothing satisfies... Like... You're never satisfied, enjoy your disappointment. I'm paraphrasing. Um, before I go, I want to do the... ...bottle, uh, the, the fucking Mask of Truth grotto. For an item. I'll do one of them. But I don't know where it is. There's four of them. And there should be one here. Ish. Uh, maybe it's the butterflies. Against the wall next to the grass. Yep. Wait, uh, can I do this? I don't have the Goron mask. It's green! You need to play Bossa Nova as Zora or Sonata. As Deku. Bossa Nova as Zora. 
Okay, I understand now. Thank you, chat member. That's- that- that is good. You need to play the same song at every location. Can't be different ones. So why- why didn't that work? Yeah, the 3 a.m. brain hit- hit real hard. Wait a minute, chat. Are you telling me that I have to go to all of these? You don't get one item? I thought it was four items. One from each. Alright, well, time's up. It's for 20 rupees. I could do this next time. Remember how I said I was gonna do uh, art at three on the dot? I lied. I forgot where it was. Um, alright, screw it. I'm just gonna go back in time. I we'll do it next time. All the grottos should be on the upper terrace. Five pages of art. Chat, you mean well, and I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you want to draw art for me. But, holy fuck, did you give me work tonight. I'm gonna do art now. Yeah. Uh, we'll just do the grottos again next time. Don't forget to save your emo tracker progress. Thank you. Progress saved. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hi. Uh, we're gonna continue the, um, the randomizer playthrough. Uh, hope you're all doing great, if possible, or at least okay. Um, I actually have some good news in regards to, uh, the speedrun sure is taking a long time. Yeah, the, the clock's been running since three days ago, and is still running. Um, here, okay, good news. Well, the good news is, hang on, let me, let me slow down time first. So what it, there we go. Um, I didn't realize this, but the campaign was still running for a couple days, and I had to actually close it myself, but more people donated to the COVID-19 charity, and we raised we're at uh, a final total of $39,058.04. So that's a pretty good amount of money for charity. Um, that's just about four times the, the goal. So that's just a quick update. You know, it's been five days or so. It's now closed completely, so you can't donate anymore, but that's all going to charity. So thanks again, everybody. Thank you for uh, continuing to watch me spend forever on Majora's Mask. I read through a good chunk of those donation um, messages that people made, by the way, and most of them were very, very, very sweet. So, thank you for that. It was really, um, heartwarming. Okay, so, we're gonna continue. Um, Deku Playground, all three days, is a thing I need to do. Um, the other thing I need to do is go to the Gossip Stones. We're, we're pretty much almost at a standstill right now. So I need to do the Gossip Stone thing. I'm hoping that this will be, like, you know, a really good item for more progression. Vinny, did you see CBS is doing another Star Trek spin-off? Yes. Yeah, we can talk about that. Can, let me uh, get on track to find all this stuff. Um, I have my, my map open. I was excited about the show. It's called Star Trek Strange New Worlds because what they did with Captain Pike was the only good thing CBS has done with Star Trek in the whole run, in my opinion. Like, they got him right. Um, the problem is Alex Kurtzman is writing the show along with most of the writers from Star Trek Picard. So that leaves me with zero faith that this show is gonna be anywhere near high quality. It's like they're just abandoning, like, what are they gonna do, write four shows at the same time? It's, it's just, please, like, just, it's like make one show good. Someone said yes because they get four times the money. Not necessarily, because they're all doing... They're all going to be on CBS All Access. So there's no guarantee that they're going to be making 
a decent amount of money from this um, if people aren't subscribing to that fraud service. And people aren't subscribing to that, that service, you know, so I don't really think they're going to be making a ton of money. Anyway, um, I can't believe I still don't have the Tingle map. Alright, so chat, I need to find the four locations for this horrendous Gossip Stone thing that I need to do. Someone said it's near Milk Road. Have you done the Water Grotto here yet? Yeah, I got that one. I'm looking on the map. I, I see only a very small amount of locations that are available. Postman, counting game, day one, 3 p.m. to midnight. Vinny, don't forget the photo contest. Did I not do that? I'm pretty sure I did the photo contest. There's the spider house. There's... Mountain Business Scrub. It's business. It's business scrub. Um, yeah. Source 2 uh, dev kit was released. There's already mods. I can't wait to play some Half-Life Alex mods. Currently, chat, you know, the workshop is now available for Half-Life Alex with Source 2 and tons of tools. And I want to show you. It's amazing. Look at the stuff that's already available to download. It's so cool. So I can't wait to see where we're at in another 24 hours. Now, there's a couple on there already that seem kind of decent, but I'll, I'll wait. Vinny, you were too late on the photo contest? You sure about that? Definitely? Okay. So then I'll, I'll do the photo contest. Um... So I have to play one song, right? If I do New Wave Bossa Nova on all four, I get the thing, the item. You had the Happy King, not Sad King. Oh, it was day one only. Okay. Alright, so I'll go do the photo as well. Those are two things that I could do, otherwise I'm, I'm not really able to make very much progress right now. Okay, next one. So, that's one of four. Um, this could be one. Yep. The Icona side is next to the observatory, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, rock and roll ass. Also, I want to recommend hot ginger ale, if anyone has never experimented with hot ginger ale. Boy, is it... Just... Don't do it. I left, uh, some ginger ale Canada Dry in my trunk for a while, because I was like, I don't feel like carrying that in, and it got real hot. And so... I tried to cool it down, but it's still a little hot. Let's see if it's hot now. It's... it's like... It's like room temperature. Boil it? Wasn't there a video of someone boiling soda, and there was just like a black gunk? And, and like a bunch of water. Like they separated it into black gunk and water. No, I don't have ice. <laughs> what is- uh, ice is a really- like, that's a delicacy, isn't it? It was burnt sugar, Vin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like calling it black gunk, but uh... I want you to think about how, like, rare ice was many hundreds of years ago. And now we just take it for granted because we have ice machines. Ice is a goddamn miracle. So, my problem is, I had old ice in my freezer, and it tasted like french fries. So I had to, uh, I had to get rid of that ice. How? Well, if you keep- Okay, so say if you use half the french fries that are frozen, and then, uh, the ice takes the properties of- of the french fry. Not fun. It's just old ice. I forgot about that dude. Weird dude. Um... So, Vinny, it's next to the fence. Okay. Against the telescope fence on the left side. Yeah, so, just when you need ice, you forget that it was in there for like two, three months. And it's like, well, fuck, now it's... now it's ruined. So... You know, otherwise I don't usually need the ice. Clean your ice. What if I scrape the outer layer of the ice? Will it still taste like french fries? Alright, I'll stop. We don't need to talk about this anymore. Wash your ice. What if I put it in the dishwasher? Listen, I have brain problems that I made up in my own mind just now. So... This is all perfectly... Like, within my brain, I'm like, I'll oh, put it, you know, scrape the ice and get rid of the french fries. That seems fine! So where's this one, chat? This, this one I'm having a little trouble with. Next to the forest wall between Milk Road and Swamp. This better be a great item that enables me to move to the next set of things I, I need to do because I have locked progress right now, believe it or not. 
You would think with all the items I have currently, I can... I can do almost anything. Nope. No, I cannot. I also know that deep down this is just going to be a bloopy. Curiosity Shop has like six items Focus on that. Yeah, the Curiosity Shop has... Uh, every store is a fixed item, if I'm not mistaken. They are rewards, not items. Okay. Wow. Well, that was fucking extremely fortunate. Romani Ranch Aliens Quest is now available. Um, Road to Akana Grotto. There's the Baby Goron stuff. The Liver Rock sir Sirloin. Treasure Box Shop. Goron Prize. What was the other one? It was the post office. What time is it? It's 10. Vinny, look at my chat log. I called Goron Mask. Do I win something? What would you like, chat member? Do you want a brand new car? Vinny, get Chateau Romani since you're here. Oh, remind me. Chateau Romani was, was in this one, yeah? Also, I can now roll around at the speed of sound. That's not Chateau Romani. The Dongo Grotto? Okay. I want you to think about what you just said. And what those two words sound like when put together. It makes perfect sense. But... Say that to anyone that doesn't play Zelda. And they're gonna think you had a stroke. Look at that. Three... Punch. Send the chat member some french fry ice. I could do that. I got plenty of that. Aura eyed. Flavored ice. God damn. Goron mask is so much fun. I have the powder keg too. I don't have the powder keg. I need to get the powder keg, which I know where it is. Luckily. Um I gotta take a picture of Tingle. Um Deku Playground. I'm I'm really just procrastinating that one. Hoping it's a heart piece or 20 rupees. I, I gotta mingle with Tingle, but let's do the uh, maze first. Buy the powder keg at the bomb shop? Well, I found it someplace else. This is randomized. I mean, it's literally right near the spot. You can... I, I'll, you know what? People are saying I can buy it, so I'll just buy it then. FYI, F uh, couple's mask on Final Night requires letter to cafe, pendant of memories, and the Saikon mini dungeon. It takes work. All three days. Oh dear lord. Okay, we won't do that for a little while then. I hate this maze. Did I not do this as Link chat? Can you do this as Link? Oh wow. Wow, okay. Different reward? You can do it in all forms? It's weird because it only... On my, um... Tracker here, it only has Goron prize. No big reward for any other form, only Goron. That's all I needed to know. Normally that's a piece of heart. Only Goron gives prize, the rest are money. According to the tracker, which I believe is accurate, there is only that one thing. Is that Marco Keaton? Um, Keaton Grass Art. Keaton Mask opens up, like, three spots, actually. I thought Marco Keaton. Is it John Kenny? Is it the cartoon Batman? Supposed to put the mask on first? Oh. Hey everybody, it's me, Val Kilmer. Is it Mac occasion? Hello, child. If you are attempting to fool me, it is impossible. We Keatons can recognize our own by the sheen of our tails. It's a Pokémon, mixed with red. Pick one of three choices. How many members are there of the Zora Band Indigo? I think it's four, right? I chat. I haven't gotten to that point yet. I forget. Or is it five? Chat, you're supposed to help me cheat. This is Marco Keaton. I don't get it. Where, where'd it go? Once per cycle? We'll go to Milk Road. I mean, I think I could do all of the alien stuff now, too. Or I need the 
No Epona or Bunny Hood. Never mind, I can't do that stuff. Oh, here's what I can do. It says here, Day 1, Romani Ranch Archery Training. Night 1, Save the Cows. Night 2, Escort Premia after defeating them. It, there, it's green. It, it is green. Oh, fuck. That was a Keaton spot. Vinny, you need the powder keg. Well, getting around is a little bit easier now, at least. I'll go buy a powder keg. I'm a very inefficient speedrunner. This is five days of speedrun. What's the next game you're looking forward to? Uh, Terraria update tomorrow. There's a chance I'll be streaming early tomorrow. To check it out. So where's that, uh, powder keg? The Goron? Wait, who are you calling a Goron? Do I only- I don't remember if I need more than one. D do I just need the one? Oh! Vinny, are you gonna watch the PS5 event in two weeks? Um... I'm sure I'll watch it. I'm sure- I, I probably won't watch it live, but I'm sure I'll end up seeing it. I, it's like, do I have to? There are three places where you need the powder keg. Milk Road, Goron Racetrack, and Ikana. Okay. Yay! Who is the leader of the Bombers gang? Jim? How many cows are there at Romani Ranch? Okay, chat, I'm gonna really need help with this one. I took a chance, some chat members were saying. It was three. What instrument does the Skull Kid play? The ocarina, right? I mean, that's what he has. Whoa, 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 flute? Oh yeah, I guess he had my ocarina for a brief time in the beginning. Brain dead. That's my name. Darmani is of which race? <laughs> Again, this is a randomizer. I have not been paying attention to these details. Golbon? Well, so, uh, you only do that once. You, you answer the five questions, and then you get one reward, and I just clicked off that one, and all the other two went away. So, it's only that one time. Free powder keg. Did you forget how, who Darmani is? Yes. Am I Darmani when I put the mask on? Have I come to bargain? Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Link? That's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes. Oh, wait, am I? And you patter about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. Tonight, tonight. They are coming. This is one of the weirdest fucking side quests in all of Zeld. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. They're also- the cutscenes are being skipped because of the randomizer, so... I'm recruiting for an assistant. I'll try. Hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You mustn't leave the ranch. Wait, do I need... I probably do need a Pona for this. Oh, oh, I get a, an Epona. One free Epona. Who is this horse I now have? One free Epona with every target practice. Jabrona? <laughs> that's a good... That's a good name. Vinny, use the radar. I've been so used to not having a goddamn map that... I didn't even bother looking down there. Wow. That's great. You two work perfectly together. Goron Lullaby. Oh. The operation starts tonight at 2. I'll be waiting in the barn. Don't be late. Now you can do Ice Dungeon? Really? Not yet. Well, it says Road to Snowhead. Yeah, 2 a.m., so 12 hours from now. I'm gonna see what other things I can do at the moment. If you track down the Goron Elder, you can presumably learn a different song. Postman game should be open. Oh, that's true. I could do the Postman game. And then I can go up to Snowhead. Yeah! You, you, you get in there. 
Unless you have Cracker Jack timing, you can't do the Postman game without the bunny hood. Are you kidding me? I'm... Cracker Jack timing, I got that shit. What is that? Running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. It's in the middle of mental training. Oh, it's this. I remember this. Press start, count to 10 seconds. At the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot, press A again. Ten forty. <clears throat> How'd that happen? I guess I have Cracker Jack timing. What the fuck? <laughs> that is amazing! You have the reflexes suitable for a postman. Thanks for showing me something impressive. I give you this. Wow. <laughs> Musician timing? I don't know, my timing's not all that great. <laughs> There's also a top priority delivery on the final night. So I'm not gonna check that one off yet. Chat, does it count like 0 .001? Or 0 .01, 0 .02, 0 .03? It does. Kinda. By frames. Okay. That's not only dependent on a strict- on strict timing, but also RNG dependent on a 1 in 3 chance of landing on it, so you're actually super lucky. The Wii version has a bug where it can land on 10.01 because the frame timing is wrong. Holy shit. Yeah, my new claim to fame is just Cracker Jack timing, I guess. The most recent 100% run at GDQ failed to get that heart piece because of that, the Wii version bug. Oh, that sucks. So let's see. Frog Choir. Deliver Rock Sirloin Sirloin to Hungry Goron. Medigoron Powder Keg. Baby Goron teaching lullaby. Baby Elsa surgery dress up. Road to Snowhead get in the secret grotto. So Goron racetrack isn't listed currently. You need to clear Snowhead first. Oh. Well, it says here that there is Medi Goron powder keg. Talk to him after opening the track. The elder again. This guy has nothing for you in rando. Oh. Screw that guy, then. So I have to wake the babby, right? The one you're looking for is in the village, stuck in a cave, covered in ice. Or calm the babby, not wake the babby. The babby. The babby. The babby. The rumors of a new 2D Metroid were... ...mentioned fairly recently. How cool would it be if it was an Other M sequel? I mean... The end of the Paper Mario trailer, there was a Samus helmet. That was alongside the Paper Mario rumor. That was interesting. I don't know, I have my doubts, but it would be cool. Talk to him as Goron. Oh, is that Metagoron? Where do you get these rumors? Oh, at the gas station. I don't need this. <laughs> I've succeeded. Funny Poggers man in chat said, My uncle who works at Nintendo told me there will be a new Metroid, don't worry. That wouldn't happen to be Metroid Prime 4, would it? Funny Poggers man? My uncle who works at Poggers? Told me that there's gonna be a new Paper Mario game. How did you know there would be a new Paper Mario game? I told you, man, I got the inside scoop. Vinny, did you ever own any Pogs? Oh my god, yes, I have... I have Pogs. I still have them, yeah. I'd, I'd love to dig them up and show you at some point, chat, but... I have Pogs and Slammers. Yep, still got them. Hang on. Let me check and see... ...if they're literally right here. Some of them are. You hear that? Oh my god. I s literally have them right in front of me. Why? I don't know, it's just... I don't know. Let's see, real quick. It never hurts to axe. It's a zombie with an axe in his head. 
pure poison. It's a skull with a knife through his skull. Zack from Power Rangers, Pink Ranger, Ready for Action Power Rangers, a skeleton on a surfboard, a super cool aesthetic eight ball, Vincent Van Gogh, which is a zombie painting a picture of some kind, another aesthetic eight ball, some weird like dude with a shield falling and it's also aesthetic, a bat lady, Eric the Dead, it's a viking but he's, he's dead. Another eight ball. <laughs> uh, karate and a guy doing a high kick. And Kimberly from Power Rangers. The Pink Ranger. And that's just maybe like, I guess, I would say 5% of my Pog collection. Like, I even have the Pog tubes. The ones that go like this. You can hear the, the Pog tube. For those that don't know what the fuck a Pog is... Please Google it. Take a look. It's in a book. See if, if you can understand it. Um, yeah, I don't have all of my pogs, but those are the ones that I have right there. In one of the tubes that I have. At some point, I will take pictures of my pog collection. Goron, ground pound at the front door. Okay. Do vine sauce pogs? I think I might do that for the next convention. Which will probably be in about two or three years. Did you ever make your own pogs? No, but I knew people that had the pog creator where you could stamp out pogs. Chat, I don't know how to do a Goron ground pound. I say as I do a Goron ground pound. Cool. That opens up the rest of the game. So I guess I don't have to play the song then. Vinny, now light up all the torches. Wait. Do I really have to do that? It just says talk to baby Goron. That's the bunny hood thing? To do rock sirloin. Okay. All right, before I do that, I want to show you guys something. Aside from this noise, which is really kind of weird. All right, so th that's what my map looked like. This is what happens when I click Epona. Those are all the other locations that have been unlocked. I guess we'll see if this even unlocks anything, but I'm going to try to do it. Again, for the record, this isn't on the tracker. I don't know if the stick goes out the same way it does in Ocarina. Alright, well that works. What did that accomplish exactly? Break with Goron. It's amazing how much of this game I don't remember. The Goron just told you. Do I look like I know how to read? Vinny, you have an English major. I have an English major what? No, I had an English major, now I have an English degree. Alright? So, with that piece of paper, I am allowed to tell you that I, I am qualified to tell you more about the English language. So if you are without that piece of paper, and you fight me on the definition or pronunciation of a war ed, I can just show you the certificate. Boy, this- this fucking... this little minigame, or side quest, or whatever this is, kinda sucks. By the way, fruit should be spelled F-R-O-O-T. So, I've lodged a complaint... ...with Johnny English. And I'm trying to get that word changed. How easy is it to get an English degree again? You know those stories I tell on the street of how someone will sell you a CD? by giving you the CD and then asking for $10 as you start walking away. It's kinda... like that. Don't forget Romani. That's at 2 a.m. I think we'll have enough time for that. 
I was gonna say, if- if I lost the rock roast, I would have been pretty upset. Oh. Fuck on at it. Up out of here. <laughs> yeah, if you wanna, like, sound powerful after you do something cool in a video game, you have to say, get the fuck on up out of here. That's also, again, English major approved. I have the piece of paper, I have the certificate, so. Oh. Oh. Eat that shit. It's me, Darmani. It's me! Hell yeah. Didn't this mask have a butthole in the 3DS version, or am I mistaken? There's the Frog Choir, Road to Snowhead, Secret Grotto. We have time. We've got three in-game hours before we do... Um, the ranch. I'm gonna head over there in just a second, but I wanna check out this one grotto I, I don't... I don't have yet. Yep, there it is. So I watched, um, a really good video that I hadn't seen from Neryl about how he makes textures for the Vidayo games, and specifically his textures... Like, his process for making textures for Majora's Mask. And it's really, really amazing how much care and attention and detail he's putting into his textures. It's, it's great. Um, so does anyone know where this fucking grotto is, actually? I like how people are like, who's Neryl? And then someone in chat said, Moonlip guy. I mean, that kind of sums it up. Ow. Get the P-O-H. What the fuck is the P-O-H chat? Piece of heart. Because there's two things. It says... Get... Okay, it, so it says, um... He needs the lens. Oh, I need the lens for that. Okay. Because it's yellow, and it says, Secret Grotto, Piece of Heart. Romani Ranch is under siege. Another... Settlement needs your help. What the fuck is the Ram Ranch? Can- can someone please explain to me what that is? Naked Cowboys? Is this one of those things where I should have just kept my fucking mouth shut? Or is it Ram Ranch? Okay, that's enough of that. Cool, thanks. Um... Yeah. Yeah, there's some things I maybe just don't... ...mention. You know, I see people typing Ram Ranch for like... ...every time I play this game... ...for the past three play sessions, and I'm like... ...I know I'm gonna regret... ...if I ask... ...what the fuck a Ram Ranch is. So I'm here. Um, I don't need to be here for another hour. This- this is the Skinwalker Ranch, right. Um... Yeah, there was, a uh, Apparently... So... Someone sent me... Something interesting. Vinny, I know you're interested in UFOs. There was a, um... When I opened my Animal Crossing stream yesterday, I think it was Animal- Or RimWorld, I talked about how I was watching a video of... A UFO crash in Brazil. And the video starts with... Strange light. Right? It's like a strange blue pulsating light. Followed by, like, smoke, and then, like, government ex officials in the distance, an explosion, and then people saying the E.T. is dead. So... I mean, we have... I guess we have time. We can- we can watch it. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, like, an hour. Let me get over to the... the barn real quick. No, I don't think it's gonna be that cringe. I think it's just gonna be like, you know, people in chat are gonna easily be able to explain it. And they're just gonna... They're just gonna laugh at it. That's it. A blue light. We don't need to hear that. But anyway, there, there's the, there's the UFO, there's the light in Brazil. Come to Brazil! And then the UFO did. And then you can see there's the smoke. 
There's the explosion. And, you know, they skip ahead a little In bit. In fact, one person claimed to bypass the military security and filmed the actual UFO. So there it is, everybody. There's the UFO. Definitely not a glass bowl. I love how we have HD cameras until we really need to film something HD. You know, like important, like a, a UFO. And then potato phone. God damn, Epona, you don't... Epona, what the fuck? So, if you read the comments of the video, someone wrote... Uh, 2020 can't possibly get any weirder. Aliens, hold my intergalactic beer. We are primitive people. Why do we have to shoot UFOs? Very embarrassing. We have to be the first on the scenes for these things and have HD cameras on hand at all times and literally need to bum-rush the area ASAP. It's the only way. I have to watch it real quick before it gets deleted. I'd probably say it was a weather balloon. Thanks for the upload. 109 right here, they're saying they killed E.T. Mental. Absolutely mental. But I figured that would be a good topic for this. Considering I'm about to fight aliens. It's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully, okay? Whatever happens, do not let them get to the barn. They'll come from behind the barn, too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, we have crates of them near the house. It is time. For me to kill E.T. Opponent, if I'm gonna do this, you need to stop. It's so fucking freaky. I love it. These- these big, bad, strong aliens that can be destroyed with one primitive wood and steel arrow or- or flint or whatever. whatever. E.T. is dead! Wait, chat, how long does this go for? Should I be speeding up time for this? No, because they move faster? Alright, well, we, we got us a long... Between five and six. Okay, that makes it harder. Okay, so we'll just keep it like this then. That, the gyro aim is so fucking wonderful. <laughs> and boy, I wish I had it here. Imagine playing modern FPS with C buttons. I mean, it worked well enough for Turok. Because the C buttons were like the arrow keys. And the analog stick was, you know, like the mouse. It just... you had to get used to it. It still kind of sucked, but, you know, at, at the time, you, you had no choice but to get used to it. Also, go back and play Goldeneye. And fuck around with the aiming in Goldeneye, and it, it's pretty rough. Because it fucking snaps back into place. Like, you'll aim by holding Z, and, or R rather, and then it just snaps back and it's like really hard to actually consistently aim at things. Um, so the auto aim is, is pretty fucking necessary. N64 had some wretched aiming for first person shooters. But, you know, that was the times. PS1 tried... I remember playing Medal of Honor without any analog sticks. It was like you would strafe with L and R. Shoot with like X, I think. That wasn't a whole lot of fun, but you had to do it. Uh, running out of ammo again. Perfect timing. No more brain scramblies. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. Piece of heart. Fuck. It's something. As often stated. There's also... Form and race. Night 2, 6pm to 7pm is escort Crimea after defeating them. So 6pm to 7pm on night 2. If anyone can help me... Um... Remember that. I guess we'll do the Gorman race. Then you have to talk to her first? Is she awake? She will be in a second. Let me just get rid of this sign real quick. By the way, that was amazing technology in 1998 when Ocarina came out. Being able to, like, cut the sign up in different ways was pretty fucking cool. 
You are a very noisy horse. Well, I mean, crisis has been averted. Look, the doggy's happy. Everyone's happy. No aliens, no brain scramblies. Every oh oh. Where's where's Crimea? Chat, did you know that if you arrange the letters in Crimea, you get? Nope, I'm not gonna say it. A crime. That's correct. A crime. So 6 p.m. What's the word? It was it, uh, it was incorrect. Yeah, it was it was incorrect. I, there was one e missing. Because you can't spell cream in Crimea. So never mind. Oh wait, yes you can. No, it works. Well, it milk, cream. Do you understand? It's things you put in your coffee, chat. It's a it's a thing that is probably intentional. All right, here's scum Ouija. I'm not listen, I I thought it would be I was just trying to figure out like what it was. I didn't realize it was going to fucking destroy the chat. I just figured milk and cream. Like it seems harm- harmless. Why does he have a clone? Is that pathetic thing your horse? Vinny, it's called a brother? What? Explain... ...this... ...phenomenon. How does one... ...create a clone of one's brother? Race failed. Yeah, I just need to know how you make a clone of your brother so I can... You know, I'm starting a burger restaurant. Yeah, good! Yeah, yeah, go backwards! God, this, I mean, you know. It's no Dragon Quest XI horse racing. Which made me want to fucking, you know, have a conniption after a certain point when you unlock the hardest difficulty. Oh, that's... kind of lame. Alright, Gormon quest done. They gave you their drug money? Yeah, I'm inclined to believe that. They robbed the town at one point. I can, uh, start collecting some- oh, fuck, Kleiner. I can start collecting some items over at, uh, Great Bay. I kinda too, but Great Bay. God damn it. I'm really good at getting this horse stuck on walls. That's my skill. It's one of my three skills in life. The other one is creating new words. I'll give you an example, chat. Fupletical. Relating to fuplets. The bacterium is especially very attractive given the nature of fupletical structures. Isn't that cool? I'll give you another one. Plasmoblast. An outer membrane in the vesicle of a bone and its junction with another bone. Or how about this one? Hull. A very large quantity of liquid. Brand new word, never been used before. W-H-O-L. Hull. About emitted. Made a minister by Empanima, or the Empress of a Prince. Pardio Mumbo. A speech impediment. Severnail. A large sailing boat of the time. Antiposthenesis. The spread of autophagy. Antiposthenesis denis is what Nintendenesis. Persa. Newly hatched parsecs of European origin. So there's your lesson for today. I know if I tell you what site it is, it's gonna crash. So... I mean, good luck with it, but it's- this word does not exist. It just makes fake words. Vinny, all words are fake. Yeah, I guess they are, aren't they? I don't even know if it's worth doing this, this spider shit right now. It's a lot of effort for what may be a shitty item, I don't know. Please take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock. It's called a seahorse. I caught it around Pinnacle Rock. Thinking of selling it at the town carnival. If you want it, I'll give it to you. Do you have any pictographs of female pirates? Mate. Speaking of, I didn't get a good picture of Tingle. It's day two anyway, never mind. I delivered a picture of Tingle on day two and it worked. Yeah, ain't it work? You can turn it in, but you just can't clear the swamp. Oh. Okay, check that one off. Um, I'm gonna get the owl and then try to do the tingle thing. Which sounds wrong, saying it like that, but... God damn it, that was so smooth up until then. 
Is it weird that I now think of Smash more than I think of Majora when I play this? When I'm in, at this particular area? I've spent way more time here in Smash Brothers than I ever have in Majora. So, uh, there's a- there's a bait in chat that said Smash Bros is just plain and bad. Ooh, my friend. My friend. I know that there's fish on screen right now and we're at the Great Bay. But, put your bait away, please. I mean, it's not everyone's game. I get that. I know people that just don't like Smash because they don't like Smash, but, um... You know, it is not plain or bad, in, in uh, my opinion. I think it's a very good game. I took the bait. Chat, I took it. Feed the fish a bunch of fish for an item. It's only one fish in rando. Wait, can I capture fish? Um, well, let's see. God, that is an intense underwater effect. It kind of goes away after a while, which is nice, but when you first go underwater, that shit is, like, severe. Wait, feed the fish fish. Where am I getting the fish from? I will find them. There's a... You know, for a large body of water that requires the Nintendo 64 add-on, the expansion pack TM. Sure is devoid of fish. Oh, they're in, like, grottos. Oh, you mean those fish, not ones here. Oh, okay. Save Mikau. Okay. Hatsune... <laughs> Hatsune Mikau. Who's also a mu musician. Wow. This game was ahead of its time. I don't even know if I have the Song of Healing. No, I don't. I don't have the Song of Healing. I mean, I'm gonna try to get him to shore anyway. I don't remember how to do it. Zora, Link, cannot... You, you just push him? Alright, screw it. Until I get the Song of Healing, I'm not gonna bother with that. Technically, you aren't supposed to have Zora at this point because he's the Zora mask. Oh, right! <laughs> Oh! Fuck. Yeah, there's infinite pots here. I just have to repay every single time. I'm sure someone has, like, an amazing strategy for exactly where to stand. Stand in the place where you were. Now step back. Still too close. One hundred rupee. Wait, 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 wait. There's no item for this. I'm just trying my best to be a crackerjack gamer. Okay, chat, tell me if you remember, but this, when I was playing Majora's Mask 3D, this was the spot where I was talking about my movie idea. And I don't remember what it was exactly, but there was a movie... What, what was the movie idea? Does anyone remember Sp McSwoley Bulkin? Nick Cage as the moon. Oh, it was Majora's Mask movie. But starring Nick Cage and McSwoley Bulkin. Okay. It's a rock sockin', cock sucking good time. Vin Diesel will punch the moon. I think that's on the Full Sauce channel. Just that. Majora's Mask movie. My video does not come up before Neryl's weird lip moon, but it's there. Five years ago. He died doing what he loved best. Dying. Wow, this was five years ago. Jesus Christ. I'm Vin Diesel. I'm gonna fly a nuclear submarine into the moon. That's there, what I'm gonna do. There's that compressor. And you can't stop me, moon. I got this. Next summer, the blockbuster hit of the year, Vin Diesel starring in Majora's Mask the Movie. This motherfucker will not be crashing to Earth. But maybe we'll be crashing at the box office. Vin Diesel in Box Office Poison. But Vin, it's a submarine. It doesn't have wings. Baby, where I'm going, we don't need wings. 
the rock sock em, cock sucking hit of the summer. Oh my god. Majora's Mask, starring Vin Diesel, Megan Fox, Toe Thumbs. She's got Toe Thumbs. Watch as Megan Fox uses her Toe Thumbs to save the world with Vin Diesel. <laughs> and Channing and, and Scr Scrotum McTater Scrotum. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I want to listen to myself anymore. I'm good. I've been doing the same bits for five years, chat. <laughs> ten. <laughs> Make that ten years. Except now I have a better microphone quality. And everyone watching in chat is like, this shit gets funnier every year. He said, he said, Tater Scrotum again! Yeah, this is the remastered edition, even though I'm playing the OG edition randomized. Also, if you had told me Majora's Mask 3D came out five years ago, I would not have believed that. For some reason, in my mind, it was like three, three years ago. You bailed before Danny DeVito Tingle. That Tater Scrotum is so hot right now. Him and that other guy. You know the one I'm talking about. The guy who's only moderately successful that turned into a giant movie star somehow? You know which one I'm talking about. He's in it too. I don't even know what I was referencing and there. Featuring the career revival of McSwoley Bulkin in Majora's Mask 3D. Little did I know that Macaulay Culkin would end up working with Red Letter Media and actually kind of being an alright dude. For the most part. 48 frames a second. Like the Rick Hobbit. Swoley Bulkin plays Link in this feel-good rock sock em, cuck sucking hit of the summer. Dear God. And John Cena. Yep. Nicolas Cage plays the moon. And the rock plays a rock in this feel-good, ball-blazing, ass-destroying, feel-good hit of the summer. Oh my god. Well, you know, I, I thought about it for a little while, and I decided that, mm, I'd rather join you on Earth. Just let me live my life as a moon. I'd like to reunite with my planet. In this cunt slurping, you <laughs> think of walking, it plays Majora, or maybe Zelda, it doesn't matter. Hey, look, your time is up. You, you have passed the hour mark on your clock. Oh my god. And it's time to give, uh, to, to give it up and let evil tru truly reign over oh, It's land. so terrible. What a terrible impression. I've had this mask up my ass. Three long years, many long, long years, this mask has been up my ass. Danny DeVito is Tingle. Are you a real fairy? <sighs> I've officially sapped all of the comedy out of this. So that, that's how you know you're on Vine Sauce. I sound sick. That, that's how you know you're in the right place. Did I have a fucking cold? The only time it sounded not like I was sick was when I was doing the feel good rock sucking cock sucking cock of the summer. I guess I need song of healing here. Yeah. I am doing so much out of order. Speaking of your Majora's Mask 3D stream, I remember you getting to play turtle sex noises when you got to this part. Oh. Why do I need to be on this turtle? <gasps> maybe, maybe there will be an owl. Oh shit. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do this temple right now. The owl was right there, so never mind. This is easy enough. Um, Crimea in about three hours. I'm gonna try to do this temple after Crimea. Which is a nation state, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and Tingle, too, yeah. We could do the Tingle thing now. Well, you know what? No. No. Why this instead of Snowhead? I don't have access to Snowhead. You do? You knew? No, I still don't. It's grayed out for some reason, chat. I have access to Akana Valley and here, but I don't have access to uh, Snowhead. I don't have Song of Healing. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but... 
I don't have the lens in the feel good. Let's see, now I'm doing bits from five years ago as if they had. Chat, five years went by quick. Five years went by really fast. Like, I remember probably. I mean, yeah, that was the playthrough where I was talking about chat in five years. I'm gonna be Tingle's age. And here we are. Put out three vinyl. Three records. Pretty cool, I guess. There's always a bigger fish. Land moon tier for land title deed. Oh, the tracker froze. Now I can do something with this. I can give this to um, business scrub and then use the flower to get the heart piece. Which I'm going there anyway, so that's that's actually kind of helpful. Vinny, do not midlife crisis, please. Oh, I've been in a midlife crisis for years now, chat. I'm thinking about buying a Jaguar. What, the car? No, an actual fucking Jaguar. Someone said you probably can. Listen, I don't know how much fucking Jaguars cost, but I'm imagining the regulations on keeping a Jaguar. Like, there's gotta be some heavy re like, could you imagine someone with their fucking New York City penthouse? And there's just a Jaguar in there? He loves to drive in his Jaguar! Alright, that's... Alright, I can check those locations off at least. Picture of Tingle. We turn it in. And then we go back to Crimea. Hopefully by... 6 p.m. we'll get there. We will get there. He's a beautiful man. Do you have hints enabled? Gossip stones might give randomizer hints. That was a crusty ass picture. Uh, I do have hints enabled, but I didn't know about that. I can't find an exact cost, but jaguars for jaguars, but big cats cost within the range of nine hundred to seventy-five hundred dollars. I'll be honest, chat. If it's on the lower side, we could. A lot of us could afford an exotic cat. If we all banded together, we could start our own, like, Vine Exotic Zoo. Alright. Vinny, can we adopt a whale? No, but we can watch Star Trek 4. If you want. We can adopt uh, a capybara army. Vinny, can we buy a star? Murray bought a star for Jermaine and Brett. Ah, oh, Jermaine, I'm sorry. Your star went supernova. They spent, like, thousands of dollars on a star, and then it went supernova. Really unfortunate. Yeah, it was a champagne supernova. The worst kind. I had a dream I heard an Oasis song. Like, I was listening to it. And, uh... It was a song that was never... Like, it's not a real Oasis song. It just... But I heard Noel and Liam singing. And, uh, I woke up and I just stole it. Now it's one of my songs. I mean, it was still birthed from my fucking subconscious, so... Yeah, Liam's gonna shitpost about me on Twitter calling me a potato thief. Vinny, do you get all your songs from other dimensions? I haven't written a single song in the- uh, like, in my entire life, and I'm not about to start. I'm an interdimensional song thief. That's how Paul wrote yesterday. What did he write yesterday? Ta-da! Also, don't mind me, Chad, I'm just chilling. Wow, that was quick. Good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? We have to take this detour through ugly country. <laughs> you ready, boy? I'll try to get us through here as fast as I can. Any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, that was fucking instant. Oh, it's these fucking clowns. I mean, clones. Yeah, infinite arrows. Did I- did I fail? Or, yet? Or do I have, like, some margin of error here, ch chat? They're allowed to break two milks. Oh, okay. Mr. Barton was quite happy to get the delivery. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. Cafe's mask. Chat, did I not have this? I had it checked off. Why did I have it checked off? Oh, I got the letter. It gives you access to one item. Vinny, go to the bar. Use it on day one to get something from Anju. Do the mission again for a hug. 
No. Cow mask. Okay, it ain't open yet. It seems, um, milk bar performance night one or two, 10 p.m. And then final night is the delivery to Madame Aroma. Okay, I think we're good in Clock Town for now. Marine Lab Feed the Fish Song from Zora Eggs. We don't have Zora Eggs. There's Ocean Tingle Map. We need Ocean Tingle, chat. I'm gonna go Ocean Tingle. That's two items. Six. Seven. Five. I, I really genuinely can't wait to see what kind of stuff people come up with for the uh, Half-Life Alex workshop. Now that that stuff's been released. It's gonna take- I mean, it's not just Half-Life Alex. It's, it's Source 2. But, I don't know, it's pretty fucking exciting. I've been really, um, kind of jonesing to play more of that game, but it, I'm finished with it, so. I can't wait till people mod more weapons into it. Where's Tingle? Isn't Tingle supposed to be, like, here? Or no? Or is that just in Smash Brothers? Oh, he's high. Oh, that son of a bitch is all the way up. Good aim. <laughs> Largest quiver and piece of heart. It's not a progression item, but I'll take it. That wasn't a piece of heart. Oh, because there's like, um, I get it. No, there's, there's a, a map shared between the, the various appearances of Tingle. I got scammed again. Ack. Dominic, you- you rat. How dare you give your own brother the old spicy keychain. Under the rock by the fairy shrine, I got that. Underwater near fairy shrine. We didn't do that one. Zora Hall. Third room down. Give Ocean Scrub the mountain deed. We don't have the mountain deed at the moment. Use Ocean Scrub flower. Fourth room down. Chat, do you remember where I got the- the, um, I want to do that. Since I'm not going to be able to do the dungeon today, because, you know, the mountain deed. Where the fuck was that? You found the mountain deed in the Lens of Truth cave. No, I I, I would like to play uh, Cloud Punk. Even if it's an hour, I, I would like to finish that game at some point. It's it's good. It's been enjoyable. People like it. I like it. Um, and I shafted it yesterday. I'm really in no rush. This is not a speed run. Or is it? Okay, so there's... Something it says here on this map. Underwater near Fairy Shrine. Vinny, I think you got it already. Did I? Was it just a treasure chest? Oh yeah, I did get this one. Alright, let me check that off. Yeah, I can get two items from the Mountain Deed. So I'm just gonna fucking do it now. And then 10 p.m. the milk bar opens. Just reading some chat members thing. Um, how do I fast forward the stream so they enter like that? And then... They want me to play a game called Rolled Out, right? I am aware of it. I'm also in touch with the developer for Rolled Out and waiting for the right time to play it. Continually tells us viewers that he wants more Monkey Ball but fails to acknowledge something like this exists and is being made. Yeah, unfortunately there was some um, some bullshit with that game. And um, then he pulls 180, says a complete opposite. And acts like he comes across the game by chance. Oh, don't think too much about it. It's only video game. <laughs> don't get too upset about video game. Wow, you look into this too deep. <laughs> oh, he's not banned or anything. It's just bizarre, I guess. It's like not that big of a deal. Someone said it's such. It's just a game. Is such a weak mentality. All right, ninja. Ninja in chat. Yeah, I know. That that was exactly the joke. I just, I enjoyed it. Alright. So I think I have to... ...have the owl. I, I mean, I'm hoping this is correct. I just took this chat member's word for it. I just assume that there are chat members with really good, like, semi-photographic memories. Vinny, you already did this. Wait, what? I already- what do you mean I already did this? No, I've- no, I've never been here before. This is Majora's Mask. You only go to one area once. Oh my god, please. Invisible spider bullshit. I think it, if the Mountain Deed is in this invisible chest, that would be a very, very good thing. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Good fucking memory, chat members! 
I am very, very, very happy. You know, I will say I had an observation recently about this stream and randomizers in general, especially this one, because I don't, you know, know this game. I don't remember it as well as some of the other Zelda games. Kind of reminds me of when me and my cousin and my friends would play Zelda 1 or Zelda 2 or even Metroid and not know where things were and we would like have to talk you know whether it be like at school or like someone made a little bit of progress and then they would tell you a secret and, like you had to discover all the stuff you know and it was like finding out all these things for the first time and you didn't have the internet and you couldn't just like cheat your way through so you had to actually talk to people and discover these things and with randomizers and chat I feel like that's still kind of happening. Like, it's it's kind of cool. Because we don't know where this stuff is, we can only guess. Chat might have a, an educated guess. They might know where a couple things are. And then we, we find out together. So it's like we're on a treasure hunt. Together. It's very serious business. Okay, so there's a couple things here. First is... Third room down... I have to play something crazy on the ocarina. And then, there's an ocean scrub. It is me, real Zora. Please let me in. Little Zelda 1 easter egg. Third room down, I have to play- do I do this here? I can't believe that worked. Okay. <laughs> well. Yeah, it skips. It, I didn't even try to skip it, it just skipped. Okay, then there was the... Scrub. Vinny, you should have turned that option off. I mean, I just wanted to get through the game a little bit. I, again, I didn't think this playthrough was gonna take this long. I thought it was gonna be like... Two streams, maybe? But Majora's Mask is such a fucking intricate game that even with all the speed options, it's still a pretty lengthy game. Only four dungeons, but like one of the most detailed worlds of all the Zeldas. Majora's Mask Rando is much more restrictive than most Randos because you need all dungeons every time. Yeah. Well, I still think it was a good choice. Where is this goddamn scrub? The room with the cargo in front is the one you want. Oh, he was- he was creeping. Oh, what's this thing? Okay, well, it- well... We know one- one of them's a rupee. It's business! It's business scrub! Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, that- the business scrub joke I will make every time. Alright, well, we've done everything here, at least. Zora Hall has been cleared out. Zora Cape Ledge. We can do that, and then I'll just take a quick break, and then Cloud Punk. Oh, right, Milk Bar. We can do the Milk Bar. Let's do that real quick. You need Scarecrow and Bean for Ledge? Okay, so then we ain't doing Ledge. You can't do Song of Soaring inside, can you? A ledge Edley. Yeah, this week, Cloudpunk uh, and some other games got a little shaft. Like, Mario Maker 2 got shafted this week because of Majora. Because the ending of RimWorld. Um, because Paperball ended up being actually really good. So, I mean, Terraria is gonna be next week, but I'm not planning on streaming it, like, every day. I just ended up, um... developing a streamer creep. The amount of games started creeping up on me, without me realizing. Oh, and Trials of Mana, I forgot about that too. Will you revisit Mega Man Maker? I don't know, I mean, there's also a new version of... Legend... Adventure Maker, which is basically Zelda Maker. You know, royalty-free Zelda Maker. So, it's just a matter of, like... Time. It's a matter of, w w will I find this time? And... This week, it's been tough to fit games in. But before I start, like, another massive title, 
I'm probably gonna just finish up the games I'm streaming, you know, and then just do some smaller stuff. Um, what's the item? I guess this. That's me at the Karova Milk Bar. That's my Drugs. Dim. William. Uh, ben. Uh, Pete. I don't remember their names, actually. I know Dim was one of the names. This, this is such a good side quest. It's almost my Scarecrow song. Norman does kind of look like Sponge, doesn't he? Love those chords. <laughs> it brings back so many memories. The Ballad of the Windfish, you say? Again, chat, if you want to, like, actually see the story of this game, you might want to watch my playthrough from five years ago, or someone else's playthrough, or play it yourself. Because this is- Oh, you fuck! You piece of shit! Fuck you! Alright, so anyway, yeah, it's a great game, and it's worth checking out, because it's... It's got a great world, I love the characters, I love- I love the little intricate details of the world, but, you know, this is randomizer, so... You're not going to get a whole lot of story here. Anyway, Song of Time. There's a check in the inn if you climb up the pipes. At this time, at this hour. Grandma story time, we did those. Toilet hand gift. Couples mask, midnight from Andrew. Wait, it's Crimea part two? What am I doing here? Yeah, I'm good here. All right. Yeah, next time we can do more, um, we can do the dungeon and a kind of valley, maybe, if we're lucky. A can a valley! Vinny, do you plan on streaming the greatest Pokemon game ever? Pokemon X and or Y, preferably X, if you're not a massive fucksing loser. Wow, you, uh, chat member, you are, you are excellent. I have streamed Pokemon X. I think it's on the Full Sauce channel. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's there. Yes, I've streamed it. I'm enjoying these weird chat members tonight. It's very interesting. wonder what's in the water. Is it because it's a nice day? Is the moon... Is the moon right? Pokemon X is not on Full Sauce. Oh, okay. So that was before Full Sauce then. Alright, well, anyway, more Majora soon, but first I have to do a full playthrough of Pokemon X again. So... Shit. Majorpus, Gongorpus, Fonvorpus, the third. Majunga, Gongunga, Lusa, Lusa. You look at the Majunga and you think about how. Good. Never mind. Anyway, hi everybody. Um, we're gonna continue Majora's Mask. I realized that having streamed three and a half hours of Terraria earlier, and then probably gonna stream another hour, three and a half hours now, I expect no one to be able to keep up with all this. So, you know, what can you do? It's just a lot of streaming. I, I live on stream now. It won't always be like this, folks. But I'm happy to stream now, especially when I'm streaming stuff I really enjoy. Vinny, I have something to tell you about the way you sound. Let me guess. I'm more high-pitched. And I sound younger. Do I sound taller? How about... More baller? Do I sound like a gangster? A wankster? A certified G? Hi, everybody. I was going to start with Trials of Mana, but then I realized there's no way I can go from Trials to this. It would just be too tough. Vinny, you still sound 5'11". It's six foot on my license, son. 
<clears throat> the sheer fucking hubris. How dare you. So what? I'm 5'11 and maybe like a half. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So Adobe is doing a cool thing where they're now popping up uh, messages on my computer. No, genuine software integrity service. And I just got to pop up now. So f fucking goodbye Adobe. Hello GIMP. Ha is this going to pop up like frequently? Like during my fucking stream? GC client application. Ugh. Give me one second, chat. You can uninstall the integrity service. What's it under? <laughs> tell me- Tell me what it's under. This is legit. I don't know what the fuck Adobe's doing, man. This is integrity. This is real integrity. Well, anyway, um... We're gonna Majorpo. Are you using Adobe Cloud or CS? Yeah, yes. I don't know. If you have any ideas, please. It's- it's Adobe... Common Files Adobe, Adobe GCC Cloud. Thank you. I will check that out later during the break. I'm not gonna do that now. Let's see how many times Adobe pops up. We can even play a drinking game if you want. Just drink your ginger ale, your hot ginger ale like I do, and be a real... a real, uh, cool dude. Alright, uh, where are we going? We're going... Vinny, it's the new DeNuvo update. Ugh. Anyway. Ah, fucking wrong button. Some buttons... Some- some games use the confirm button as B on the Super Nintendo controller, and- and some not, so... Vinny, is ginger beer okay? I don't like ginger beer all that much, weirdly enough. It's too spicy. Well, at least the one I got from Trader Jim. Vin, today I watched your Blade Runner stream from two years ago. It was painful. That's a cool chat message to type up. And one that will definitely help me grow as a human, and- and maybe even lead to better streams in the future, especially considering you've given me complete context. So, uh, so tell me about it. What was- what was pain- was it technical problems? I think the technical problems were probably pretty nasty on that particular occasion, right? Yeah, the reason I'm spicy and starting spicy is because I watched the Plinkett review of Star Trek Picard and it put me in a fucking miserable mood. I was like, Star Trek is dead. For real. They killed it. They killed my son. Look at how they massacred my boy. I really need to remember this fucking song. Left, up, left, right, down, left, right. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Before I do the turtle, I forgot there was one other thing I wanted to do. It was the, um, the milk. Two items at the top of the waterfall in the race with the beavers. Well, at the moment, I'm just collecting, like, someone emailed me and said, Vinny, you should just be collecting songs and doing dungeons, because you're almost set for most of the rest of the stuff. Um, I do want to blend up some beavers, though. No, I mean, the Plinket review was good. It wasn't as funny as previous. It's, it's not a funnier Plinket review than we've ever had. But it was the saddest of all the Plinket reviews for me. Because it really just proved... Like, no, without, you know, someone said don't spoil it. I understand, you want to watch it blind, you want to enjoy it. But I will say that... Cutting the scenes together, and showing the optimism of past Star Trek, and the fucking misery of this new series... Really was just a... It was a wake-up call. Like, I was gonna do a video about Star Trek Picard and talk about stuff I liked and didn't like. But I kind of just got to the point where I didn't even want to think about it anymore. It was just... It was too frustrating to even want to talk about. So I decided, like, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. The Plinket review sums it up way better than I ever could. And even found new things to make me upset. Uh, but I will say that... It was not only a bad show, it also killed my dog that I didn't- that I don't have. Yeah, definitely did that. So thanks, Star Trek Picard. My whole thing about the show was, it felt nothing like Star Trek, the story was confusing, made no sense, it got really dumb, uh, but it just kind of ended up being nothing. Like, they were trying to make a point or a statement, and it was so muddled and, like, fucking garbled, and, and, like, I don't know what they were going for, and, and it just, it just wasn't good. There's a couple good moments here and there. I mean, I could still say there were some positives, but 
anyway, the, the Plinket review was really good. It was catharsis, and I enjoyed seeing it. Even if it did make me upset. Um, the, my favorite part was that when Mr. Plinket, a.k.a. Mike, was uh, talking about maybe we could tweet William Shatner, and, and he's just, like, blocked from William Shatner's page on Twitter. Or maybe we could tweet at CBS. Blocked. Vinny, what do you think could have been better? Like, the whole tone of the show, the story, uh, the characters actually feeling like the characters. Um, maybe some classic style episodes here and there. Uh, almost everything. Really almost everything. The, the, the acting, aside from a couple good moments from Patrick Stewart and maybe Brent Spiner. Um, Seven of Nine was good. Uh, guy who played Hugh was good. So there's a couple good moments in terms of acting, but a, a lot of not good acting, a lot of bad story. Um, yeah, a lot of nostalgia bait. So I'm gonna say that I am blinded by my, my, by my nostalgia for classic Star Trek, and I almost teared up a little bit watching Mike's, sorry, Mr. Plinkett's uh, compilation of the, the good moments in Star Trek, the hopeful moments. But I realized, like, Star Trek was a thing for me, and I got really into it at, a, like, a painful time in my life, and it really kind of helped me get through stuff, and it, it still inspires me to want to be a better person when I watch TNG, and when I watch the original series to some extent, and Star Trek Picard, I mean, he made a good point. I guess this is a spoiler, but uh, a spoiler for a fucking review of a TV show. It's a minor one, but basically, you know, he's talking about how, like, people recreate the Enterprise. People want to be on the bridge. Even, like, virtual reality people, you know, recreate the Enterprise D. Because it's a place you want to live in. Like, I want to be in the world of Star Trek, especially Next Generation. He's like, no one wants to be anywhere near the world of Star Trek Picard. It's so fucking bleak and miserable and joyless. It's like, yeah. Anyway, that's my, uh, my addition to the Star Trek review that he did. But I will say there's a couple things that I still thought were pretty good. It wasn't all... Most of it was, was disappointing and upsetting. But I still enjoyed a couple things. A couple characters, a couple returns, a couple scenes. Um, Riker was good. Stuff like that. Where do I recommend someone who knows next to nothing about Star Trek begin? I get this question a lot. I, I don't really have a great answer because there's so much of it. But I think... Star Trek The Next Generation, just watch that. You could do an episode guide if you really need to. Just watch that all the way through. Then check out Deep Space Nine. And if you like that stuff, then, then go, you know, Voyager and the original series and... It's a lot. I mean, you're gonna end up watching seven seasons, 20 episodes per season. Some really clunky, shitty episodes in there, too. I'm not going for the fairies chat. But when it's good, it's hard to stop watching because it's, it's really, like, extremely good. Deep Space Nine is the best one, said someone in chat. We've, we've gone through this so many times on stream, so I'll say this. Is Deep Space Nine the best one? It's not my favorite one, but I do think it does dark Star Trek really well. Chat, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm already confused. I'm also barely paying attention. I, I need to end this conversation. Is this correct? Well, this isn't as bad as the Water Temple in Ocarina, this is still an annoying dungeon. What's my favorite Zelda dungeon theme? I like Link to the Past... Dark World or Light World, and I like the Forest Temple from Ocarina. It's really creepy. This one's worse, never mind. This is literally the first room. Oh. All I need to do is find the big key and just get to the boss room. In terms of items, I have most of the vital items. I just need some songs, and I need to kill the bosses. One song and possibly Lens of Truth could be the dungeon item, but it's not super likely. Lens of Truth is going to be vital for, um... Go the Goron dungeon. Vinny, main dev of the map tracker you're using, do you have any complaints about it? No, not really. You have done well, dev. I like it. 
I, I use it now, and I understand it, and I like it, and it has all the features I need. So, thank you for A, joining, and B, you know, making something that works really well. The key to this dungeon is following the pipes. Well, do you know where the key to this door is? Ah, uh, yes, yes. This is what happens when you enter a dungeon with ice arrows. Remember, ice arrows can stop water flowing out certain ceiling spots as well. That caught me up last time. Okay, good to know. Pipe is flowing. Oh, there's weird fucking grabby hands in here. And I'm, I'm bumping into the walls. Vinny, when you stop streaming, will you promote someone else to Vinesaw Streamer? It's not really a title. And... I don't know what that really... Is that... is that real? I can't tell if that's a real question. It might... it might be. Who wants to be the vine sauce? It's like Batman. Every, you know, every so often... ...you get a new Batman. Summoning Salt released a good video about Ninja Gaiden speedrunning. I really enjoyed that. I always like his videos. Even if I don't play Ninja Gaiden... ...Gaiden, whatever, I don't know how you say it, but... ...yeah. It's Gaiden? That's why I always thought it was, but... ...just never knew for sure. Hello, I'm Gabe... ...Gaiden? Magic zoom attack is easier when swimming. I forgot about that attack entirely. Hey, if the big key is in one of these... ...I could just go straight to the boss. Alright, well not straight to the boss, but, you know, it would be helpful. Damn it. Try chat, I'm trying to do, like, karate underwater, and it's not working. Yeah, the swimming is... ...a little bit slower... ...well, quite a bit slower in the 3D version. And one of the things Neryl was pissed about... ...is that there was no option... ...to have, like, fast swimming as a default, unless you use your magic. But I will say, for a dummy like me, even though I've not been... You know, I'm trying to remember even how to fucking play this game. Because I play too many video games sometimes. And I just don't remember how to play the video games. Um, but it would be, like, it would be nice if there was a patch... ...that will enable fast swimming, and you can turn it to slower... ...in the 3DS version. There is. Oh, good. And you can see- oh, that is the boss chest. Okay, that's good. Um... So that means... So, uh, hmm. ...will use ice arrows. I, I also didn't very much like the designated ice arrow spots in the 3DS version, so much as I like being able to use it wherever you wanted. I mean, again, it's friendly to new users. Y users <laughs> It's- it's friendly for people that have... ...trouble in- in the game. But I- I don't know, I just remember how cool it was when I first got ice arrows. I was like, yo, you could use it anywhere! What? Oh shit, I've become one with the frog. If that even is it. Yeah, it's a frog. Well, I managed to make it work in the end. I don't have the Don Garo mask, so sorry, we cannot talk, frog. Well, that was in the exact same spot. Okay, well, if I find the boss door, we can just go straight for the kill. Mm -hmm. You set the dungeon chest as vanilla with the dungeon item randomized. Oh, okay. Someone said I have to do the- the green... ...to get to the boss. Alright, well that'll be helpful. It's not gonna be helpful, because I still don't know exactly where to go. Someone said I- I should probably get to the other mini-boss. I guess for the randomized item. Most games make their slimes cute. Not Majora's Mask. Not Majorpo's Borpo. Someone said they prefer Wind Waker Choo Choo's. Yeah, I feel that. No idea where to go. Follow pipe? Well, one pipe I can't follow. This one I've been in the- Oh, well, okay, no, no, there was a key area here. Never mind, Let, let's go this way. Or is this not that? It, I think this is where I was. God damn it. Vinny, wrong way. That's okay. I, again, I appreciate the help, because... This being a randomizer run, especially, the help has been... ...fantastic. Because I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing half the time here. 
Everything's all out of order. My brain is scrambled. That's the theme of this Majora's Mask randomizer, like, run through. It's brain scramblies. So I made, um... I put scrambled eggs in a pan. Put a tortilla over it. Cheese and ham on top of that. You know, after I flipped it. And then just, like, smashed it down. And it was pretty good. It was like a gift recipe that someone sent me. It was easy. It was really good. And then I made cookies after that. Infinite magic is very nice. Very cheesy as well. Oh, that sucks. No, we don't want that. We want a heart. Alright, so all that effort. Let's see what I get. It's not gonna be 10 rupees, 5 rupees, or even 20 rupees. It's gonna be... the lens of truth. It's- it's 100 rupees. May as well be 10. I don't know which one I should go into. Thoughts? Up here, maybe? I have to follow the green. It's a good thing someone reminded me that I could freeze these. You need to change the direction of the flow in the first room of the dungeon to reach the boss room. So now, maybe I can do a, um, a Song of Soaring. Okay, well, I mean, this is going a little faster than it would have normally. Just if I didn't do that boss, I think, um, things would have gone quite a bit more swimmingly. <laughs> turn off the yellow one and turn on the red one. Not quite. So yellow on, then red, then yellow again. <laughs> God damn it. There's a like a pretty decent chance I'm gonna have to fight Majorpo as uh a, like an underpowered link. With infinite magic and lots of potions, but still. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, so the actual fight. I don't think I've ever actually fought- No, I have. I have. One time. I think I fought Majora one time without the Fierce Deity Mask. Yo, dude. This is the Zelda version of Funky Kong. The, uh, Zora Mask. Or Mikau. I think is how you say it. Someone said Rich Evans is the only Fierce Deity I need. Excuse me? What year did Chrono Cross come out, chat? Was it the same as this one? Or 99, was it? It was 99, so it was- it was a year before this. Because there's a character in Chrono Cross that reminds me a lot of this cool dude Zora. Nikki. He plays the- the fucking awesome guitar song. Yeah, the musician dude. So awesome. <laughs> He's like Bunga. Without the Kawa. Also, chat, is there anyone on the Final Fantasy dev team named Nobunga? Or did I just make that up? So I know there's no Mora, but is there also a Nubunga? There's no Nobunga. Is there a new Nobunga in any dev team? Is this a name that I just made up in my head because I've been saying Ungabunga a lot? It's Nobunaga. Oda Nobunga. And then there's Nobunaga. That's a different dude. That's not the same dude that I thought. And you missed a valve? Uh... No? I did. I missed a valve. Let's go. I guess we gotta turn the green valve. Okay. Fuck! Gotta reverse the flow again? What, the red flow? No, you don't. Okay. Alright. Um, I, I appear to be stuck. Red plus green one. The entrance with the red plus green pipe that you can enter. I wasn't able to enter that, though, was I? I tried. Vinny, there are two. I figured because the flow was already, like, going to this area, why bother? Yep. We're, we're, we're enjoying that good camera now. 
<laughs> I believe this dungeon was created by, um, concept designer Nobunga. Yeah, they gave Nobunga this dungeon. It was his first and last. I just want to say, chat. Even flow! Thoughts arrive like butterflies! Yeah, that was spontaneous better. That, I don't know where he came from, but, you know, sometimes he shows up on stream. Oh, he don't know! So he chases them away! Yeah, only Eddie Vedder could really make the word away turn into aware. And it works! Somehow. I think it works quite well. Someone said, no, it doesn't. I mean, Pearl Jam is probably one of the most successful rock bands of all time. Uh, it worked for most of us. It certainly works for me. Well, oh yeah, well that's just like my opinion, man, of course. But, I mean, they are one of the most popular rock bands of all time. Successful and popular, and yeah, so... They did something right. Vinny, they sound like Creed. No, no, no. Creed sounds like Pearl Jam, but worse. He's... Eddie was the first guy to sing like that. And he's the only guy I can really tolerate singing like that. And not all of Pearl Jam's songs have the... Like, not all of it is that. You know, you can actually understand Eddie Vedder in a lot of his songs. That's just me defending Eddie Vedder. I don't know. I can't. I, I, I like the guy too much. Last living grunge legend if you don't count Grohl. Oh my god. You just... that... yeah. Uh, Grohl was in a grunge band, if you want to call it grunge, even though that was just kind of a label that the... You know, that they just slapped on it. Um... Yeah, Foo Fighters only ever really sounded grungy a little bit. Mark Lanigan's still around from the Screaming Trees. But lots, lots of the, the sad, long-haired, dirty, depressed men are no longer with us, which is a shame because I love their music. But, yeah. Mud Honey, Mud Honey is still around. That's right. I mean, these are the lesser-known grungy bands, but, yeah, there's a lot of, like, Screaming Trees, Mud, mud Honey, uh, Butt Money, the Mud Hole Surfers. The Melvins are still around. Chris Kringle. And the Dirty Spingle. Um... Land of War. Uh, God of Cock. Uh, Glory Bung. You know, these are all bands from the 90s that still to this day... You know, they play, they tour. They're just a little bit less popular. I know there are people here that actually don't listen to this music and... And... Are like, wait a minute, what? Those are real band names? Well, okay, Mud Honey is real. Butthole Surfers are real, even though I would never call them grunge. But, yeah, these are actual real bands. Just the rest I might have... embellished a little bit. Hog Squeezing Rat Twisters. That, that sounds like something that could have been around during that time. Garbage. I mean, Shirley Manson's still, still around, right? Butch Vig, who uh, produced Nevermind is the drummer in Garbage. She's only happy when it rains. Betty White Titfuck. What a great band that was. Scott, you're bringing out the, the good stuff now, the deep cuts. So I can head back to that spot now, right? Yes, chat? This is the wrong way. Passenger of Shit. Great band. Great band. Oh, the Jesus Lizard. That's real. I had a fucking Nirvana tape. Because at the time... You know, that was the cool thing to do, to have a Nirvana tape. Especially one that your friends didn't have. And... It was a very... Short tape. That I spent, like, three dollars for. Three dollars on. And it was, um, The Jesus Lizard and Nirvana. So the, the A side was Nirvana, Oh the Guilt. The B side was... Jesus Lizard, Puss. That was the name of their song, Puss. Again, this is, like, top-selling popular music of the early 90s. It was a good song! I just want to say thank god this dungeon's over. Just about. Vinny, do you remember Stained? I do remember Stained. They weren't... ...that bad. It was just more whiny... ...like, sad music. Wasn't it? I don't remember a single Stain song. I'm trying to think. Like, I, I remember liking one or two of their songs, but I can't think of a single one. 
what was the the name of the the song that was popular? Oh, it's been a while since I were saw you. So why is Vinny being a hypocrite? Why does he like some sad, depressed man music and not others? And the answer is, well, not every video game is good video game. Not every RPG is good RPG. Some sad, depressed man music was very good. Some kind of sucked a little bit, you know. But that was also, Stained was like five or six years after the grunge thing kind of came to an end, if I'm not mistaken. And then, like, new metal was coming around and pop punk became big, and I, I... I like some of that stuff because of Tony Hawk. But only a couple songs, I don't know enough. I mostly, the stuff from Tony Hawk that I liked the most was like... Power Man 5000, like lots of the 80s shit on there was really good. Not into Blink-182 that much, but I like a couple of their songs. When Worlds Collide was such a good fucking song. Also, this boss in Majora's Mask 3D, I remember being annoying as fuck. It took me so long. I remember struggling with it, like, big time. Pornos for Pyros? Oh, that's a great band. Jane's Addiction and Pornos for Pyros, both. Both of, uh, Perry Farrell's bands I really liked. And yes, that is the name, literally the name. Vinny, what are you doing? Someone said that the Zora thing killed in one hit. So clearly that was... That was a lie. Oh, I believe Nobunga created this boss fight, too. This was his concept. So, I, I think... Yeah, I think I want to do a thing where whenever there's something in a game I don't like, if I don't like the design of, it was made by Nobunga. Genius Nobunga, no less, too. Well, that wasn't fair, was it? Well, I didn't realize he was stunned until I was like, Oh, he's stunned! I'll jump back in. Yeah, I didn't really- I didn't realize that you could also stun this dude while he was in the water. Like, with- with, um, Zora Link. Good. Yeah, dive in place! Yeah! Yeah, you dick! Also, why is Link drowning? I have the- the tunic. The blue one. It's fake. Real fake tunics. I... hate this dude. I remember the 3DS version having, like, suction and, and, like, mines, and I remember being really annoyed by it. Gilded Sword. I will miss the Razor Sword because its design is very good. But... This has got better reach, better attack power. It was about time. It was about time. That's what I call progress. Chat. We made progress in the game. Best chance to get Oath to Order is in Icona, but lack of lens might make some checks difficult. Vinny, do Pirate's Fortress. Twitch Council here to inform you that your Twitch- uh, your stream permissions have been revoked because of that joke. What the hell, chat member? I don't even know what I said. What the hell did I say? Pogress? I said pogress. Like progress, pogress- oh! Give it a rest. Give it a pog rest. This is outrageous! It's unfair! Anakin, the Council does not wish to make you a Jedi. You will not ascend to the rank of Jedi Master. But you were a Jedi Master at, like- Sorry. Obi-Wan Kenobi was a Padawan. Like, in- how old is Obi-Wan Kenobi in Episode 1 chat? He's like in his late 20s, early 20s. Still a Padawan. He's like 23 or so. Light all the lights on the upper floor for an item. Ugh. Ewan was like 28 in 1999. Weird to think that I'm now older than Ewan McGregor was throughout all of the prequel trilogy. Someone said, soon the original. <laughs> oh, I've not- that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Vinny, you need to get the eggs for a song. And the eggs are Pinnacle Rock or at the Pirate Fortress? The answer is yes. Alright, well, well, we'll go to Pinnacle Rock first. Vinny, I'm pretty sure you only need one egg in Rando. I'm- I'm pretty sure I checked that off. I checked it on. I you know what I mean? Like, like I- yes. Like, I checked it. Yes. I need to get a- a picture of a sea pirate to the- 
the weird dude, right? Isn't that one of the things I have to do? Why are people saying tit pics? They're, they're not boobs in this game. You're the tit, Brett. You're the tit, Brett. He's not a tit, Marie. Jermaine, don't you get into this. Right? You and your cool leather jacket. I know a boob when I see one, Brit. Vinny, you need a bean for this? Uh, oh, fuck, yeah, right. I do need, I need a bean. Chat, closest bean? Does anyone remember? The grocery store. Only place is the Deku Palace. Well, that was where I could buy them, but I remember getting a free bean. Yeah, I did get a free- I, I think I got a free bean in one of the grottos or something. Vinny, pirate entrance is underwater. Wait, so where the hell am I going? The heart piece? Alright. Visit Chicago free bean. I've been, and there is a bean. I have- I've been to the bean. It was- it was reflective. Chat, like, four people made the same joke at the exact same time. The stone mask will make it much easier. Mate, I don't- I don't have that. I just need one egg. You can't get the fisherman the picture anymore after you beat the dungeon. Yeah, I mean, the stone- the stone mask could be anywhere, chat. I mean, this could be the stone mask, for all we know. You know, I was just wondering where this was. That was really close. That was almost... I thought that was the stone mask for like a split second. I mean, I needed that, so that's great. <clears throat> Full heart. So there should be three treasure chests down here. Vinny left. That doesn't help. I don't know where I am. I don't know where left is. I don't have the, the natural compass that fish have. There it is. Alright, Pirate Fortress. Three treasure chests done. Can't complain too much, the giant's mask was a good find. Big button on cliffside. Uh, fuck, I don't know where cliffside specifically, but... Goron button on ledge. Oh, over here. They're not looking for a Goron, are they? Vinny, if you find the Zora egg, you should save state and sell it at the curiosity shop for 20 rupees. It's possible, and for some reason, it might be the most evil thing you could do in any Zelda game. It's not even good money. For a specimen that good? So, um, these eggs are in the fortress, no? So this is gonna be fun without the stone mask. Vinny, how did you delete your memories of this game? Th this is just me. Desert posted a Nintendo leak. There's a big Nintendo leak. It's, a uh, Big... Maring. Oh, cool. Mar marbling? Big, big mar- big... You get the stun, and then they immediately wake up like, ah, no problem. You fuck. Come on. Vinny, go for the tower in the middle of the courtyard. Up there? In the middle of the courtyard! Of the king! What? How does that happen? Look! They, they just, like, fucking rise! Room key? <laughs> what the fuck were they doing with that? Is it possible to accidentally destroy the Zora Egg? There should be at least two more chests if memory serves correctly. I'll search until I get kicked out. Vinny, I think you need all the eggs. I... I, I don't th believe I... Do? Vinny, you need all the eggs. Don't forget the picture, but people are telling me the picture is not... People were saying that it's too late for the picture. Because you have to do it... ...before you defeat the boss. Give me a second, I wanna check my settings on the randomizer. Faster lab fish. Skip younger beaver. Good dog race RNG. Make gold dog always win if you have the mask of truth. That could have still been luck, I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like I still need- it doesn't say anything about, like, one egg. Does that mean I'm gonna have to, like, go back in time and do this again? And this is for a song, right? Like, this is necessary. It's possible this one song slot has a song you don't need. I might- I might look at- see- and see what song it is. You can take a picture of the Gerudo all wandering around, you do not have to go back in time. However, people were saying... ...that... ...I cannot turn the picture of the Gerudo in. Is that good enough, chat? How about that? I guess we'll see. I might- I'm- you know, it might not even be a thing that I need. People were saying there's more treasure chests around here, but... The 
fisherman opens a minigame after you kill the boss, so you can't turn it in now. Yeah. I, I guess we'll see if I even need this. Um, it's a lot of effort for a potential song I might not need. You could try to cheese your way through the maze and skip the seahorse. So, chat, it's Pinnacle Rock, right? Technically, where do I get the song? In the lab. Trying very hard to just avoid. Yeah, it's Oath to Order. Baby Zora's Oath to Order. That is a very important thing. I, I need that thing more than almost anything else, almost. Fuck. If you don't bring the seahorse to Pinnacle Rock, you miss out on an item. Try Snowhead instead. I, I don't have the ability to do Snowhead, really, because... Uh, I don't have certain... I don't have the lens of truth. It's for fairies. But here's the thing, the, the, it's exclusively for fairies, people are saying. It's not showing up on the damn map. I guess the tracker is, is wrong here. Where's the, the, the tracker developer who was in chat not too long ago? The temple is surprisingly straightforward with fire arrows. Without speedrunning tricks. That's cool then. Can't wait to kill Goat. G-H-O-A-T. Is that his name? Goatier? Is a singer? Somebody I used to know, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> Fallout! Can't wait for the super precise... Uh, Goron scum maze from- <laughs> That's probably gonna happen later on. That might be optional though, I don't know. Just walk? Oh, that's no fun. All right, I'll just. Walk! We walk now. What the hell am I gonna do with this picture of the pirate lady? <laughs> do you think the happy mask salesman wants the picture? Uh, another excellent section designed by Nobunga. Someone said leaving the fairies to die. I see. There's no proof that they die. They are just floating around, speed of sound, chilling out in the dungeon. What places does Sonic have to go, anyway? Like, if he, if he weren't, you know, busy saving the world, like, what, where does he have to go? What does he, what does he do for work? Fast? That's not a good answer. Makes chili dogs at Sonic, the, the fast food place, you're, you're telling me. Alright. Yeah, I'd buy that. Community service. I feel as if I maybe have wasted time. I still need the big key. So even if I do manage to make it to the top, key is needed. Check mini boss chest two for possible seahorse. That's right, there's no guarantee that I'm gonna get the goddamn seahorse from that quest. Oh no. Seahorse is locked in. You get it, it's a key item. Alright. Vinny, I've been re-watching your 3DS playthrough. You have tried that dungeon... This dungeon of the third night... ...and fucked up completely. I was drunk, and was more and more angry at your inefficiency. And that's when I finally understood that I had an alcohol issue. I mean... I understand my playthroughs can be frustrating. I know that I'm not the sm um, the smartest tool in the shed. And I do fuck up playthroughs. But... If someone else playing a video game, you know, like, gets you actually, like, emotionally angry, that's, uh... I don't know, that doesn't sound great, so I'm glad you... I hope you're okay now? I hope, <laughs> hope you're doing better? That was a really particularly unexpected and heavy chat message. Someone said, Vinny, it was a joke. I don't know if it was. It's hard to tell. Check's quest came out. <laughs> Are you playing it? I had no intention of playing it, but I actually... Someone in chat mentioned it earlier during my Terraria stream, and I was like, wait a minute. What do you mean a Check's quest remaster just came out? And sure enough, it's fucking Check's quest with 3D graphics. It's free, and it's about an hour long, so it's... You know, there's really not much commitment there. Fuck you, Adobe. Again with your bullshit. That's two. It's not as bad as I expected, but... 
C program files, common files, Adobe, Adobe, GC client, in case you need it again, thanks. Will I still be able to use, um, Photoshop? <laughs> Someone said, Vin, why so quiet tonight? Um, I don't know, I streamed three and a half hours earlier too, so I think I'm just kind of out of stuff to say. How's the weather? It wasn't too bad today. Alright, good chat, good chat. Vinny, head back. Head back where? This way? Big key is up those stairs. Roll on the snow again. I'm gonna listen to Captain Falcon. Cross by rolling, use Deku Flower to get to the room on the right. Oh, right, this fucking guy. Yeah, Link brain cam. Uh, so yeah. The key, but uh, the, uh, no item. I didn't go for the item. You don't need it. Could be the seahorse. <laughs> Whoa. Could also be a hundred rupees or a heart piece. It'll take you literally forever to go down and then come back up here, so just do it after beating the boss, okay. There's always a fucking cool boss. It's the most Shadow of the Colossus of all the Zelda bosses. I mean, the actual fight itself is just, you know, go fast in circle. But then again, me play playing the game Puss last night was just move mouse on screen. But this is, again, one of the ones I remember the most from this game. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a booty blast directly to the face. Who keeps restocking these goddamn... pots? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god! <sighs> Kinda hope Breath of the Wild 2 does something really weird. Like, this game was a really good follow-up to Ocarina just because of how fucking strange it was. Like, if you do something really well the first time, and you want to do something kind of like that, just do it real fucking weird, man. Like, Magical Mystery Tour to Sergeant Pepper, even though both are weird. Whatever pleases you, Paul McCartney, whatever pleases you. I am the fucking metronome. Now this is... I went this whole time without saying, now this is pod racing. Pog racing? What have we become, chat? What have we become? We're just a bunch of pogs in the machine. Oh yeah. From razor sword to 20 rupees. Alright, I think I'm just gonna, like, go back in time and save, and then do some Trials of Mana. Chat. Uh, from Gilded, I meant Gilded Sword. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a chance on not getting that item. Then he do the Goron race. We have no confirmation that that would work, by the way. You can do it another time, you have the remains now. Use the room key and the stockpot in. Does that- that doesn't go away, does it? It does go away. Vinny, question, how do you find the energy to do this day in and day out? Doesn't it wear you down? Yeah, I'm a little tired today. I mean, doing Terraria for three and a half hours earlier and then streaming now, it's a little tough, but honestly, it's... It, it's fun, and it's not like we have... It's not like any of us have anything else to do. Vinny, you've got post-Plinket depression. <laughs> Someone said there's a ramp up the side, but I don't know what you're talking about. I, I see the egg... the entrance there. Oh. That opens up, like, one thing. Um, we can do the chicken, the strange chicken hero thing. Is there not an item here? No. Well, fuck. In the area with Tingle and the bridges, there's two underwater. Alright, we'll, we'll come back to this. Lens with Song of Healing. Yeah, I don't have the lens, and I... Do I even have the Song of Healing? 
I, I don't even have the Song of Healing. I'm just gonna save it here, and that way we can do a couple- Excuse me, we can do a couple things without me having to defeat the boss again. Next time I play. I, it's crazy how long a fucking playthrough of this takes. Do the owl statue? Yeah, why not? Cursor on the screen? Hmm? Someone in chat just wrote, Demonica. It's the harmonica. But, you know. Save states are high risk of wiping save games with owl save combined. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, hi everyone, welcome to the stream. Let's hope the save hasn't been wiped. Um, that would be a terrible fate. I hope you're all doing okay. Wow. What a day. I'll tell you, I just built my house in the Bone Zone in Terraria. So, that's kind of what I did. But, I hope you're all doing okay, and I welcome you to the stream, and thank you once again for joining me with Majora's Mask. You've all been so patient with the speedrun, which is now well over a week. I was just watching a video called, like, the worst fake speedrun on YouTube, and, um, I was thinking, man, I should... I should just, like, do one of those. Just, like, make it obviously very, very fake. And just take footage from this and combine it. And make it into, like, a world record. <laughs> Claim that I have the world record with very obvious edits. Anyway, I hope you're all alive and well. Thank you for joining. Let's get started, shall we? Well, the save seems to be intact. So that's, uh, that's good. So last time we were on the third day, um, because I finished the dungeon and, I, and we wanted to do the beavers. That we wanted to blend them up a little bit. Vinny, I've been watching Star Trek Enterprise. It's way better than I remembered Masterpiece compared to Picard. Yeah. Yeah. Glad you're enjoying it, because it's it's pretty good. It's been a long time! Getting for hell. Excuse me. Um, a chat member just said, I've heard you've been shaking trees. Mm-hmm. I was looking for wasps. Wait, this is... No, I need to go to the Goron racetrack, right? I like how chat members are now just Animal Crossing villagers. Vinny, what are your thoughts on Janeway? Um, good actress, highly inconsistent character. Very annoying, um, at times. Not written to the best, fullest potential. That's just kind of how I feel about it. Then again, Cisco was, you know, in the early couple seasons of Deep Space Nine, Cisco was also kind of crappy at times. And Picard mostly was consistent, um, you know, during the run of TNG. And Kirk was just a fucking lunatic. So that was, uh, yeah. So I need to do, um, the Goron Racetrack, I think, right? Or Goron Racetrack or Beaver? What am I doing? Beavers? That's the same thing, no? No. I am in the right spot. Beavers are the underwater race, and this is the Goron race. So we're gonna do Goron race, and then, um, a couple other things I think I can only do in day three. And then, I'm pretty much just gonna go straight for I Icona Valley. But I need- I need the Lens of Truth, right? Underwater race for Zora. Uh, we might have to just go item hunting a little bit. Vinny, you need Oath to Order. Yikes, okay. That's gonna take me, uh, that could be a, a fucking nightmare. You can do some stuff in the graveyard before I kind of valley proper. Oh, I have a Terraria question. I like how this Goron has EGAD hair from uh, Luigi's Mansion. Uh, I have a quick Terraria question. I made the um, graveyard biome by setting down the six gravestones. Does that grow the graveyard scenery? Or do you, like, does that happen? Like, I, I want the graveyard scenery, it looks cool. Yes. No. It grows when people die. No, and it's eight. Play seven for the full graveyard effect, okay. I need to get an NPC over there too, so I can buy their shotgun. Alright, here we go. The Darmani races. 
Let's do it. Treasure chest as stockpot at stockpot in as Goron first day. Did I not do that one already? All right. Get ready for um. What is going on? Oh, you have to hold forward the whole time. Uh oh. <laughs> of course, during this race, you can see the moon. I think um, when people, you know, complain about this game, I think there's some valid stuff. I think the game is a little obtuse and, and a lot to manage, and I get it. But one of the reasons it's probably one of my favorite Zelda games, just in my memory, is because of shit like you're doing the Goron race, and then you just look up and the moon is about to crash down into, into the planet. It's like you are not allowed to forget about that motherfucking moon. The, um... I mean, it's allegedly going to crash into the planet. Well, you know. But, um... I guess I really like... I really like what, the way they handled that in the end of the world. And, uh, in general, my favorite things about this game are the side quests and... You know, the Romani alien stuff, the... the quest with co coffee and Anju. Anything that kind of lends to that deep, dark feeling of despair. I think it's handled, like, really, really shockingly well in a, in a Zelda game. Which is, you know, you don't- Zelda gra grapples with some fairly dark themes from time to time, but they're usually not, like, in your face. Like, in Ocarina, Link, you know, missing out on his adulthood. Um, on his childhood, rather, and, like, going straight to adulthood because he needs to do that, and then, like, you know, at the end of the game, like, no one even really knows what he did. There's- there's some really dark shit in- in- in Ocarina of Time. But, again, the best example of the stuff that's handled, I think, really well is- is in this game, is the dark- Oh! Is the- is the, uh, is the moon stuff, and anything with the people, either they're leaving, they're staying, they're fr they're afraid. Some people made peace with it, it's- it's really... It stuck with me, and it still does to this day, and even playing the randomizer. You know what else? The sheer terror of losing the Goron race. Literally getting Romani drunk so she won't realize what's happening, yeah. Oh god. That does happen. I like the single frame of Goron Link's face we get to see every now and then. I think I still... maybe have got this. I think I... <gasps> Crash Team Racing. How about every kart game I ever play? All of it just hit me. Everything. Jesus. So, uh... Oh, well, that sucked. I thought... It, it, even despite the tree, I was like, well, maybe I did well enough. You can eat a treeness. <laughs> treeness! I was gonna mention Trent Reznor made a post about how the Nine Inch Nails tour he was gonna do this year got cancelled. And so he's uh, gonna revisit some Nine Inch Nails material and try to maybe record an album. So that was exciting. In his message, he also said, keep on listening to Bowie. But yeah, I would have seen Nine Inch Nails again this year, if they'd come around, because the last time I saw them two years ago was one of the best shows I've ever been to in my life. But I'll take a new album. You know, if, if he's got a new album in the works, that's, that's cool too. Someone said they were supposed to see Green Day. I may not like Green Day all that much, but I wouldn't want to- I wouldn't mind seeing them live, actually. I think I would really like seeing them do, um, stuff from their first couple records. Anything from the 90s in particular, and maybe American Idiot, would be fun. Yeah, I would- I would see Green Day live. Why not? Oh, yeah! Ah! I hate this race. Yeah, Gizzard was gonna be doing a big tour this year, too. So I was gonna maybe see them again, I don't know. I've seen them twice already. But they keep putting out albums. So I wanna keep hearing the stuff they put out. But yeah, this, uh, this minigame kinda... Kinda sucks. I don't remember it being this annoying. Holy shit. Just need a good I need a good lead. And then I can just not get bumped by the other Gorons. And then I would be very happy. I, I made no major mistakes. Look how close that son of, son of a bitch second place! 
You fuck. Gonna do the stockpot in thing. Let's see, what can I do on the third day? Couple's mask, final night. In spring, there are chests in the lake right in front of you. Skull fracture. Tony Hawk neck destruction. Okay. So, uh, Oath to Order. I think that's probably it, just those two. But, uh, the Oath to Order, I think the songs are just in song locations. So, I don't believe... It'll be in a treasure chest somewhere. W um... Try learning the Song of Storms? Where's, uh, where's that? Where can I get that again? A kind of graveyard. Alright, okay. Um, I think, am I good here? Maybe, is there anything else I need to do on this day? Or should I just warp back? It was the Zora egg quest for Oath. Oh, right, it was confirmed. I forgot, it was fucking confirmed that I have to do the egg quest. Chest behind waterfall in front of Smithy. Alright, well, if anything, that, that could be the, um... People are, are talking about the room key. Um... I have the room key, right? What, what is that for? Stockpot in? What day do I need to... do that? Any? Okay. So we'll, we'll go there before I... go back in time. The songs are randomized, right? We're, I actually looked and I was gonna try to not do the Zora egg quest. That was my goal. I was like, yeah, fuck the Zora egg quest. Yeah, it turns out I have to do the Zora Egg Quest. That's where Orth Oath to... Orth to Odor is. Vinny, did, did Vinny see that it is removing the anti-cheat for Doom? They still don't believe it caused performance problems, but they're removing it until they can figure out something else. Who gives a fuck about cheating in Doom? Seriously, who ca fucking cares? It's not about the multiplayer. That game is, is about the single player. Who gives a shit? I don't know how to open this treasure chest. Oh, you know, the one side I hadn't. Vinny, Relogic removed negative torch luckiness. Uh, so I've heard! Terraria had a weird luck functionality that was kind of removed. Well, not removed, it was- it's still in there, but now... It's not as bad, because if you use the wrong torch in the wrong area, you'd get a negative luck debuff. And now they, uh, they fixed that a little bit, so. Anything to help. It, that sounded really dumb, but there's still luck buffs with the torches, but the debuffs are gone. There's other debuffs, too, so. They removed only the negative effects, the luck boosts still remain. Good. Alright, let's go to the stockpot in. Someone said, I sense that something good is in the hotel chest. Alright, I'm holding you to it. If it's good, you get modded. Remember, that entails a life of servitude. <laughs> was that the- was that the room? Alright, well, you get demodded. Sell that Zora egg too, Vinny? You know what? I'm so fucking pissed about the Zora egg quest. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. Oh, wait. Curiosity shop has to be open, right? I don't believe- yeah, it's open at 10pm. Ah, fuck it. Remember to donate... <laughs> Rupees? Oh, wait, no. Remember to blend beavers. Oh, okay. Vinny, you sound high-pitched tonight. That's cool. Do I sound younger or older today, in particular? Which one? Because I just don't hear it, chat. I mean, I, I don't think I sound higher-pitched in any way, shape, or form. People keep saying it, they come in, they're like, Vinny, you sound... Younger, older, higher pitched. I don't. I don't really hear it. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. Uh, maybe, maybe someone else hears it. I don't. I don't know. Whatever. So you know, if you hear it, let me know. But at this point, it's really not worth talking about or discussing in any way. Someone said, "I shit you not." He turned himself into a chipmunk. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Mm hmm. Do you remember Alvin and the Chipmunks, which what the whole bit was like a pitch shifter? And people in- in the whatever year they came out in, were just like, This is amazing! They didn't, like, it was so amazing to hear another human pitch shifted up a little bit, that they became a global phenomenon. Yeah, and then the squeakwool came out. So, Gorons have nipples, apparently. What do they produce? 
uh, ma magma. Do you remember in Twilight Princess, there was that one Goron with a little volcano on his head? He was really old. I think that that is just the thing, you know, Gorons have in, in their, you know, they just have it. Was that a nipple? Yeah, it was a head nipple, if I'm not mistaken. Well, volcano's kind of like the Earth's nipple. Also, the letter Q. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Well, I was just wondering where that was. I mean, that's gonna make the Majora fight a lot easier. Having all the bottles. I don't know how Epona even... I don't know, whatever. Epona was hanging out in a kind of valley, I guess. Wow, these enemies fucking suck. He's just real bomb chews. What are you doing in a place like this? A kind of hell beyond here is a place where spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. Link is dead! Sorry, he's got wandering, lingering regrets! Lingering re- It's a nice mask you're wearing. Leader of the ninjas. So, I guess up here first, or maybe the other way? I don't- I don't really know. There's a lot of... The other way. We'll go to the other way. I'm looking on the map now, I see a- Fuck load of treasure chests. I'm like procrastinating doing the Zora egg quest. Those um seagulls are very nostalgic for me. Pros rather. Ravens, seagulls, <laughs> whatever. Okay, let me read some of these. Graveyard graves night one. Defeat the bats. Graveyard graves night three. Big po. Graveyard Grave, Night 2, Iron Knuckle. Graveyard Grotto. And Kida's Hat Chest. I think they call him Dampy because he's like a little damp. Just a little soggy. I had an uncle. Oh, great uncle. Passed away many years ago, but he, uh... Really, really, really sweet, wonderful man. Damp. You give him a hug? Damp. He was a very damp man. Oh. Okay. That'll help with the Zora egg quest, at least. Good thing I did this shit first. Someone wrote, How do you guys find this dude funny? Haha, <laughs> lol. L-O-L-E. Haha. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm on your side, chat member. I'm still- I've been trying to figure that out for ten years. I forgot how to do this. Why are you so fast, though? So, do I have to, re like, go back a day to, to like, I, I have to actually reset? I can't... No, just leave? Okay. I was like, I can catch him with the Goron mask. No. Shoot him a bunch and he'll... Yeah, that's what I remember, like... Vaguely, but obviously not vaguely enough to actually make it happen. You're no talent! Please, Mr. Scutal, please! I was like, I'll just jump over there. Nope. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's not essential, it's nice. 
It's not the lens of truth, but... The fierce deity mask? Yeah, no, that's not happening. That's on the moon. Yeah, some items are preserved, so like, any of the moon items are, are there. Uh, you can turn that off. You can like, do full chaos, but the way I set the randomizer... It was to make my life a little easier. Which also means, apparently, Fierce Deity is gonna be kinda off-limits. Vinny, you need them? Oh. Forgot about that. <laughs> huh? Captain, sir, excuse me. Everyone, give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain, sir. Per your order, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We've been expecting your next order, sir. We need you to open the grave now, sir. I need you to guard it. No, I need you to open it. I need you to guard it. I need you to open it. I need you to guard it. Okay. Times like this, the magic... What was it? Furor's Flame or something? Din's Fire? Deiru's Fingal? It would come in real handy in this game if it was... If it was here. It'd be perfect right here. Daruk's Protection would be ready to roll right about now, too. Well, shit. Do you remember that dude who called Daruk Garuk? And everyone started calling him Garuk for like five days? Yeah, I remember that. No, I didn't- I didn't start Garuk. That wasn't like a Vinny invention, that wasn't a Vinny original. Fucking light arrows early, man. Fantastic. Uh, here's a song I probably won't need. Song of Healing would have been nice. Vinny, how do you have infinite magic? Chateau Romani. Early. I know exactly where to get it, and it's easy, and I get it every day. Keeps my bones strong. My bones, chat! It keeps my bones strong! What about that surprises you? Look at my face! The wife left me with just my bones. That's my name now, Bones. Should I do the graves for the other days, chat? I may as well, right? Someone said probably not worth. Vinny, do you remember the guy who told you to stop narrating the game and just play? And then we all laughed. <laughs> not all of us, that guy was pissed. He was like, stop reading the text, lol. I get it. Some people don't want to hear some jackass read poorly. Fair enough. But, um, I think the- one of the most foolish things one can do is try to change the streamer. Like, I'm willing to make some concessions here and there and- and try to grow as a- as a person and be a better streamer if it's, you know, legit. People are reasonable about the way they tell me to, you know, do things, but, um... Imagine going into every streamer and being like, streamer, can you change? You know, like, that- that doesn't really work. You gotta find a streamer you like, or, you know... Maybe... Maybe you'd become the streamer. You- you can become the streamer. And then you can stream the way you want, and people can... ...enjoy your streams. That's a cool thing, too. Take a look, it's in a book. It's oversaturation on Twitch. Though, you know... You know what really sucks? When- when your own moderators don't like a thing you do? That sucks. I know for a fact several of my moderators don't like going hard under the floorboard, Harrison Ford. <laughs> I know they don't like that voice. I know most of you don't like that voice either, but... Which moderator? I'm not selling them out. I'm not- I'm not selling them out. Hell no. It's not desert. That's all I'm gonna say. People saying it's desert, not desert. Went hard under the floorboards. That bat. The bats have to be tossed. Fucking hell. Watch the fucking lens of truth be here. Vinny, each and every one of your bits is absolutely 
Except Jay Leno. Absolutely what? Kinda what? I would be, like, a little bit... Like, kind of put off if someone said they liked every single one of my bits. That's a little too sycophantic for my tastes. So, if someone's like, Vinny, I don't like your weird Eminem Harrison Ford. I'm like, yeah, that's Chris D'Elia doing Eminem, but... I just do his version of it. But yeah, know what, you're definitely... Some of my voices are horrendously annoying. Um... And that's the point of them, I suppose. Jay Leno. Oh, uh, Adam! Tell me... Oh. What do you got there, Adam? You got a little, uh... What do you got, a little, little asbestos? Asbestos? Uh oh Excuse me, hang on a second. Let me get rid of this video. We don't need the video. It's just me and Jay Leno and your thoughts now. Hey, everybody. It's me, Ultra Leno. Ultra Leno is here. And we're going to talk about cars and movies. Cars and movies. Now, if you meet me at a convention and you tell me that you love that, I'm going to be wondering... Like, I'm, you're immediately on my list of... I don't know if this person means well. We need vine sauce themed Q-tips so we can clean out our ears. Some fucking idiot's gonna put the Q-tip all the way in. And then I'm gonna get sued. Alright. Well, that was a lot of effort for more bombs. Someone said, did you ever get one of those laughs where you run out of breath and your nose is watching you? When you kind of breathe out your nose a little. I get those laughs where you just kind of breathe out your nose a little watching you. Oh, I totally read that entirely wrong. Vinny, wrong way? Well, how do I get the f is there an easy way out of here? I was gonna Song of Soaring, but I don't have a shortcut. I, for, I didn't hit any statues on the way here. Vinny, when I watch your streams, a little nose is watching me. We were, we were very quiet. <sighs> oh my god. Would it have been easier to just soar back to Clock Town? Yes. Would it have been faster? Debatable. Vinny, you missed a treasure chest. Don't you dare say something like that. Let's see, night two, there's only one treasure chest. Do you need the Song of Healing to actually finish the game? Does... A lot of people are saying I don't. Yeah, and, and rando runs, you don't. Song of Healing opens a lot of chests, but I think you have everything you need besides Oath. And I know where Oath to Order is. You know, it's just wildly inconvenient. The next big thing that I need to do is the dungeon, and then Oath to Order, and then pretty much Majora. So, I don't know if there's... I think there's two streams. Yeah, there's two streams of this left. You have the stone mask, though. That'll help. You don't need Gibdo since you have the light arrows. That's true. I'm gonna pretend like I remember what that means. Very nice. If you like to gamble, then baby, I'm your man! <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a good way to clear your throat. What in, um... What in shit-eating Christ do I have to <laughs> do here? Someone's gonna probably complain that I said shit-eating Christ, but... Is this the same every time? Maybe in rando, but no. no. No treasure here. You probably have the good dampy RNG option checked. I do. So this... maybe this'll be it? Good... RNG. Dampy, the world's ending. We need to be faster. So, there's- there's more upstairs, huh? Last one is at the top of the ladder? Well, how do I get him up there? I say as my voice gets up there. The elevator? This motherfucker has an elevator? He just fell. Why did he just fell? Dampy, maybe don't stand on the edge of the ele- Kuso. KUSO! 
Why does the camera switch? Just ride the elevator with him? You can't. Someone just said this has no bunga written all over it. This way, damp. Damp, please. Damp. Good dampy RNG. What? Bitch, what? What? Dampy is good and best in ga game. You no. What? Why did the why did the thing just end? Hope it didn't reset. I hope it didn't reset. It reset. Oh, I hate it. The genius that is Nobunga. I don't- I still don't know why it reset. I, or why, you know, it did the thing. I don't know what happened. Keep in mind, they didn't make this any easier in the 3DS version. Which is, like, really weird considering they made so much other shit. Like, Babby. You fell in the elevator hole. Oh, I was looking at chat when that happened. I- I will revel in the moon falling in this timeline. <laughs> the noise he makes! He makes the noise! He goes, Ugh! And that's how I feel! And that's how I feel! And this is good dampy RNG! Let's see how worth it this was, chat. You ready? Lens of truth, here it is. What the fuck? <laughs> well, that was- that was kind of, um, fortunate. Genius Nobunga strikes again. So here's the cool thing, I probably don't even need the lens of truth anymore. <laughs> you still need the mirror shield? Oh, the mirror shield is a requirement for the fucking... You need the seahorse, still. I need the seahorse, and I need the mirror shield. Oh no. The mirror shield is not required, you have the light arrows. Okay, that's good. So I need the seahorse then. If you look up a map, you can skip the seahorse. Where's the- where's... lad? I need a healing potion to help this dude. Why- why is this dude from Hyrule here? You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help, but everyone ignores me and passes me by. Medicine that would make an unnoticeable stone like me feel better. While I'm here, I'm gonna get the, um... The, the owl. The, the statue. Not that I remember where the statue is. Business scrub. This is the... part of the big side quest. Wait. Uh, that's the thing I need for the soldier, no? Red or blue works? That's convenient. Give me the seahorse. Express mail to mama. Oh. That's useful right now. You can take that to the milk bar right now. When does the milk bar close? When does the milk bar close? It doesn't. Okay, we're gonna go get the statue then. When the world ends? Ah yes, Tingle, the world is ending in five minutes or so. Let me talk to you real quick. I swear to God, Tingle. I, I love Tingle's face in this game in particular. Just like a flat face. Except for the nose. Guess we'll get that. Oh, I already have that. I guess I have all of this. Scammed again. Squadala! He says, all right. Go in the cave in the back first. Yeah, I'll be back there. Again, I really would love a seahorse right about now. They're fucking beautiful and cute and they go on towels. Oh dear, you alright with not fleeing? Looks like this is it for this town, you know. You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge. All the townsfolk have fled. You should flee too far away. 
Oh dear, you're the one searching for Cafe. How is it? Have you found him? Cafe, you really are an expert. I'm sorry, my thanks. Yes, yes, it is your job after all. It's a map of Snowhead. Hmm. You can also give it to the postman and follow him into the bar for an alternate item. Give it to postman next time. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman! Oh yeah, Mr. Postman! The streamer is good, he make boomer reference. That is good, when I was young child I heard Mr. Postman by Beetle. I am now 67 years old. <laughs> Love this guy, he streamed good for me. Boomer! Reference from Beetle. Ah, uh, shit. What are we gonna do about the seahorses? Vinny, that song became a meme on Vine. Uh, was it the Beetle version? Just the kid saying it. Well, the Beetle version, I don't even think, is the original version. I'm pretty sure Mr. Postman is a totally, um, unrelated. I think they covered it. Let's see. Beetle, it's Mr. Postman! Wow, my phone recognized that. Please, Mr. Postman, it says here. It's a song written by Georgia Dobbins, William Garrett, Freddie Gorman, Brian Holland, and Robert Bateman. Names I don't recognize, just like how in 50 years no one will recognize our names. Life is fun. It was a 1961 song that was covered by the Beatles in 63. Someone said, Jesus, Vinny, lighten up a little. <laughs> I mean... I'm playing Majora's Mask. If we're gonna get Fatalist, this is the right time to do it. Day one of Majora is so hopeful. It's like... Anything could happen. Oh, right, I need the, um, the keg, right? To do- I was gonna do the chickens. It's a really cool thing. Wait, is that- wait, chickens. Where's the chickens? Is they there? The ranch. I wonder if, if this works instead of bomb. Mm, guess not. Yeah. The annoying part of Majora's Mask. You should be able to buy the keg from the town bomb shop. What time does that open? It's open now? Oh. I don't have the bomb mask. Vinny, did you know that randomized music gets you tracks from Mario 64 and Star Fox? Oh shit, really? If that's true, that's fucking cool, and I kind of regret not doing randomized music now, but... I will say that I'm happy... ...that... ...I... Also, did this because it's nostalgic and, and it brings me back. And I like the, the music where it is. Again, this randomized run ended up feeling more like an actual playthrough for me. It's fucking close enough, really. The only thing I'm not doing is, you know, I'm not really reading through the stuff. We're not getting, like, some cutscenes. Um, there's side quests, quests, excuse me, that I'm not doing. But otherwise, we're doing every dungeon, we're seeing every major area. We're going through most of the, like, major plot points. We saw most of the secret areas. It's... It's pretty fucking substantial and full run. But I'd probably never do this again. <laughs> to be honest, I, I don't think I'd ever do this again. Vinny, Majora's Mask 3D streams from 2015, numbered at 22 parts. Now, how long was each part? Was I doing the full two hours that I usually do? Yes. Okay, so this is nowhere near that. Twitter tweeted out to reply to this post if you want to be verified and then disabled the ability to reply to said post. Can Twitter stop eating like 20 fucking big diseased cocks in a row lately? I could- I could rant about it, but I'm not going to. I don't feel like it. I just- uh, it's gonna annoy me. I don't really feel like it, but... Yeah, they were also like... Name a better platform than Twitter and disabled replies. So they're they're being extra smug and cool about their no reply functionality. By far the cutest side quest in all of the Zelda games. Vinny, they are popcorn chickens. I was gonna make a really morbid joke about like Popeyes. I was also going to reference a video I saw that included a horse and some baby chickens. It's one of uh, 
one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Well, that just turned this cute moment into something, like, horrendous. Great! And that was my fault entirely. That was my fucking fault entirely. Now I just- I got this mental image in my head. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with a crest and all... I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. Alright, well, it was still worth it to do that because that was adorable. So now I want to figure out, um, what to do from here. I'm just checking my map. We're running out of time for this stream, but I, I'm gonna stream this for another, like, 20, 25 minutes. So... I guess we could try to do the, uh, the, the Zora egg quest. Um, and people are saying I can do it without the seahorse. So that's... I need a map for that. Need a map. So I'm gonna try to get that. You... did you... you miss an item? Uh, the only item I'm missing now is really the seahorse, I guess. And that's just to make my life easier. Chat, what, when you say seahorse, what, what am I looking for specifically? Does it have a name? No, just a seahorse? Okay, well, um, I just checked the spoiler log, because I no longer, I no longer care about, uh, the seahorse being a spoiler. And I can't fucking find it. It's not listed as seahorse. Maybe the fisherman still gives it? Let's see, I'm not looking really at anything else, I'm just looking for this one fucking thing. Um... Try bottled seahorse. No, it's not there, mate. Let's see, Goron. Let me try uh, Zora Cape, Lab Fish, Piece of Heart. Oh, the search function fucking sucks. It's the fisherman pictograph. It's just vanilla. Vinny, we told you it's not random. Oh, you did? Oh, I know that me looking up spoilers for a rando run is most uncool and actually probably infuriates some people. That's no good. But, in this case, I don't really mind so much, uh, for me. I- I mostly kept away from the spoiler log. I think I looked at it, like, two or three times for some really annoying items. And even then, it was just confirmation that I, in fact, have to do this exact fucking quest. So, yeah, it's a little anti-pog, me looking at the spoiler log. So, can I wear the stone mask now? You are completely invisible with it on. Go nuts. You'd think they'd have just an invisibility mask. Mm. Nothing here, just, um... Just a stone. This is what the fisherman wants. It won't- people are saying it won't work. Ah, shit. Meanwhile, the other day while I was streaming this, people were like, Vinny, he only wants one thing and it's disgusting. I'll take another picture. I'll, I'll get a good one in a minute, but let me, um... Let's get the first couple of seahorses. I need seven, right? Someone in chat said, what's with all this weird pitch shifting? Yeah, just refresh. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a problem on your side. Definitely. Yeah. I like to reuse the same bits. If it's better the second time, then it's, it's even better the seventh. 8th, and 12th. What a, what a cool picture that is. With a good camera. Vinny, it won't work? That seems like it'll work. I just joined to see a man take a photo and then kill the subject. I don't remember this in Zelda. <laughs> Alright, there's the bees. Yeah, Majora's Mask definitely has a lot of the more uh, interesting aspects of the Zelda series. Oh, right, the room key. I don't need this shit again. Wait, chat. I only have six bottles. So that means I'm gonna have to get a couple and then use other bottles. You need to make multiple trips. For Pete's sake. For Pete's sake. So we'll do the four here, and then when we get the seahorse, we can get the other ones in Spectacle Rock. Four in the fortress. Four on the floor. <laughs> Harrison four. Oh, put your mask on, Link! Alright, good. So, chat, what do you like better, Gerudo Fortress or Pirate Fortress? Kinda... partial to Gerudo. Maybe it's just nostalgia, maybe it's memories, maybe it's because I remember it better. But, Gerudo... I think just- I just like the design of it a little bit better, too. Gerudo has better music. Well, yeah. Oh, I don't need to... I have the, the stone mask. They don't know I'm here. 20 rupee. 
What? You can see me? Well, yeah, it worked. Gee, gee, that rock really just stole all of our shit, didn't it? I mean, she knew. I don't know how she saw through the, the disguise. I had a very compelling disguise. Yeah, yeah, fucking clam. Yeah, eat the fuck. <laughs> then I found the plague rat at my Animal Crossing New Horizons TM campground. Please send help and maybe an exterminator. How about a flamethrower? Okay, so I know I don't know where else to go. The two sides, that side there too. I think I have I not been this way. Yeah, I've been this way. Um, that leads out. I think that leads out. That leads out. There's someone in chat named Young Sheldon Fan. Why would you do this? Those doors do not lead out. Use hookshot targets on left. Okay. Wait, I don't know if I got this treasure chests. I don't know what the fuck else I need. I don't need anything else. I pretty much have everything. That's nice, though. Me? Bazinga. So have fun with that one, chat. Every time you hear Gungaga, I want you to think... Bazinga. Bazinga. So I see a door over there. Again, not sure if that's how leave. Yeah, the meme is just... it's spicier with that. That's how you leave. Saying me, Gungaga, has put serious strain on my relationship, but I can't stop. Send help. All right, now, what you need to do is we need to get you to the ranch, uh, probably the Ram Ranch, and we can really just get you off of the Gongaga. But you need to open up, and you need to listen to your mom, and if possible, move out of Nibelheim. Wait, you're not Dr. Phil. You don't even sound like him. You got me. I just don't know why they're guarding these, like, valuable, precious eggs with fucking killer clams. I assume speedrunners don't even bother with the fucking clams. Killer clams... Remember, the eggs are only worth 20 rupees. Yeah, the pirates just hate fucking Zoras, I guess. That's, I didn't mean for it to sound like that, but you know what I mean. What religion do you think Zoras practice? Is it Zoroastrian? Beliefs, perhaps? That guy before who said, I'm unsubbing, that wasn't subbed, now you can actually unsub. I'll- listen, I will pay the five bucks to give you a subscription so you can unsub. Oh, they just fucking disappear. Okay. This just in, bones can be electrocuted. Wet bones conduct electricity. Well, fuck. The bones win in the end, you know, against the flesh. The flesh. See, the bones stay strong for as long as they can. While the flesh begins to slide off like a wet noodle. And all that's left is the bone. <laughs> can we not tonight, said someone. Well, what day would be good for you where we talk about how our flesh slides off our bones? What? Just give me a day. You want me to pen this in for next Tuesday? Alright, I got it for next Tuesday. Vinny, did you have a weird dream again? Yes, I did, actually. I forgot to mention it. I had a weird dream. Uh, two, in fact. Skeleton MMO Morrowind in VR. That was from, like, last week. I forgot to mention that one. I don't know what that means. That was May 18th. So that was, no, that was, that was Monday. So that's a couple days ago. And then, um, last night, it says here, I had a dream I was ordering at a subway, or something like a subway, but because dream communication is nearly impossible, the order kept getting longer and longer and more ridiculous until eventually it was $75. The dream took a long time and the person making the sandwich was pissed at me. Just as I was about to eat the sandwich, I woke up. Yeah, I just- I do remember a little bit of that dream based on what I just read, and I can say that it was like, um, the Tom Green sandwich. It was like, just more and more stuff. At one point, there was like, marinara sauce on it, and it was just like a- like a regular sandwich with lots of cold cuts. And... I remember there being like... It was just huge, and it was disgusting, and then I was like... Just about to eat it, and I woke up. So... That sucks. Tom Green... Subway. Yeah, so this is, um, the Tom Green... Sandwich. Just if anyone doesn't... 
know the reference. If you are not familiar with the reference, it's basically this. And uh, some onion as well, please. And I guess a little more lettuce on top of that. And some mayonnaise, I guess. And a little more tomato on top. And some pepper. Some green pepper. And some pickles. Uh, two tomatoes. Two tomatoes. And some pickle. Some pickle. Okay, that's good. That looks delicious. Yeah, well, I mean, that dude got really popular. <laughs> Someone said I work at Subway and this actually pisses me off. Yeah, that was a 1994... Um, thing. Yeah, Tom Green got a big sandwich. And then someone was like, Dude, we gotta get this guy on TV. And, but in four years. Not now, in four years, we'll get him on TV. He'll make big sandwiches forever. So do you want to talk about how our, like, flesh slides off our bones again? <laughs> no, we don't have to do that. We're gonna- we, we've scheduled an appointment for tu Tuesday. I talked about the Snyder Cut earlier of the Justice League movie, and I think... I haven't seen Justice League, I haven't really seen any of the DC movies aside from, like, videos, uh making fun of the Justice League and other DCU movies. So, or MC, DC, E, P, 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 I don't know. So I'm not really interested, but I think maybe it'll be more tonally consistent. Maybe that's a good thing. But I do like that we're gonna get, I, th I think it's interesting that um, there's an alternate cut that HBO is willing to spend 20 to 30 million dollars on to finish the CG and to get it in the movie. I wonder what other movies could be improved by getting a director's cut and putting that much money into it. Like, that's interest. I like that, just purely because of, like, the alternate reality version of it. Rise of Skywalker? Apparently, there's a lot of stuff that was cut from that movie. Uh, the problem with that movie is, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. It's, it's, um... I don't think you can really remove too much, because they're, they're almost... you. You kind of need a lot of those elements for it to make sense at the end. And I feel like the movie's already, like, bloated. So if you add more, it's just gonna feel like... ...a mess even further. I don't- I don't know. The only really, uh, big extended cut movie that I want to see is the- the Cats movie. I just want to see that- that movie. With the bad special effects and stuff. And that's about it, really. The butthole cut? That's what you want to call it. I call it the quality cut. <laughs> yeah, that was the underwater wolf sound was amazing. You can get an item if you kill all the sea serpents ins inside the chasm. It's probably not worth it. Um, and I don't have Chateau Romani, which is a shame. But there's uh, plenty of magic here, so I might be okay. I mentioned that Alien 3... ...maybe in some universe is good. Or, like, very good. But I think we'd have to probably go to an alternate dimension. They found an alternate dimension in, uh, what was it, Antarctica? Right? Where time flows backwards. I think they literally just said, like, scientists are like, Yeah, we found an alternate dimension. Everyone's like, what about my healthcare? How, how do I feed my children? I don't care about alternate- What, aliens? I don't give a shit. Or a parallel dimension. A parallel dimension where time flows backwards was just confirmed, chat. It's confirmed, and no one gives a shit. <laughs> I, then again, I didn't even read the article, so I don't even really give a shit. I thought it was like... Yeah, that's cool. How do we get there? I, I don't know if we can actually get there, so... That's where my disdain... ...arrives. It's like, well, it's cool. I mean, it's theorized. So there's not really a lot of... ...stuff I understand... ...in general, like, ever, in life, but... It was like a big announcement, and people were- were posting about it, so... But I- I actually think that at this point, if aliens were, like... ...fully disclosed, and, um, the government's like, Oh yeah, we've had contact with them. Here's a picture of a grey. I don't think people would give too much of a shit. The UFO footage that was released, people didn't really care too much about. Like, people that like UFOs have seen that footage already. 
I mean, yeah, they would. People would care. It would, like, there would be a lot of people that care, but I think most people would just, like, after five days, you know, they it's like, well, what does this mean for my daily life? And I'm gonna go back to following TikTok Logan Brown and watch him, because in, like, five days you realize, well, yeah, you made a deal with the aliens. Here's a picture. We're not alone. What about Logan Brown? What's he up to? And, like, that was, for me, the biggest thing in my life was, are we alone in the universe? I really, really have this intense desire to know. And I've always been really curious about that, and I, I look up at the stars sometimes, chat, like a weirdo, and I'm like, I wonder. But I think even me, I'd probably care for, like, a week. Talk about it with a couple friends. Mention it on stream a couple times, and then maybe just kind of go back to my anxiety. Anyway, there's a parallel dimension where we can get, um, we can go backwards in time, and we can both get the cat's butthole cut and Alien 3. David Fincher cut. Someone said, wait, is this real? This is real news. Well, yeah, I mean, the parallel dimension thing I mentioned was a clickbait headline that I told you about just now, yeah. Tonight's Majora's Mask, uh, stream is brought to you by Nihilism. There's the rest of them damn eggs. I wonder if Majora's Mask in particular did this to me tonight, because I wasn't nihilistic going into the stream tonight. Maybe playing a game about the end of the world and people kind of, like, not giving a fuck, or giving too much of a fuck and being really frightened, maybe... Oh yeah, why are there birds chirping at the bottom of the sea? Vinny, you were doing the right- attack the neck? Really? Didn't work. This dude's neck meat is made out of metal. Oh. Damn, that was frustrating. Seahorse is happy. Well, hey, at the end of the day, even though our bones sometimes fall- <laughs> Listen, the positive, the happy side here is that we reunited two seahorses, and they're smiling and they're happy. Fuck you. Fuck you two. Alright, okay, hang on a minute. Alright. So I took a deep breath, and I thought about it for a second, and the sense of... having helped the seahorses... is enough. And the monetary reward... was not necessary. Has anyone seen a seahorse egg? Or a Zora egg? <laughs> anywhere? Near the to- oh, it's this one. When he looked into the parallel universe thing, it's likely fake. All these articles are sourcing one random paywalled article. The actual thing NASA found can't be explained, so the article was just jumping to conclusions. I think the only real way that something like that ends up being tangible for people to understand is if they find a fucking portal. <laughs> it's the only way it's gonna work out, chat. They have to, like... They're in the furthest reaches of Antarctica. It's cold. There's an expedition. They're running out of food. They're cold. They're hungry. They're cold. You know, Jenkins pe died. You know, one of them had to have died, otherwise it's not a good movie. And, um, they end up finding, like, a portal in a cave. And they go in, and it's warm. And it's, it's, you know, and there's food, and there's trees with big fruits, there's a strange noise. And they look around, they're like, what is that noise? It's- it's alien. It's a xenomorph. And then they hear another noise, and it's like, Phew! It's- it's a predator! And that's when Weyland yutani began. When does Kurt Russell stick the hot needle in a petri dish of blood? Yeah, that's a good point. Kurt Russell's. Alright, good, all the eggs have been brought together. Alright, that took a while. I remember when I said I was only gonna stream for like 20 more minutes? What are those, like, like tadpoles? Like little tadpoles? The way these Zora children have lined up, it means... It certainly doesn't look like the Oath to Order. So, I guess now I have everything I need. Uh, next time I stream this, I should be able to finish the game. Beaver race. Oh god, I don't want to do the fucking beaver race. 
so yeah, we have to do Icona Valley. Um, we do the temple, Grund Grundle, Grundle, Grundleton. What's the name of the temple? It's, um, oh, it's called the Stone Tower, Stone Tower. We do that, and then we go to the moon, we fight Majora, and we win. So the dogs like Link. How do they feel about Zora, Link? They, they really like Zora, Link. They hate Deku, Link. And they're afraid of Goron, Link. Okay. We done. Well, it's been a long and emotional journey. And frustrating. But we're finally at the end of Majora's Mask. I'm a little late, Yacht. And Paul McCartney's bass line in She's So Heavy is amazing. And I'm only streaming this tonight because I want to make sure I finish it. It's possible I'll stream something else after this. But, uh, I want to say I really appreciate you all um, donating to the charity that was totally last minute. And, uh, this stream was just intended for a one-off. Just a couple hours. And it ended up being something more than that. I mean, for me, it was a good chance to revisit a game that I really loved. And... We ended up together... Solving the mysteries, and getting the 20 rupees, and doing the other things. And also, you know, possibly doing something good. Like I said, it's been... It's been fun. It's been a good stream for me. I've enjoyed it. I hope it's provided you with some frustration and entertainment. I'll miss it. Even if it wasn't the full Majora, even if it was just a bunch of randomized go gobbledygook all put together, it was great. Truly one of the best games ever made, in my humble opinion. Even if it does have some frustrating game mechanics. I can't just say it's one of the best without being honest about it, but... It's just as I mentioned the game's problems, the music gets... Spooky. I mean, it just worked on so many levels. Timing my birthday, 35th, with Tingle, and, you know, the, the, the nature of this game to begin with, given what we're going through. Uh, I just... Couldn't have thought of a... it really was, I guess, the exact right game for me to stream. For me, at least. Um, chat, I, someone... What happened? Uh-oh. Oh. Good thing I had that backup save, no? So that's, um... That's a problem. The, the owl statue overwrote the, uh, the manual save. That would have completely dead-ended the run. That was the most terrifying moment of this entire playthrough, holy shit. I actually need a second to catch my breath. Alright, we're good. Hi everyone, welcome back to the stream. Um... I'd like to let you know that someone... found Nobunga... in an old video of mine. Cyber Akuma linked this. Do you remember the game Goblet Grotto? Are you Goblet? I streamed it in 2015. Akumajo... Nobunga. There he is. I doubt I was remembering that. I, th I thought there was someone on the Final Fantasy dev team named Nobunga, but now we know he's actually a part of the lore. Akumaja is canon. I think we're gonna have to... His ancestor was Hideki, and he... THE Nobunga that we talk about is Akumaja. Akumajo literally means demon castle. It's the name of Castlevania in Japanese. Oh, Akumajo's castle. Right, 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 right. Um, do... What do you think, chat? Should we... Akumajo works? I think it kind of works. Considering, you know, the menace that he is to video games. Sure, why not? Just Nobunga is way better. Well, we're not gonna call him by his first name often. For me, like, you know, I'm planning on just calling him Nobunga. But if someone asks, you know, we, we know who he is now. Vinny, are you forcing a meme? Um... No, 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 no. Forced... is actually... The, probably the best way to say it. Yeah, p uh, past tense. It's more lore than anything, I just... You know, it's just part of the, the lexicon of video games at this point. Like, booty blasting as a Goron. 
Also, I'm not talking about flesh falling off the, the bones today. That's Tuesday, as sa stated last time. Like I said, I, I ended up the day after. I was like, man, I was really just in a weird fucking foul mood last time I streamed this. So I'm more than happy to, uh, to delay the skin talk until Tuesday. Vinny Maneater just came out today where you play as a shark and evolve. I heard Lime stream that. Is it, is it any good? EGS exclusive? Uh-huh. Well, we're not doing that conversation again. It's... I've already had several people tell me, Vinny, here's exactly why EGS sucks, and showed me a feature list comparison. And I already know. I know how I feel about it. I don't want to go back into it. It's just infuriating to talk about. Especially because there's a part of me that's like, well, competition, good. But, um... I'm not- I'm not gonna be playing that game. Sorry. I do like sharks, though. Vinny, talk about your favorite band again instead. Yeah, well, that's positive, at least. That makes me happy. Epic Game Store discussion makes me fucking miserable. Alright, so, chat, it looks like we have... everything we need just about. I think we do have everything vital. I just have to go to Ikana, which is something that Scotty in Star Trek would say a lot. I cannot do it, Captain. Chex Quest? I'd consider Chex Quest. If it's an hour long. Yeah, whatever. Any thoughts on Kit Fisto being killed? In episode 3? Um, I thought he went out pretty badly. Honestly. He didn't really get a chance to even do anything. He just kind of like... Let an old man stab him. Yeah, I wasn't- I wasn't happy about that. Is his name really Fisto? Yeah, his name is really Kit Fisto. Yeah. Chap, how do I open this gate again? For maximum quickness? Just go left. You can never open the gate? Okay. What if I just go here? Well, I, okay, hang on a minute. If I want to get to Stone Tower, I have to do all this stuff. Like, cause there's stuff up here too. We can take a look around real quick. Vinny light arrows. Um, people were saying I don't need the mirror shield. You can just go straight into Stone Tower. You don't even need to visit Ikana? Okay. But I don't quite know how to get to Stone Tower. The music box quest is a nice short side quest here. Okay. Vinny, you can't do it. Oh, do I need a mask for it? I don't have the Song of Healing. Never got the bunny hood either. Harry is so fucking creepy, I love it. I guess this is... This is spring water? I, I don't... Um... I mean, I'm just looking around. I don't remember much of this area. I, aside from this fucking amazing music, but, um... thought you were supposed to get something here. No. The house is working now? This activates the music box, but it doesn't get you anything. Oh, we get to hear the nice music. Vinny, that's hot dog water. I still don't really boil hot dogs. I like to... I like to grill them. You know, press them for whatever information they may have. And then I eat them. Get ready for... Wonderful music. Wait, no. Where, where's the extra cool music, chat? Oh, this is it, this is it. Yeah, I like this music. This is good stuff. This is where Ben... Wait, do I need Ben now? I can hold off on Ben for a little bit, right? Oh, I, I, do I... You, you can spawn multiple Bens, right? I, I'm calling it Ben. It's not... Just one from each mask. Okay. You got that, Ben? It's Link. There he is. I just want to know who on the design team thought this was a good idea and then approved it. Because let me tell you, it's a fucking great idea. Anuma really had some uh, disturbing ideas for what this game could be. I do not disagree with his decisions. Anuma hates this game. No, he had some issues with choices he made. But, um, when the 3DS remake came around, he, he, you know, retooled it, and for better or worse. I think both better and worse, and, you know. But we could talk about that narrow video for ten hours, and still no one would, no one would be happy, and nothing would be solved, but... 
I think, um, he, he tried to do some stuff in a way that would maybe make a little more sense. But anyway, uh, I still think how Numa fucking killed it with this game. Shocking how, how good this be for his first, um, directorial debut as, uh, you know, for Zelda. Someone said, I still like the 3DS version despite its flaws. I, I do too. I, I enjoy playing it. Watch my playthrough of it. I enjoyed it. I know one day I'll be able to stream it again. One day in the future, I'll be able to, like, play a version with better textures and with all the fixes. And it'll be fucking great. And it'll, you know, be, like, massive resolution. It's gonna look awesome. I can't wait. Even if it's five years from now, which would be kind of perfect. Or better Nick Cage textures, yeah. Yeah, you can already do it on Citra with good resolution and a couple fixes, but I believe there's a texture pack coming from Majora's Mask 3D as well. Vinny, get the mirror shield because it's actually... My actually real OCD makes me anxious that you won't have it in the endgame. Well, I won't. Um, but that's okay. B b what? Mate, it's it's fine. I mean, I, I too like the design of the, the shield. I think it's creepy and weird. But, uh, yeah, it might be a huge fucking pain in the ass to get that shield. So I don't think I'm actually going to attempt it. Um... Just gonna take a quick look on the map here, and, uh, definitely not the spoiler log. Nope. So, chat, the frog choir over at the mountain. Is that a tough quest to do? Do I need anything special? I need the Garrow mask, right? That's a huge pain in the ass. You need to beat every mini-boss again. <laughs> okay. Just the frog mini ba- okay. I'm good. Alright, so, um, chat, do I need to bend these- these switches? That's just to go back. Did you get your chunky shrapnel vinyl today? No. No, but I can tell you what I did. Um, I heard all of Realign in full, start to finish. And, uh, in a decent track order, almost all the songs completely mixed. So... Fucking sucks. So just keep them hopes all the way down. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's just... I, like, I heard my voice on it. I'm like, ugh. I hear my own voice? That goes too small, he doesn't... I feel like I might need to do this, but... Um... I gotta get rid of old bends. In the 3DS version, was there a, like, a bend button? Or am I remembering incorrectly? No. Alright, never mind. It was the same as it was in this. Is there still COVID donating? No, 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 that, that ended a couple uh, days after. It didn't replay the song after the first time. Oh, that's what was different? Yeah, like I said, though, the donating for the COVID relief made me really happy. Because, like I said, just New York. Um, there was even someone else in my life that, you know, is, is not doing great, is still in the hospital. It's, so it's still happening. Um, not someone, you know, I know, like, it's not like a family member or anything like that. So I'm, I'm grateful for that, but at the same time, it's... It just never ends. The fun never ends. Uh, so... Even if it was a small thing, I'm, I'm glad that people were, were kind enough to, to go and, and do it. Trying real hard to, you know, stay positive. I don't know if I have to bend here. Hang on. Well, that's not quite helping right this second, is it? But this part always fucking confused me. This confused me so much. You keep moving off the switches, but I'm- I'm not sure. Vinny, another bend below? Well, I- I put a- there was a bend over there. Didn't- did I not put a bend there? I've never been there. I see what you did, chat. That's good. Vinny, I'll never forget the Viper the Rapper discussion. What you thought you did. When you played this game on the 3DS. I- really? So I was here and I was talking about Viper the Rapper? Well, history repeats, um, there was a meme going around recently about how Billie Eilish wrote a song in quarantine. Like, Billie Eilish made her, you know, made a song, and people were like, they put a picture of Billie Eilish's one song to Viper the Rapper's 350 albums that he made in one year. So, that was a William Eilish meme that was going around. And I think they, they used the cover of Viper the Rapper's Y'all Cowards Don't Even Smoke Crack. Yule- Yule Cowards, he wrote? Is that- really? The name of the album is Yule Cowards? He made some songs about COVID, saying he made it. 
Is is he alright? Like, is he doing okay? Because... What? That doesn't really surprise me that much, given Viper's... You know, when you're writing, when you're doing a full 300 and something albums per year, you run out of material and topics, so it's... it's... You're eventually just gonna say every sentence that can be said in the English language, and then every other language, too. I just can't believe that dude's still making, like, that much music. He's not making, like, 300 albums a year, is he? Like, what is he... Has he slowed down to, like, 200? I don't need the Scarecrow song here, do I? That's bonus over there? Okay, never mind then. So, I, I actually caught a fairy in Terraria earlier. And their materials, I don't know what you do with them, but when you hover over their tooltip, it says, Hey, listen. You're supposed to use them to find treasure. They were upstairs. They were li- uh, upstairs. They were outside. So they weren't leading me to treasure. They kind of went back and forth. Vinny, you can flip the tower already, probably saving you time. Um, I'm sure someone who speedruns this game probably knows if that will be a good idea or not. Vinny, his newest song is called Guns Don't Kill People, Viper Do. Oh, okay. Like I said, you eventually just run out of stuff to talk about in your songs. So you, you, you just have to- just everything. Just everything. Boss key is in the flipped version. Flipping it will save time. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that worked out in the end. Didn't I just do, like, sky flips in Terraria? I was just sky flipping all over the place, and now I'm sky flipping in this game. Yeah, this is nothing. I mean, you saw what was going on in Paperball yesterday. That was a trick. I just did a speedrunner trick there. It's got tissue that I wish you saw. Bodega in the midst of fall. With the birds at the bone dead to ne. What's the name of that song again? Oh, I, I think the name of that song is God is to. What was the other song? Someone said something about a chili pepper song. Can't stop. That's yeah. I, I like that one too. He goes. Stop beat the bad beat do. I think he's talking about pita bread in that song, which I like. So I'm I'm a fan of that one. What's the song where he says, "Ever wonder if it's all for you"? Is that can't stop? World, I love the bean, da pa pa dee, da pa pa dee, da pa Wait a minute, you're telling me this entire world is just for me? Thank you for the validation, Anthony Kiedis. Um... Well, they really don't want me fucking hookshotting onto that treasure chest, do they? I think, uh, Deku Stink can get, get up here and do it. I had a- oh, I had a dream. I had a weird dream that I just remembered. I was watching Jack White live in a room. It was like a round room. He was doing, I think, Raconteur's songs, and he ended one of the Raconteur's most popular songs, which doesn't actually exist in real life. And he had like, uh, it was a circular room, and I was in there watching and enjoying the show, and there were a bunch of like people in white suits dancing to the music in like a circular pattern. And then he gets to the end of the song, and he bangs on a gong with a skeleton. And then I woke up. Watched too many music videos with the pepper last night. There was a pepper in VR chat. I played a little bit, and we were watching music videos, and, and a pepper, a dude dressed as a pepper joined us. And the dude was just a menace. He was putting on, like, someone's ass. Like, we were watching, um... You know, just 80s music videos, like, just good stuff. And then this pepper guy joins, and he doesn't say a word. He's just a pepper with a lot, like, long legs. And he goes over to the video player, and he's just putting on, like, just pure loud trash. And we... it was like, it was like, how dare you, Pepper Man? And he would just sit there. Or he would crawl on the floor. And then just as we're getting into the video, Pepper would show up and change it to, like, the, the person's ass. I really don't know what to do in this fucking dungeon, do I? I probably need to get that key. That seems... like a good thing to do. Vinny, you never need to flip the tower again. This is taking forever, chat. Go to the middle one instead? I didn't think Deku Link had enough... ...um... ...distance. Go in the tunnel in the wall. I'll be honest, doing the dungeons out of order has- has left me tremendously confused. Because... ...if it wasn't for the chat, I'd- I'd be having a lot of difficulty right now, especially... ...considering Zelda dungeons are designed in a way that you get the item... 
and it makes some level of logical sense to fucking know where you're going next. But as I'm playing this, I have every item, so I just get confused. The attacks on my life have left me scarred. So now we go... We go this way. Can you get up there, buddy? Oh yeah, you can! Oh, I was overcomplicating that. Oh, it's just a stray fairy. Alright. Vinny, don't worry, it's not like you're on a time limit. True. I'm just trying to get my speed run under two weeks. I guess I kind of do have to flip the tower again, don't I? Vinny, will you do randomized Wind Waker at some point? Would you say randomized Wind Waker is a longer randomizer or, or a shorter one? A bit longer. I, I can't wait to dig up every Triforce piece looking for the, the one item I need to progress. You can start with the full Triforce. Oh, that would make life a little easier. But I'm, I'm talking more about, like, vital items. Is there a randomized Twilight Princess? Um... I don't know. Maybe. A Vitams? I was gonna say... I was gonna say Vitams, but I, I... I didn't, so chat did instead. Good, thanks, chat. Something happens and I'm head over heels. I wonder if those were actually the 80s dude's voices. Or if one dude did that in the early 80s, and then every other 80s singer was like, I want to sound like that. Because there, there were a whole lot of 80s dudes that sounded exactly like that. It was a meme, Vinny? Um, yeah, it was, actually. Yeah, it, it, it actually was. The Cure. Yeah, there's them. Um, again, XTC. Andy Partridge kind of had that voice. Tears for Fears, definitely. You know, Duran Duran a little bit. I feel like... Are there any examples of people from the 70s trying to sound like 80s man when the 80s rolled along? Like, that would be weird if, if someone, like, modified their s singing style to be like, 80s man! Bowie? Bowie always had that. If you listen to, um, Young Americans and, like, late 70s Bowie, he was definitely doing the Bowie voice. The, you know, the classic, like, hammy one. But he did it way more in the 80s. Which is, incidentally, his most creatively bankrupt period. So... Except, Let's Dance. Did you like Bowie in Dancing in the Street? Um... Street Place? What? Uh, yeah, I thought it was a very silly video. I like the video where they take the, the music away, and you just hear Mick Jagger and Bowie just, like, grunting. And, like, screaming. What about Scary Monsters? Well, that was... Was that 79 or 80, Scary Monsters? Scary Monsters is one of my favorite Bowie. 80? Yeah, so that's just on the cusp of, of 70s right there, but... I feel like Scary Monsters is almost the culmination of everything that came before. And it just feels like a fitting... Almost like a finale to the 70s Bowie. That, that's one of my first Bowie albums that I ever really kind of became obsessed with. And, uh... It doesn't sound... it sounds... That, that album's kind of almost a response to punk. That's who the scary monsters and super freaks were. I, I think. I'm pretty sure, at least. Thoughts on Black Star? It's such a good album, I can't listen to it too often. Is, is how I feel about Black Star. It just makes me too sad. But I, I think it's... yeah, it's great. I've talked about it lots on the stream, but I will say that Black Star plus the No Plan EP that came out afterwards... ...are both... Prime Bowie. Vinny, my German friends love you. Say hi, please. <laughs> Guten Tag. Vinny, that's good night. Well, they gotta leave now. Everybody knows the rules. They have to leave and go to sleep. Guten Morgen. Yes, that's good morning. What time is it in Germany? I think it's it's pretty much Guten Tag time. Guten Nacht is good, good night, and Tag is evening. Or day, day, day. And then Guten Morgen is good mor morning, and then... It's 7 a.m. in Germany right now. Guten Abend is good evening. Okay. See, I'm learning. I knew this stuff already, but now I will forget it again in a year. But someone named Just a, Just a Idiot 101 wrote, Wow, Vinny, you're so smart. I know. Vinny, shoot arrow? Uh, shoot arrow. I didn't see a spot. Shoot arrow at the hanging bombs. Oh. What phrase do you want to know how to say in German? I want to know how to say bonjourno. The last small key you need is in the room with the three ghosts. Go back that way. 
In here. Okay, so there's a small key in here then. I guess I have to kill the ghosts. Which is still, you know, incorrect. Kill, can't kill the goat, goats, ghosts. So this is a pretty short dungeon if you already have the light arrows. I mean, not, like, tremendously short, but... Yeah, because I always dread this dungeon. Not because it isn't cool, but because it, it is confusing. For a, a smooth brain like myself. Yeah, I remember it being kind of long. If you're going for the fairies in this dungeon, it's absolute hell. Which is, which is a shame, because you get the best weapon in the game, arguably, from getting all the fairies in this dungeon. Also, uh, someone was saying, Vinny, what's your favorite, uh, dungeon music from Zelda? And I gave, like, a kind of a generic answer, like, you know, Link to the Past. Um, Forest Temple from Ocarina. Stuff like that. But, I'm gonna go ahead and say... This might be some of the best dungeon music, too. Zelda 1 has good dungeon music. Yeah, it does. It just, you hear it so... It's such a short loop that it gets really annoying. But the melody itself is classic. I love it. I love the dungeon music from Zelda 1. I, I like the Zelda 2 dungeon music. It's San Diego! It's not South Detroit. But, yeah, the loops are just very repetitive. But they're still really... really memorable. And whenever they've done any kind of motif... revisit of Zelda 1's dungeon, I've, I've always been very happy. My favorite Zelda music piece overall. The ending of Ocarina of Time comes to mind. Gerudo Valley, um, Ocarina of Time Overworlds. Wind Waker Great Sea. Oh man. I don't know, man. It's just... I would say on a whole, Final Fantasy, for me, like, has the stronger music... ...per game. But Zelda as a whole, like, throughout the whole series, is... If I had to, like, choose my favorite series for soundtrack, it might be Zelda. Also, because there's so many games, and there's always, like, a couple pieces of music per game. Or more than a couple that are amazing. Someone said, Vinny, do you think it's fair to say that Breath of the Wild had a bad soundtrack? Even though the music was designed exactly for the purpose of being sparse like that. It most certainly did not have a bad soundtrack. The Rito music... ...made me fucking, like, tear up. Oh, uh, man. Hyrule Castle. It was just sparse on purpose, because that's what they were going for. You know, if you're playing the game, and you're... ...for like 89 hours... ...you're gonna get sick of it. But when the piano flourishes come in... You know, there's a lot of them. They're sparse. They're brief. And sometimes you get a little hint of the Zelda theme. And it works really well because it's it fits the open nature of the game. I would have liked more music. I'm also a big fan of that weird maze theme in that game. Like when you're going through the Lost Woods. I like it just perfectly Zelda, perfectly creepy. I, there's like at least four or five songs on that soundtrack that are as good as anything else in the series. But there's just not a lot of it. On purpose. Vinny, don't forget the dungeon item. I don't really need it. Wait, should I, um, soar out of here? Do not soar. Not yet. Where- so, where to, chief? This is one of the fucking weirdest enemies in this entire game. In the entire series. Like a fucking walking Beemos. What- what's the new- what's this Kit Fisto meme that's happening now, chat? Why are we lamenting the loss of Kit Fisto all of a sudden? I literally just brought him up. Because, well, I didn't, but someone in chat did and we talked about it. Germa killed him? <laughs> okay. It's treason then. Germa, why you kill Kit Fisto? Don't do that. Someone said, why is chat obsessed with Germa? Well, I think there is just a raid, so there's like... Thousands of people from Germa st stream. That's one. Two, Germa's just a really good streamer. Why not? There's- there's a big audio- uh, audio. Well, that too. That too. But there's a big audience crossover. We have... 
some similar bits. Though Germ is the better streamer. Someone said apples and oranges. Alright, it's fair enough. Rats and, um, and, uh, meats. What, what, what's, and, and, and mushrooms. Rats and mushrooms. Someone said nice compliment fishing. I was content to let him have that. Until my audience defied my rules and gave me a compliment. But then you brought balance to the force again, so thank you for that. Um, do I have to jump in this, like, like, orgy portal? I don't remember this. I don't like it. Oh, I do remember this, yeah. Okay. Uh, while I liked the concept of Majora's Mask 3D's, like, giant mask, where you, like, become big and punch, I remember also being quite frustrated. It was a very long fight. Big. I need health. Aren't there hearts in these things? Give me health! I do have a fairy in my inventory, but I should have probably brought another. Heck, we check it out. All you, you gamers these days with your 60 frames a second. Back in my day, we had one-third the frames and we were happy. We were lucky! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, strategy. Vinny, he responded. What happened here? I've, I've hung up with Vinny in real life. He's a really, really, he's a great fucking person. He's a really good dude. He, he is like, he's exactly like how you think he is. You know what I mean? Just like the most chill dude. The most like just, he's exactly the way that you think he is. Is he taller than you? No, I've, I've got at least two or three inches on him. He's probably like, he's like, he's like five, he's like five eleven. I'm like fucking six two. You know how it is. On my face. And if you think you see some tear tracks down my cheeks, please. Please. Don't tell my mate. Thanks, mate. Well, okay, I guess... Alright, alright, since we're doing this, I'm not gonna... This won't happen too often, but I will say that Jerma might be one of the few people I've met that do the things, like, go to space and do the other things, that is even nicer in person, and even better in person, than you would expect. How's that? Huh? Now it's a compliment competition. Competition. No, he, he really, he's great. Honestly, we had a lot of fun doing the weird carnival game nonsense and doing the secret technique. Oh, god damn it. Are you ki- are, what? What the fuck is that shit? Why does it warp me back? Chat, that is fucking... Bullshit. I mean, okay, fair enough. If you want- if you want the, the game to, like, kill me for going... Off... The, you know, the scripts, fine. But why bring me back to the beginning? No, but, uh, I will say, though, like, there's a- there's a couple people I really enjoy hanging out with in person that I've met through streaming, and one of them is Jerma. Kryken's the other. She says, um, Ross I never really got to hang out with in person, because he was- when I met him, he was really, really sick. This is going back, like, three or four years. He was, like, con-plagued out. So, of course, my mods- the best, of course. 
But uh, oh, I gotta do the thing. Wow, that that's um, we just lost a lot of time on this speed run. But yeah, I met Ross. We didn't really know each other, and oh, we didn't know we didn't really know each other. So when I met him, he was just he had some pretty bad con rot. Have you ever met Joel in person? No, I haven't. I haven't met. Um, Darren, Joel, I, I haven't met a lot of the Vine Sauce people, but... He's never been to the U.S., and I haven't been outside the U.S., so... Yeah, I haven't been outside- One day I'd like to be outside the U.S., like, I think if- if anything... I've taken the ability to travel for fucking granted, and now I don't want to anymore. People are saying, come to Brazil. Come to Brazil! There's UFOs in Brazil, I can't. There's that video of the UFO. Where they're saying, like, they killed E.T. And it was just smoke in the distance, and like a weird, like, carnival light in the sky, and like, the video was just... E.T.'s have landed in Brazil. And it was just someone, like, put a smoke bomb... ...on the ground. Wow. Oh, that's, that's chill. Oh, and no fairy either. Oh! Oh! This is anti-pog. I don't need the extra fairy. I have I have plenty of health now, but I, I can't I still can't believe I got kicked out of the boss room. I, I probably needed to like hit that thing like two more times. Oh, God. What a what a fucking mess. And then and then people like Vinny go back to the owl statue. But yeah, without name dropping too much, I will say she says had a party and a couple people were there that were real real cool. And I enjoyed that. Beta 64 is another really good dude in person. Swanky box. No name drops. I'm not trying to like name drop and seem like cool like Kanye, P. Diddy, that kind of shit. Nothing like that. But do I have to Do I have to remove one of these now? Because I did this out of order. I can't I I'm gonna have a fucking conniption. Why? Why do we do this? Why you- why? I like how there's no attempt to explain... ...how Link gets back here like this. Like, there's just- they just make him fall and then it resets and he's good. I've made a lot of mistakes in this dungeon. And it should have been over, like, 15 minutes ago. Vinny, have you met Michael Vine Sauce? Oh, yeah. Science guy, right? Is chat also a cool person? I've met chat in person, and... I'd say they're they're mostly alright. There's like an 88.9% alright ratio, yeah. Sometimes even, like, close to 100%. But, you know, it just depends on... It depends on, um... If chat's having a good day or not. You know, sometimes they don't bring the good day with them. But chat's pretty alright in person. Well, Vinny, what's the worst experience you've had with a Vine Sauce community member in person? I get that question from time to time, and my answer is always... There's not a chance in hell I would actually tell you that story. And the truth is, really, in person, nothing all that bad. Like, I'm not gonna tell you an embarrassing moment that someone had because they dropped their spaghetti because they were nervous at a convention. You know what I mean? Like... Diarrhea Kazoo was not in person. That was... The dude ordered a grab bag... Got the kazoo, which was different than the usual convention kazoo... Played it and said it gave him diarrhea. So, I had nothing to do with that. I did not manufacture the kazoo, nor did I tell the person to play the kazoo. Also, results inconclusive. There's no evidence that the kazoo actually gave the person diarrhea, for real. Which is older, Vine Sauce or Vsauce? Thank you for asking that question so I can brag a little bit. No, as far as I'm aware... As far as I'm aware... I started my YouTube channel in February... 2010, and Vsauce started theirs in May 2010. That's the only thing that I'm aware of. I don't know if they were around in some capacity before then. Hell yeah, 20 rupees? 
but the name, uh, my nickname being Vine, and like, or Vines, was many, many years even before that. Um, and then, it was one of my friends that called me Sauce. Vine Sauce. Probably in like 2004, 2005, and I didn't remember it until 2010. And he probably only said it like twice. So, I don't know, it's just a weird series of events. Well, I got the nickname Vine because my friends and I were playing uh, Mario Party 6, I think it was, and, and I've told the story a million and one times, but... There's a minigame where vines grow out of the ground and you have to climb them, you have to jump from vine to vine, and whoever, you know, is up furthest of the vine wins, but it looked like the vines were coming out of an asshole. Because the ground kind of parted in a very asshole-ish way. So, it was like, you know, you, you wake up and you call down, Mom, is it okay if it's vines? Honey, what are you talking about? If vines, you know, coming out of my, my ass? I don't know. We were easily amused. I guess I still am. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? That was... I was tingled that said that, not me. So anyway, um, because my name is Vinny, some of you may knew. You maybe knew that. My name is Vinny. Um, Vine and Vinny, Vin, Vine, they sound very similar. So my friends started calling me Vines, or Vine, and, and that's that stuck. Um, even if they barely called me Vine. But it started with uh, Vines growing out of an asshole. Which is about right. On brand. Chat, where can I bottle up some fairies? Another weird statement, but totally accurate in Zelda. What's a- where's a good fairy fountain in this game? Next to all owl statues? Is there, a, like, an actual, like, dedicated fairy fountain in this game? There's, like, two? Vinny, you need some milk? Well, I've got... I've got my milk. At the bottom of the Gibdo well. There is a chest right there that you have ignored all of this playthrough. Mate, it respawns. What the fuck? <laughs> it was worth it to see that. Gibdo... So Gibdo well is... is where exactly? Chat. Get me there. I want to check that place out anyway. It's not worth it. Gibdo Well is not an easy place to visit. You need the Gibdo mask? Alright. Well, these fairies do not actually do anything. I mean, they'll restore my health, but... Vinny, you have the Gibdo mask, though. <laughs> no. You can buy fairies at the shop next to the bomb shop. Also, it's really nice that I don't have to do the Deku stuff. The, the Deku scrub. You know, do it every day thing. Whatever that is. The, the Deku playground. Yeah, that's what it's called. Also, why is it legal to sell fairies in this game? I don't... I don't approve of this. This is... I'm not... Not into it. Oh yeah, you Really, you can actually buy them. And red potions, too. Red potion is full health, right? Three and three. Is the Fierce Deity's Mask among the randomized loot? It- it's on the moon. There's an option to make the moon loot stay on the moon. I can't do the- the moon. If you don't enable that, you might get locked out of important items, right? I- I think so, or you might need to do glitches. I don't have all the masks, no. I won't be doing the cafe quest, I'm sorry. This is- again, this was supposed to be like a quick randomizer stream and it ended up being a fucking full thing, but, um, sorry everybody. You can- You could watch the, uh, um, Majora's Mask 3D stream I did, or someone else maybe probably did the cafe in Andrew Quest. <laughs> yeah, and now I guess we, uh, we wait as my mayor just hangs out over here. Do you intend to WAP alone? I putat mock. There's an I putat mock on the moon chat. I know what it is. I know where it is. No, I guess no one knows. But it's it's the Majora's. Sorry, it's it's. Uh, I did a Majora's Mask corruption years ago, and it had some really interesting dialogue, including I putat mock. So peaceful. 
Everything's just peaceful and chill. Then he take us to the Ram Ranch one more time? No, I'm not gonna do that. Also, Romani has the brain scramblies now. It'll make me sad if I go back there. I mean, this could just be Link's job. Like, if he got hired, say Termina wasn't in any immediate danger from the moon, and Link needed a job, they could just hire him to, like, take out the enemies at night. He could just stand here and just, like, snipe them. To keep the roads clear. Actually, these motherfuckers respawn re relatively quickly as well. Vinny, would you live in Termina? Um... The Clock Town seems lively enough. I don't know where everyone lives in Clock Town, though. I wouldn't live while the moon was falling, um, but it seems like a pretty chill place otherwise. On the street, in the wall? I mean, there's- there's an inn. There's one inn. Does everyone just live there? The postman lives in his office. It's like everyone lives where they work, or they just, I don't know, live in the fucking wall or something. We're almost there, chat. So if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, I'm just killing time. Uh, we have to wait for the- the, t the tower to open. And then we can go do the thing. I guess that's kind of the theme of this game. It's killing time. Vinny, why do you have infinite mana? Uh, there's an easy Chateau Romani. That I've been getting at the very beginning of every day. It's been a fucking godsend. Chat, if I use the song of slow time now... Will that actually work for this? Vinny, don't think it's necessary. Probably not. But definitely not. Oh no, I must get a hold of myself. I must guard the gate until the captain's orders come. Even Business Scrub is just still here. Business Scrub could probably fly to the other end of the world. If there is such a thing. Uh... <laughs> I guess the randomizer just doesn't fuck around with this part at all. It's just whatever. It's gonna skip the cutscene. Nope. Uh, uh almost. Almost. Yep, it's- oh, uh, it skipped the cutscene. Sorry, chat. This is not your Majora's Mask playthrough. The four giants show up, they come and they save, you know, they start lifting up the moon so it doesn't fall. And now we're in some fucking psychedelic nightmare wonderland, um... ...inside the moon. It is an amazing cutscene. And I would recommend you watch it on YouTube or something, but... This is just as creepy. Um, each of these... ...characters... ...has like a little... ...mini area that you give them masks and they consume. But you need all the masks if you want to do all this to get the Fierce Deity Mask, which is, you know, the best mask in the game. Makes the Majora fight pretty fucking trivial. Twin Mold Kid has a few chests. Fierce Deity might be there. Here's the thing. It says, Fierce Deity, Majora Child. So that doesn't seem like it changed very much, did it? You only have weak masks, so you'll play. Yep. Well, shall we go? Fierce Deity is exactly where it was originally, chat member, who just asked. Um, the other stuff that you get, 30 arrows and 10 bomb chew and some pieces of heart. Tendrils. Why he made of spaghetti? I don't- I don't know. He chose to be made of spaghetti. Oh, that's such horse shit. Yep, the ending really just has you fighting actual masks. I've only ever done this fight, like, one time without Fierce Deity. 
Because it, it just, it makes the fight too easy, and I, I had no problem just 100%ing the game. There we go. Be careful, fire on Zora is one hit KO. What the fuck? I love this phase. It's so fucked up. It's like the whimsical, chaotic nature of the mask. I like when it moonwalks. <laughs> so it's an actual penis music. I think they just, they hired an actual chicken to do the sound effects for this. Oh, swole. Oh my god. These fucking noises. I forgot how creepy they were. It is a- yeah, I mean, the, there is a moonwalk and they do sound a bit Michael Jackson-y. Weirdly enough. Brand, what you gonna do? Whoa, 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 hold your horses there, cowboy. Oh shit, it's got Beyblades. Whoa, stop, mate. Vinny, don't you wish you had those ten arrows now? Maybe. Oh my god. Wow, he's nasty if you give him a chance. Are you kidding me? I don't know! It just happened like that! Stop, please. PLEASE! PLEASE! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, Majora, please! Oh, come on! <laughs> I mean, people are saying it was a clutch. I had like five more healing items. Well, at least we get this ending. We get this cutscene. And the moon gets to piss off, moon. It's a weird fucking game. It's a really fucking weird game. Ha, ah, he's awake. I always like that the Skull Kids have beaks. <laughs> These fucking giant designs. That's like me in an anim- like, wearing an Animal Crossing beak. You guys hadn't forgotten about me? You still thought of me as a friend?
mean, it sadly doesn't hit as hard in Randomizer without the preceding cutscenes and, you know, the, the stuff that led up to this, but if you've played the game, it's like, you know, holy fuck. Did you, did you save me? Thought they didn't want to be friends with me. But they hadn't forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. Could you be my friend, too? You have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. I know, I know, let's do something. Oh, so the evil has left the mask after all. Well... Now I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. And yes, that's for those that haven't played this game. That's just the way he animates. He just cuts. In the beginning, when you play the game, you get a lot of, like, uh, scenes with him. And he just cuts from frame to frame. It's real weird. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely just for a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me, Mr. Freeman. But my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. That is truly a good happiness. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Okay, so Link has been dead. Alright, he's dying. The oxygen's leaving his brain. This was all in his brain. This was all in his mind. And his regret, his doubts, his fears, were, we just saw all of them. What, you don't like that theory? Alright, I'll stop. So Squall is dead, and Renoa is Ultimisha. I don't know, I, I kind of like the ar allegorical, I was going to say allegorical, <laughs> allegorical nature of the game, even if it's not like 100% true, I like to view it like that a little bit. Because the themes are in there a little. You can look for them, you can find them. Here we're going, jumped over the hill. It's also why I think this is one of the best Zelda games, because there's just a lot of different, like, heavy themes that it tackles. I think it's, it's between all the characters and the three-day cycle and all the side quests and the fact that it's, there's only four dungeons, but the world is so fleshed out. Even though we didn't get to see a lot of it for Randomizer, I think this has the best narrative of any of the Zelda games for me. Even if it is a smaller scale story on the grand scheme of things, and it's not Hyrule, and it's not Ganon, it's the one that most affect me on, a, on an emotional level. Could you check where the Fierce Deity Mask was now that this is all over? I told you, it was the Majora Child. It was exactly in the same place. It was vanilla. But where was it? Are, are you kidding me? I just told you. Because male models are easy to manipulate. But why male models? While this is happening, Chad, I'm going to generate a new seed. And I'm going to start with the Fierce Deity Mask. Bill Trinan. He's in there. There's Andrew and Cafe. There's me. And once again, most people don't know that Link did a goddamn thing. Just like at the end of Ocarina, no one knows. Oh, that, that story is really fucking sad. That is a nightmare. 
God. That poor bastard. I'm trying to find the randomized music option. And there it is. That's- I like that. Where's Navi, though? See, the song points to the Lost Woods. He got lost in the Lost Woods. He became a Stalfos. And this was just the, his brain. Man. This is his brain. And then he became the Hero Shade. I like that theory, too. It's a lot of Majora theories. The Hero Shade. You want- Hey, just watch some Zeltic. I'm sure Swanky Box did plenty of stuff about this, too, but... Alright, now, we're gonna do the Nick Cage version. Alright? It's me, Nicholas Cage. Alright. The moon! That is perfect. Okay, so I randomized sound effects, too. <laughs> Consider this like a little bonus run. <laughs> <laughs> this is a complete accident, and it's great. Every sound effect has been amazing so far. And also, I got the mirror shield for that one person in chat who was going mental. What is this music? This is Mario Kart? <laughs> I mean, the music fits really well. Oh shit, they got Gerudo Valley in here too. Wait. Um, can anyone confirm whether or not I can use Fierce Deity? It should be a gimmick option. Alright, we'll do another seed then. Allow Fierce Deity anywhere. Yep, got it. Damage mode, four times one hit KO, Doom. Death is Moon Crash. Alright, so I'm gonna also edit Magic for Link. And Chateau Romani, why not? Give me a second, I'm, I'm looking at uh, magic power. Um, extended magic power, and I can't find Chateau Romani. Bottle contents are not available as starting items. Well, shit. <laughs> that tingle? Uh, that's, part, that's another good one. Oh my god, dog, please. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's me, Link. Just get through that door real quick, no problem. I'm here to save Termina! Gerudo again? <laughs> I don't know what this music is either. I, I really want to know, like, what is the pool of music that they're drawing from? Like, what... How many games? That's Super Mario 64 music? I guess in the Zelda sound font it just sounds weird. Someone said they got Breath of the Wild Castle for Pirate Fortress. Holy shit. Vinny backflip? Backflip over the gate? No. Shit. God, could you imagine doing a run of this, and finding Fierce Deity right in the fucking beginning, and just using it on all the bosses? Just... fucking... melting every enemy. To be fair though, I got light arrows pretty early. Revenge on the Kleiner Bird. I found Fierce Deity in the shop for 10 rupees in one of my first playthroughs, says a member of chat. You can climb up that wall, and jump over the boulder as Fierce Deity. Hang on a second, I want to buy that milk real quick, though. Oh, I don't have a bottle. Wait, so what am I doing, chat member? Oh my god, oh my god, what? Oops. Okay. That was, uh, 100% correct. So, so they- this is why they didn't allow Fierce Deity in the overworld. I did it again. <laughs> Fuck! It's too easy to jump off. Try that one more time. 
It's the quaint days of video games where it was just a wall and some trees. Jump slash to get over the rock. <laughs> I mean, is it really even worth it? Uh, I guess I'll try again. I mean, chat wants to hear the music, and I kind of do too. Motherfucker, I almost made it. Someone said, I can't sleep until you conquer the rock. We sure about that jump slash? Bone noises. No. Oh. Ah, uh, what kind of japery is this? Now I can't even hear the music here. Kill aliens as an angry god. <laughs> Star Fox. Oh, that's the dog. <laughs> Slippy, get back here! The horse is making human noises. Think of worse music. I need to uh, find a way to damage Link. Yeah. It won't let me bet. The hell? <laughs> wharf, wharf. Uh, more Star Fox. Bell. Yeah, it's me, Fox! Bell the dog! We're gonna fight the UFO! That's uh, some shit luck on my end. At least Blue Dog wasn't in last place. Is this- someone said, is this marbles on stream? It's the newest- Oh gosh. It's, it's the newest trend. It's just dog racing and Majora's Mask over and over and over again. I need to find a way to be damaged. Like the Joker. Play the Song of Time to get out of there? Oh yeah, that's true. They didn't even... ...model the back of this rock. Why would they? For... ...people like me. What do you think Fierce Deity would play if he had an instrument? Uh... ...either the bass guitar... ...or a... ...fucking... ...saxophone? I don't know. Immediately chat says penis music. Where's the... ...damaged... ...beep? No damaged beeps. Actually, before I... ...before I die, hang on. It's still the ocarina in Hyrule Warriors? Oh, I forgot Fierce Deity was in Hyrule Warriors. Same. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I could just walk across the whole thing now. Yep, no need for swimming or hopping of any kind. The birds are your life meter? Oh fuck, you're right! Uh-oh. Alright, that's Majora randomized. It was fun. Thank you all for watching. Uh, again, this did not... I didn't go into this with any intention of playing it over two weeks, but I'm glad I did. It was fun, and it made me kind of happy at a time where anxiety is high. And also, we got a chance to, you know, do something good for some other people, and I will always be very grateful. For that. So thank you, chat, for 
watching and for also helping out the first day of the stream. And it was also nice to uh, see some of the other weird options. It turns out Fierce Deity Everywhere is amazing. And also, fucking randomized music is great. But uh, who knows when the next randomizer stream will be. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in a couple minutes. I'm going to play some Terraria for like 50 minutes or so, because I'm not sure the next time I'll get a chance to play it. And I don't want to shaft Trials of Mana again. So we're just going to take a quick break. And I'll be back with like 50 or so minutes of Terraria. It's not a lot, but why not? 